I want to rewatch this opening, by the way, one more time because it's so fucking good. It's so sussy. Like, look at this shit. What, like, what is this? I'm telling you right now, if the plot twist is that the real world was like an actual thing, like for realsies, and something fucked up happened, I'm gonna literally lose my mind. Just another branch of SMT and Persona, another timeline created, love that. I'm gonna rewatch this opening again later. I fucking love it, it's so good. Okay, that's enough. Welcome in everyone, it is Judy here. So this is a Tihi. Um, I actually found a really good spot to grind. So I've gone ahead and I've made another safe hall for that. So we're gonna jump over that after, we're gonna jump over to it after we get through and I show you this dungeon and the other one too. Um, but just a heads up, um, for anyone who missed out on what was happening before, um, we had to fight um, a big demon baby. Wasn't fun. There was like two other optional moments that you can fight the, fight the boss too. Um, it was kind of hard. I'm not going to lie. Um, but we made it through. So a lot of things have happened. Um, apparently we're on our way to Brylehaven. Um, before we can go though, apparently the path is blocked by rubble conveniently for us. So we're going to go ahead and do this optional stuff. And then technically once I'm done the optional stuff that I've already done, I will reload my other save. Um, you haven't missed anything, I promise. It's like nothing crazy. It, it was just, it's just optional side quests and stuff. Um, there is, I think, some stuff that we did for, um, whatchamacallit, which I technically skipped through. I haven't read them properly, but they're like the, um, okay, then. um, the bond, the bonds or whatever. Let's go. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to go through everything. Um, and then once we get to where I was before, like we should be good, but I'm, I haven't actually spoiled myself on the story or like the bonds or reading or anything. I skipped all that because I wanted a good grinding point. You know what I mean? Hey. All right. So I'm not going to lie. This fucking dungeon, it fucking sucks. I don't like this dungeon. The reason for it is because there's literally just worms everywhere and these worms are fucking terrible. Like there's nothing interesting about... There's nothing interesting about this particular, like, optional dungeon. Why is it not... Why are you guys not getting hit by anything, bro? What the fuck? Weird. Um, I'm not even gonna bother. Um, but yeah, Tihi. Like, this dungeon fucking sucks. I actually tried to grind in this one, and then it completely fucking failed. I was like, this is not a vibe. It was boring. It was slow. Um, I went over to another one called the Abandoned Tomb. So that's the one we're gonna do it at. Let's see. I'm also making a guide, by the way, for that one. So if anyone needs help with grinding at this point in the game, that's the dungeon you go to. Go to the abandoned tomb. Just make sure that you have um, you have a good number of archetypes unlocked. That's the only thing I would say. Otherwise, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a hard time, especially if you're trying to grind too. Because it, it, the, the higher level you get, the worse um, the worse archetype experience you um, you acquire and all that other stuff, right? So. Just a heads up. Make sure you go into the Amanda tomb with as much as you can. Oh, the skull stem. Your training has paid off. There's a cute little tooth here. Huh? You there? Are you making sure to fight higher rank enemies? What? Oh, it's the talking tooth again. Any more good advice, Toothy? If you fight higher rank enemies, then you'll get a lot of experience as a reward, and you'll get super buff. But weak enemies are not worth the trouble. You'll barely get any experience, and you'll stay wimpy and wobbly. That's probably why. I think it's the, the the higher level you are compared to the enemy, the less stuff you get. Yeah, the weaker your opponent is, the less experience you get. That's crazy how I didn't actually fucking read that when I <laughs> went through the first time. Bullying the weak just shows how weak you are. Mm, I don't know about that one. If you want to get tough, you'll have to bite down and take on strong, high rank monsters. If you don't, you'll be the rank one, Smelly. I'll have more top secret tooth truths if we meet again. Like, brush your teeth before you go to bed. Haha. <laughs> you know how many people don't actually brush their teeth, by the way? It's fucking disgusting. It actually makes me want to fucking vomit. I'm not trying to throw anyone under the bus, but like, if that's you, um... Maybe you should get help. Seek therapy. Apparently, it's like an actual thing where apparently, um... If you have th something like, um, what is it called? Like Depresso, if you have the Depresso depression, um, it is a real thing where you will actually, 
um, have trouble taking care of yourself and like brushing your teeth and like, you know, washing your butthole or like whatever the fuck you want to do. I don't fucking know. But like, you should you should be doing these things. Very important. I think this is where the relic was that we had to get for, for Nurus. I'm not going to lie. This was kind of a bummer because literally it's just a pebble. Nice. So Amazing. it's a screwed up mineral, common ore. There's an inexplicable screw in it. Okay, maybe there's like a screw in it or something. I don't know. Weird. Let's see. I found a strangely shaped pebble. There's a mysterious light shining okay, from inside. So. You know what? It could be the relic that Nurus was talking about. Let's show it to Nurus anyway. It's literally... Girl, it's literally just a pebble with a fucking screw in it. That is so weird. And the fact that you just find it in a treasure chest, I expected this to be like a little more drawn out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I expected it to be a little more mm, impactful, oh, considering that it was supposed to be for his, like, one of his quests or whatever, but apparently not. You just go grab them from, like, a random treasure chest or something. Alright, let's see. Rolling down in the deep. Rolling down in the deep. We're going, going through here trying to find some stuff. There's a weird flower over there we're going to have to kill. Yeah, I am... I am getting PTSD. I'm I'm being reminded of why I did not want to grind this one. And it's because it sucks. Like look at this map. This map sucks. There's no there's no proper way to move forward. There's no good groups of enemies to farm. It's depressing. Let's take it with us. Before I go over there. Come on. I imagine that would be of use. There's treasure chests here? Yes. Yes. What was in here? Aquamarine. Yo. Let's see. I'm not gonna lie, by the way, I love Gunner. Look at that. Ooh. Exemplary. Oh, can I make it through there? Oh, I can. Oh. Disgusting. Looks like it could be useful. Sir, I see how it is. I want to say we're getting close to the other thing. Let me go back and I'll just show you what the rest of that floor looks like, just in case, but I could be wrong. Uh, was there stairs here? There should be stairs nearby. I don't remember where they are, though. How's that? Come on. Hey, how's that? Bro, where is my party? No. <laughs> Where'd my party go? They're supposed to have me helping me. So rude. Oh yeah, fun fact, by the way, guys. I don't know if you knew this, but the game will actually secretly, by the way, secretly it will auto-save if you pick up an, a blue item. I don't know why. If you open it, I think it's only if you pick up blue items and stuff. You found something. Did I get this before? Take it with us. I don't remember. I think I did. I could be wrong. Okay, here's the stairs. And I think this leads... Where does that lead? Are these the wrong stairs? Oh, you know what it is? On the... See the top, the bottom left side of this floor right there on the map that we're looking at? There is, I believe, a set of stairs there. Or something. There's you something there. What's in here? A hero's leap of light. Okay, so cool, cool fun fact. Also, if you master an archetype and then you keep fighting with it, um, I actually found that you can just go ahead and like um you can you can just like go ahead and like keep using that archetype and like the amount of the amount of experience you get, I think it goes down to I think it's a thousand per per level or like mastery level. So technically, if you don't want to use any other classes or archetypes, like if you don't like them. Um, you can actually just go ahead and and farm um, with an archetype that you prefer, and you'll end up getting um, you'll end up getting those leaf the leaf of the heroes or whatever they're called. I'm I'm assuming it depends on the rank of what uh, what kind of archetype you're using to farm. So I'm assuming like an elite archetype, you'll get even more experience or something. But um, the one the one that I was using in the other dungeon, I believe it was the merchant. You actually get. Um, you get 
scaled off of your actual player level um an amount of money um every time you kill an enemy or stun it in the overworld so what i actually did and i probably shouldn't have done it but i mean i mean mm, i mean like oh you can't see it on here but when we when we sh when we load the other save from the other optional dungeon i'll show you guys um essentially what it is is that you get like i think it's I want to say around 500 to 600 money per enemy and in the abandoned tomb dungeon which we're going to go to soon um you literally get like 10,000 money per per run depending on on like how you how fast you get your run done or whatever um and it's disgusting you should only farm oh god you should only be farming oh my god Denison hey babe welcome in um how are you are you going to be streaming soon um I was sorry, I was going to say, though, um, also, I don't know if I have, I don't know if I have any mods in right now. Doing good. Ooh, I'm finally, I think I'm coming off of my sickness. Finally, I had like a little bit of coughing earlier, but for the most part, it's not too bad. Um, I know, right? Thank God. No, sadly, no, I'm still at work. Oh, I'm so sorry, babe. I feel that. I'm not about that. Um, I was sorry, just to like quickly finish though. So if you guys end up like trying to do farming, do it with the merchant class because like you end up, you end up getting a shit ton of money while you're farming. There's no reason not to. It's the same thing. You know what I mean? Like you, you get, you get the, like the item that gives you EXP when you master it again and again, but you also get free money. So just a heads up. Mm, do I have wind? Probably not. We're gonna try to get into some extra, extra turn here. Could do with this. Hit their weak points. Keep it up, Joel. Not this one. I just the thing. Hulkenberg got them right in the weak spot. Let's get her. Falling back. I'm in the front right. Let's see here. I can't afford to hold back. You first. Dead is in. Were you planning on picking up this game later? I want everyone to buy this game. It's so good. Ooh. All right. I like that. My aim is true for many fun targets. The top one. All yours. I stand ready to you. I want to. Nine hundred and seventy-nine. Ooh. disgusting i'm too broke at the moment it is what it is i'm pretty sure everyone i know is just broke right now <laughs> it is what it is how unexpected don't get too relaxed these monsters are relentless oh okay then. let us withdraw that was a t here hold on looks like we're safe for now it's fine it is what it is yeah, I, I think it's just, it's one of those things where at the end of the day, like with the economy too, it seems like no matter how, many, how, many, how much money you bring in, you just kind of stay broke. And the reason, the reason for that also could be as you, as you get more money, um, other things increase in price too. Unfortunately, the way, as far as I'm aware, um, the way that the economy works, quote unquote, is that as people make more money, um, things get more expensive because they're like, well, if people are getting more money, then we should be able to to afford to like to make it cost more so like you can save money if you go to certain places for like cheaper cheaper items and like other stuff which is fine um but i've always found like at the end of the day like you know middle class and like the poor people like you kind of just you just stay where you are you don't really well technically the poor okay the poor get poorer the middle class literally stay the same because at the end of the day they're just kind of floating with the economy um and then rich people like they yeah the reason they make money is because they're they're so balls deep in investments um they they usually end up doing a lot of like illegal stuff too like i'm just gonna be honest you guys like a lot of people they either double dip or they have like other means of like income or, like they have their own ways of getting around you know like other things and that's kind of how they get ahead is because they either get really fucking good jobs um or they make networking connections they find their way around like they do other sussy things at least weed is getting cheaper though i mean is that a good thing though i mean techni technically i get where you're coming from but like at the same time though um it's just like think of it this way if all you do is get high all the all time like all the time and then like you don't really want to work or you don't really want to like you know like i don't know 
I'm not trying to be a fucking weirdo. I'm just trying to say, like, I feel like it's one of those things, like... Like, if that's the only thing that's cheaper, I mean, like, I don't know if that's a good thing. I feel like we want everything to be cheaper. What now? I want alcohol to be cheaper. Why is alcohol getting more expensive? Can we please, like... I get, like, incredibly active when I'm high. I don't. I literally just want to fucking fall asleep. I just want to veg out. What now? Also, this is kind of a teehee. Um... Uh... I think we have to do... Excuse me. I think I have to throw on some Bufu. Oh, I will say this, by the way, the battle music for this area, this dungeon, is so good. I fucking love it. Bufu. Bufu. Bufu very much. Thank you. Meow. 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 Where's my Bufu? Huh? Wait, did they not give it to him? It's kind of rude. I'll just do this. Gonna suck for him though. Yeah, the OST in this game is so good. It's so 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 good. Um, like those drums, girl. Um. Mm. It's fair. A lot of people share the same reaction. I'm a freak when it comes to weed. Well, some, no, no, some, some people, and it also depends on what type of weed that they smoke too. But like, I mean, some people, some people get hyper from it. Some people just don't. And I feel like for me, like it just gives me anxiety. I'd rather not. I'd rather just veg. I think, I think I'm good. Let me just make sure. Hmm. All right, let's see how this goes. I like vaguely remember how to beat this. Let's pray. Is this right? They were waiting underfoot. Mmm, a silly little worm. So the trick with this boss is apparently you have to you have to you kill both of them at the same uh, uh, on the same player phase. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm T. I'm going to keep resetting this until I can get a crit. Apparently, you can't actually, um, oh, T. Ooh. Would that be worth it? Hmm. Maybe? Maybe not. Oh, uh, what was I going to say, though? Uh brain oh yeah apparently so on regicide difficulty like the hardest difficulty you can do which i think you can only play you either have to play it from the very beginning of the game you can't like change the, the difficulty after or i think it's on new game plus or something um you're not allowed to retry a battle it's like it's like actually like hard mode for real you know where you citizen and go go to your call go to your workies I think I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move everyone to the back, but I'm also we're gonna buff everyone's everyone's uh, stuff here. All of the things. Now accept your fate. No. Do I have? Oh, I kind of do. Hmm? I was saving this. It's gonna be a little weird. I shall vanquish evil. They should help. Much thanks. The beginning, the beginning turn of a battle is usually very important. I know it looks like I'm being weird, but this is just how it be. This is how S and T be, bro. Yeah, everyone's evasion and hit refill. Not about that. No, thank you. Ooh. Okay, and also that thing's gonna die, so we're gonna have to switch. Because if it dies now, it's it's just gonna. Mm, <laughs> I don't know about that one. 
Big strong damage, please. Oh my god, that crit is disgusting, bro. Oh my god. Be ready for anything. Quite a boost. I'm alive. Oh, power of heroes. All right, ninety-five percent sure. This next turn, I think we should be good. Oh my god, get fuck. Get fuck. You miss me with that sandstorm shit, bro. Get out of here. Oh my god, disgusting. Easy clap. Get out of here. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Yeah, this dungeon fucking sucks. This dungeon is literal ass, and this boss is is like okay. I feel stronger. Let me do. Let me do agility. Uh, the new power to wield. <sighs> oh, we took it down. Now we just need to report it. Hail. Will, tis the uh, the alpha rock worm I Just pluck it right out. Yeah, let's go. A rockworm Valmo indeed. Outside of the part that you now hold, its whole body is tough enough to repel even blades. <laughs> the Valmo that we ate in Martira must have uh, undergone quite a thingy hey. mobob. Oh sorry, I had auto on. Oopsie. Could uh could you not remind me of that, please? What? Valmo cuisine, utterly foul even to imagine. And you've all really had the pleasure, have you? That's disgusting. Correct with one slight amendment, the only one finding any pleasure in it is Hulkenberg. I like how she just doesn't even register that that was an insult. That's mm, that's a tee. Yeah, return to the entrance. Get me out of here, please. Disgusting. Hey. Yeah, let's let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and leave. Um, okay, return to town. Oh my god, it's Friday, Friday. It's Idol's Day, babe. Back to the Martyr Cavern. The Valmo is no more, thanks to us. All that is left now is to report in at the recruitment center. It would be a first-rate source of protein, if not for its aggression. Nevertheless, the locals should be pleased that we put an end to it. Can we please fight just one monster that she won't try to eat? Yeah, I feel that. Well, let's go and give a report on that bounty when we have time. The deadline is... It'll be a few days until the road to Brylehaven is restored, so why don't we make ourselves useful and see if anybody needs our help until then? No, I was going to but... say... We had good foodies. I actually had time good foodies, too. I had pizza before I started this. This should be good. I want to talk with Mister. I miss him. Okay, so T. Um, let me let me let me double check. Hold on, because I think I ended up doing. I don't think I did Maria. I think I did. What's his name? Yeah, I think I think I ended up doing. Ice mate, I'm pretty sure. Hey babe, before we talk to him, I have to go take a poop in the washroom here. What do you got for me? Right. I feel refreshed after spending some time in the bathroom. Well then. Ooh, I need to stay hygienic. Okay, I'll also, also have a shower. I don't know if this is like supposed to be random or something, but we're supposed to get other things too. <laughs> take a look in the pantry. Always remember to take your poops. Always remember to take your showers and look for spare food in the pantry. Why not? They're all little, they're literally all right next to each other. There's my boy. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go look. Um, I think we're looking for a place to bury his child because he still has the ashes for his son. I I think, unless it's another bond. I think it's this one. 
There are plenty of new graves, possibly victims of those dark doings at the castle. Perhaps my boy would find solace here among many of his own age. But, hmm. But it seems that they, they don't cremate their dead here. I don't want my son feeling out of place, being the only child here in singed pieces. Hard enough for a boy his age to fit in. I was gonna say, like, if that's if that's what you're picky about, I mean, it is what it is. I'm gonna go look elsewhere. My thanks. I think that we would do well to check other options. My apologies. How about somewhere deeper in the forest? If you don't mind indulging me just a bit further. Ooh, okay, this is pretty. Seems like a peaceful place at first glance, but it's not really so, is it? No. Are there monsters here? Pattering footsteps from beasts among the trees. The smell of animal waste. I can feel them eyeing us from the shadows too. Okay, like maybe not. <laughs> I don't know about that one. It might be too dangerous. I can't stand the thought of hungry beasts disturbing his grave. I think it is still too early to make a decision. I would like to look at other locations if you don't mind. Um, yeah, no problem. This is no bother to me. I appreciate your understanding. So you would certainly, you're certainly more patient than I was at your age. Wait, how old is he? Does it tell us how old he is? Is he like 40 years old? I swear. All you could travel far and wide to find the perfect resting place. Some build an altar at home, and some scatter the bones in the sea. Some bury them beneath a great tree. That said, most simply bury the bones and the village's communal cemetery. After all of that contemplation, they come back to where they started. It was Angie. Those people used to irritate me to, to no end, and when I was younger, I loathed their indecision and looked down on them for it. But, but like, but like, think of it this way. I mean, like, a lot of people, even if, obviously not like dying or whatever, but like people who leave their hometown or like leave like their country or whatever, um, when they get older, a, this is apparently a thing. A lot of people, when they want to like retire and like they're like setting, settling down near the end of their life or technically like halfway to like the end of their life, a lot of people end up choosing to go back to their hometown for some reason, because apparently it's just, it's just familiar to them. It gives them like a sense of like, of like peace and um, familiarity. This is why when you lose someone, you need time for that very hesitation. I have certainly found that I do and haste will not ease my woes. Feels bad. I want to pet him. He reminds me of like, like a pet animal, but he's he's cute. That being said, this isn't your concern. You've already done more than enough for me. Let's um, It'll let's take fine. our time, babe. It's fine. We'll give it as much thought as you need. Listen. Are you certain? You truly are an oddball. Then... Babe, I will do anything for you. You tell me what you want. Then might we take to the gauntlet runner again? This time, I would like to see somewhere full of open space. Maybe I'm just imagining things. What's wrong? What happened? No. It looks like a place. Sorry, it looks just like a place that my son loved. My son. I think it was around the time that he finally started walking. Oh my god! Ah. Oh. Even though, when, even when he stumbled and fell, he always leapt right back up. All smiles. He would chase bugs through grass far taller, uh, taller than him, laughing even when he fell, bringing me flowers and pebbles clutched tight in his little fist. <sighs> Even now, tis as if he might burst out of the grass at any moment, beaming and covered in burrs, but I know tis just an empty fantasy. <sighs> You've endured so much pain. Oh my god, oh, I feel so bad for him. No. My apologies. Apologies. I didn't mean for you to see me like that, but yes, this could be a fine place for him to stay. The silence is peaceful, the wind is gentle, and it feels like a place wholly apart from the nightmare of our world. I'm sure that my son would love it too. He always loved to run with the wind in his face. But... And yet... Hmm? Do you want to keep looking for somewhere else? So. No, it's not that. I just have one thing that's holding me back. Hmm. That sweet spell on the wind, it reminds me of a faraway hill, the hill where my hometown lies. Oh my god, are we going back to his home? What? 
You're just now remembering about your hometown? No. I think he men he mentioned before that he wasn't really welcome in his... Yeah, I think he mentioned earlier. It occurred to me, yes, but I've not yet visited even once since I left. I sincerely doubt that they would welcome me back. Oh. A wind blows in my home, sweeter than I have than any I have known. Let's go. Yeah, let's go and see it. But... No, you are right. I cannot let my floundering let my floundering deprive my boy of his proper place. I'm in your debt. Walking this ground with you, I find myself determined to return home again. It feels like something I had never had realized alone. I'm grateful that our paths have crossed. Uh -huh. Oh my god. He now a new power. All right. So I think you do this and it gives you yes, defeat. it gives you the assassin archetype, which I'm not going to lie, might be kind of broken. If I'm being honest, it gives you like at least like two or three different insta kill attacks, which is like ridiculous by the way. Thank you for putting up with my indecisiveness, at least. Let's head to my village another day. Call upon me when you have the spare time. Homeward, then. For today, let us rejoin our comrades. Alright, sounds good, babe. <laughs> hmm. Who do we hear? We hear... A nurse. I don't think... I don't think I ended up doing nurse. Give me one second. How you feeling? But Let me take a look here. I think we I think I ended up going over here. There's like a thing here. So apparently apparently there's like these like stand like the stands or the podiums or whatever, and there's like limited time to like do debates. Um and they are permanently missed if you don't do them. Everyone listen! I am I'm pretty sure we've missed at least one of them already, but it's fine. It is what it is. Listen up. When I am king, I am turning half of this country's cities into entertainment districts, and the spirits will flow from their castes, free, free for all. Those are some pretty wild campaign promises. Why don't you put your word against theirs in a debate? If you can make them see the future that you're envisioning, I'm sure that you will win some favor. Easier said than, un than done, but you can't piss up, pass up on this chance. If I enter a debate here, then my eloquence and my imagination should increase. If it goes well, you might even get some donations. Do you want to give it a shot? Sure. Huh? Yes, please. Do you have a problem with what I'm saying? Absolutely. Oh, he's so flowery, bro. I would never I would never want this person yeah, to be king. Are you kidding me? He looks like a hippie. Well, sit your arse down and let a man who is truly fit to be king pluck those flowery ideas right out of your ears. Um, you're one to talk. Ew. Also, is he carrying like a Everyone harpoon around? It. What's I going on? Listen up. When I am king, I am turning half of this country's cities into entertainment districts, and the spirits will flow from their casks free for all. Whether you're rich or you're poor, every sod can get as pissed as the next. That is true equality. Then, after loads of people migrate to our merry city, the tourists will start pouring in, lining all of our pockets. Huzzah, free booze, you've got my vote. All of that just from free alcohol? Would that do anything to help a place like Martira, though? Loveless is playing to the crowd's pleasures. How should I appeal to them? I mean, mm, I was going to say, like, one of these two. I feel like you putting taverns out of business is going to be a huge fucking, a huge thing. Hang on. If alcohol was free, then the taverns would go out of business, and that is unrealistic. Ah. Are you thick? The country would foot the bill on all of the bar taps. Did you catch the part? I don't know. Oh, did I fuck it up? Oops. Oopsie. I would love to support the candidate that came to save the town, but getting trounced by loveless of all people? Hard to watch. Wait, excuse me. What? Is that literally all he wants? It's just that he, he, he literally just wants bars to just give free booze? That's what is the point, bro? Let's give it a shot. Disgusting. All oh right. wow, we just got the worst fucking result. Ugh, gone. Big sad. How do you Time argue with stupid on, though? And the age of the <laughs> How does that work? Draws nearer. Say, 
With regards to the mausoleum, the army appears to be investigating the matter. However, let me guess, the monsters were too much for them, and they came running back with their tails between their legs. There must be a decent number in there. Come to think of it, we just... we Sorry, we got a request from a soldier, didn't we? Why not finish up this... Sorry, finish up his task and kill some monsters while we're at it. Alright. Um, I don't remember... I think... I think there should be something else we can do here. Hold on. Oh, okay. I'm, like, going day by day and trying to, like, remember exactly what I did up until we got to the abandoned tomb, and then we should be good. Um, I think it was Barden. Hmm. The city has returned to its lively self, but were it not for all of you, thinking back, I do remember Lady Joanna disappearing at times. But I had not the slightest doubts about her then. I believed that, I sorry, I believed every word that Joanna and Morris had to say, and I carried on without a care in the world. Bro, I feel so bad for him, though. Imagine trying to investigate all this stuff, and then you find out that, like, everything just, like, went to shit. <laughs> it's crazy. In some ways, the situation has shined a light upon me, my own weakness, and I will not make the mistake the twice. Says, I would love to speak with you, if possible. I hope that you will make some time for me. Oh my god, yes, Daddy. Thank you. He's cool. I like him. And let me say it again. The town is safe now, thanks to you. Couldn't be more grateful to you. Pardon! I heard you fix up the hole in my shop's wall while I was gone. Oh, I could kiss you. Why, it were no trouble. Excuse me? Your bonny wife had need of help, and we all have need of help. Assure me. Oh, yeah. that may be, but I never knew a captain to be so generous. My only wish is to render assistance in any way I can. Whatever we matters I can take care of, I will. Even if they might not turn out as well as yours did. What the hell? You bumped into me? Well, who could avoid those massive ears, you damn ressant? Looks like I need to go keep a brawl at bay. Hey, listen, both of you, enough already. Sorry about that. Right tragedy for the town hero to see something so disgraceful. I'm not bothered, but are you? Oh, well, my skin ain't that thin yet. It's just that kind of manky scene has been more. What people way. people fighting over like their race People's or something? More racism shit. Good lads fighting. Whole town is right anxious. And that's what I wanted to discuss with you. I'm curious about you and your pals. You're all of different tribes, eh? Even got highs made to join up with you. How exactly did you get so many different people to come together as one? Uh, we have a common, have a enemy. common enemy. Is it Lady Joanna you speak of? Uh, no. Wait, Interesting. wait, what? Huh? And of course, someone's Oh yeah, we can't tell him why. Too. Oh, never mind. Let's see here. So it is. What we need here is a leader everyone acknowledges. We need a new system where the people themselves govern the town. I think that sounds like a fine idea. I'm much assured by your words. Thanks for being so accommodating. So, so is if he going to help us set up like a democracy? Is that his bonding quest line? Consult, I know this town will keep getting better. Of course. I'd like to keep helping you. Oh, that would be a great help. Th oh my God, crush me to death. <laughs> She's like, the oh my God! Guardsman, Barden. Within him dwells the virtue of the commander. Nurture thy bond with him. Sounds good to me. Also, from playing around with this class already, I don't like it very much. It's kind of mid. Well, I mean, the weapon itself kind of sucks. Um, but the actual abilities of the class are really good. But they're. Mm, it's hard to describe. I feel like it's it's good to learn the class and then move on. Then. I'm very very thankful for the ability to to grind um AXP items with like the other archetypes or whatever instead of using that one. Back at the Matira Tavern. All right then. All right. Um what do I don't remember. I don't know if there's anything we can actually do right now. Let me double check here. We 
too. Why is everyone moaning? Excuse me. Um, let's go do. All right. Let me just go out here. Let's um, let's go take a look at um, maybe like wisdom or something. And then I think that we're heading out the next day. Can I report stuff? We did it. Ooh. Okay, I remember this. Yeah, so we got that. We get uh, you get courage. You get the moony. I think we're gonna go. We're gonna go over and um, we're gonna do wisdom. Also, that's a massive jump in our competitor rank. That's crazy. Thank you. you really Pardon? Okay. We're going to go ahead and gaze, gaze at the townspeople. What is that thing called? People watching? I'm not actually a huge fan of it. I don't know if anyone else is into that stuff, but I'm going to be completely honest with you. It's it's kind of mm, it's kind of weird. I remember when I when I had to go to Rome, I had like two or three people be like, oh my god, you're gonna have such a great time, like people watching people while you eat and drink. And I was like, I was like, why the hell am I gonna watch people? <laughs> like, I mean like taking in the scenery is one thing, but like why would I be staring down people like while I'm eating? Like <laughs> like it's kinda weird. Kragant Castle feels like it is a is just a natural part of the landscape. I guess it all depends on how something was built and when. What about you? Do you prefer Krigong Castle or the Grand Cathedral? Um, I I guess I like it here. It's more quaint. You prefer a more classic look, huh? It does feel like the town, uh, like the town built up around it naturally, so it all blends together perfectly. Sure, I mean, you have to put aside what happened inside, but uh, not that the Grand Cathedral is any better. Uh, all right. I do find it. I find it very interesting that. It is very, it's very quaint here. Oh, I just wake up from nap. Hi, BB. Oh, Angel, how, hello. Welcome in, babe. How is your nappy? Are you still tired? I'm sorry. I feel you. It's, it's honestly like I, I would have been on a little bit earlier too. Um, but I, I had to like nap for like an extra 30 minutes too. Not about it. It's like getting like winter time too. So like, I don't know if it's just me, but like the, the colder that it the gets, the more likely that I want to just sleep. It's just a, it's just a thing, you know what I mean? Like I would rather, I would rather make, stay like warm, like warm and like wrapped up in like my right. bed sheets, even if it hurts me, even if it causes problems. Um. Oh, like okay. I think. Let me just double check. Check our followers. Apparently, Maria's good too. I think we're okay to go to the other dungeon. Um, I was gonna say though, I feel like it's interesting that this town is like extremely quaint, very like medieval timesy looking. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why that is. It's just, I guess it's like just the way the architect, the architecture is. Um, let me go to the Gauntlet Runner. We're gonna go. We're gonna go over to the abandoned tomb, and then we should technically be caught up almost to where we were before. Let's see. Let's take a shit. Did it work? Right. No. Got it. I want to take I want to take Poopus and I want to get my luck up, please. <laughs> Too pretty, please. This is Orger sugar and a briny salt. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna tuck that in my little back pocket there, my little pouch. Let's see. Okay. What's the plan? So I think um we were gonna go down we here. Now? Okay. Yeah, it's your Basically they're saying right. the weather is very bad. Feels bad. Apparently it takes two days to get there. Taking up the request of the man in Martira, the gauntlet runner makes its way. Angel, how are you? Still your team. I I have to if you're not if you're not busy, maybe tonight or tomorrow. Um, hopefully, um, I will jump on a call with you because I need to like kind of like throw down with you real quick. Nothing super crazy, but like I need to like throw down. You know what I mean? Just tired. No, it's okay. No, I feel that. Just take your time waking up, babe. I'm I'm feeling you too. 
I wish I wish I could be sleeping right now. I wish I wish I had all the time in the world. I really did. What do they want me to do? Um, oh, I need to talk to Strahl. Oh, it's, uh... I'm sorry. Sorry, I know that I need to do better. Sorry, be better about keeping my emotions in check. Right. Do you remember what we heard about my inheritance? That there may be a clue to its whereabouts in my hometown of Halia? Um... Sure. Yeah, your inheritance could rebuild your house. Oh. I mean, if I had it, you mean. To be a lord of a prosperous house, that is the natural ambition of all who are born into nobility. Angel superpower, sleeping for centuries without being affected by time. I don't believe that. No, that is not how that works. Mm. That is not how that works. Nice try. If that superpower were real, then you wouldn't be tired. <laughs> I'm just saying. Forging aristocratic alliances, courting favor from royals and nobles, and marrying some wealthy lord's daughter. Mm. Messing around. Mm. I mean, listen. Don't try to make me feel jealous that I can't be sleeping right now, too. All that couldn't feel more foreign to me in this life. Your life is yours to choose, babe. If only it were that easy. Okay, yeah. weird, weird question. If you... If you were like actually like stuck in a dead end and you had to like choose between like i don't know like if you if you felt like you were trapped and like you felt like you couldn't go like you couldn't get out of like this like a situation would you actually just like like stay there and be stuck or would you just literally yolo and just force just force force your way out and do anything you had to do to get out of it these are like the real hard-hitting questions I know I'm being like a little bit vague. I'm just like, they're giving us like a kind of vague situation too. So I'm just curious. Like imagine, imagine you were being forced by your family to marry somebody, which apparently is very common. That's a very common thing uh, in the real world. Um, I mean, like I know some people probably would like end up like sticking with it. I know that some other people would probably do everything they could to like run away and like just like never deal with that shit. The house, its name, and both are the cornerstone of Halia. But that means nothing to the people suffering, cast out by the fire. If I put the house uh, first in spite of that, then I am no different than Lord Hydran. What is my course? My lack of clear answers clouds my thoughts of late. Got it. But there is a ray of light between those clouds, thanks to you. I need to seek out that inheritance. I know that much. I was going to say, you know what? Why don't... What if... What if he just... What if he just gambled and made a shit ton of money and then gave his money to all of his people? You. How about that? Easy clap. <laughs> I'm curious to see your home. Oh my god, are we flirting? Am I rizzing him right now? I honestly didn't expect such kindness, though. Oh, there's more where that came from. But since you're coming along, shall we agree to head there next time that we meet? I can sense strolls deep in trust in me. Oh, hell yeah. I'm relieved what do we get? That Warrior lineage. That's a tea. I really should be the one helping you, but it is quite the opposite, time and time Thanks. again. Thanks for that. Alright, we're gonna breeze through this dungeon, by the way. Oh, excuse me. Oh, you lot, time to muster. We've got a runner headed our way. We're getting, Why, we're getting ambushed. Good. That Boris runner has to be Goddard's Horizon Star. That Firebrand thinks that he can decimate our craft. Count on Uris to know the other Gauntlet Runners by sight, but when he says decimate, that can't be a good thing, can it? Indeed, we must not allow him to damage His Highness's runner. Let's go. Boss fight. It's just, it's literally just an old man. Did he have a fucking old runner? Did he have an igniter grafted grafted into his fucking neck? Are you, you fucking good? Who the opening ceremony. A young man like you, our king. Ha! Laughable. What's your problem? The name's Godard. The rightful heir to the throne and the voice of the rogue tribe. Tax the young, bankroll the elderly. Those too old to work will know prosperity under my rule. 
You little jackanapes will kneel before your betters and elders. And if you will not, you will be made to kneel. Prepare yourselves! We don't want your vision. Alright, this person has anger issues. I need to I need to spank him. Step aside. No no no. We don't want There you go. Feels good. I shall fight as the no Are you prepared? This should help my turn. I'm obliged. Quite a bruise. I owe you. Face me. Mustn't match it. I don't know if this away. is going to do anything, but pray for me. Take this. Oh, did you fucking crit him? What? Rude. I won't hold back. Why are you like no. this, bro? Do Go for it. My friends. Critical meatballs. I'm kinda here for that. Step aside, youngsters. I'll cut you down. I stand charging in. I can show you the world. Thank you, BB. Also, this is kind of a key. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, nice. All right. Take it. Much thanks. I wish I could actually do more damage right now. Bro, stop that. Why, why are you like this, bro? What is your problem? Fortune slot. Um... All right, here we go. Ooh, did that actually work? Oh my god. Well, let's go. Mania bullet. This is also very good. I like this. That is disgusting. Oh my god, you guys. A mania... <laughs> yeah, the gunner class is nasty. Respect for your elders. Who do you think kept this kingdom together after the war? This is... I was going to say earlier, thank you for donating to the Cringel, by the way. We will get there one day. Eventually, we will we will swig mouthwash on here. I, I, mean, I see, I see, I see, I see. There you go. Get punched. Get out of here. I like to beat up old men in like a non sussy way, obviously. Nobody's trying to massacre the elderly, you old goat. We want equal. Angel, when are you getting um? When are you getting your new PC? God above. Look, we'll not kill you here. How's that? I mean, I'm oh, sorry, not your new PC. Reuse old PC. Uh, mark me. I mean, it's the this same thing. It's a new PC for you. Again. <sighs> this old man is old. Not about him. Polarity magnet. Ooh. Excellent. I've grown more power. Oh my god, my bat, my bat boy just leveled up. Yes, Sukaka, Sakaka, suck, suck. And we've gone up in popularity too. Apparently, apparently, beating up old people is very in fashion with the the youth. I'm unsure. Hopefully, after he builds the new one, I'm not gonna bug him yet. What? Nah. I mean, like, well, I I would say, I mean, like, if he's told you that he's gonna give it to you, like, that's one thing. But like, is he? Is he like still not building his new PC? Is it not in yet? I'm just curious because like I thought he would have had it by now almost at least or at least, like he would have had it in the front of him and like ready to go to like start building. As darkness overcomes the wilds. Night the fall, darkness is coming. The time of hunting for monster kind. Even with the gauntlet runner, it is no time for travel. As monsters come more alive with every breath, the thirst for adventure is quenched. How long have we been going for? Oh, maybe about an hour. Okay, that's not bad. I will breeze through this dungeon and then we can actually do the story. Well, actually, no, technically there's another dungeon we have to do, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, you have reportable quests, which I don't think I can actually report them here. 
Or maybe I can. Wait, what? Oh. Huh. Okay. That's weird. I thought that I couldn't report this, but apparently God has other plans. What did I do before? I think I did this. However, Are you free for a moment? I am thinking of how to use our time wisely right. on our journey. I'm going to spend this time watch, standing and keeping, uh, standing watch and keeping us safe. Do you care to join me? We might encounter enemies, but I bet I bet that waiting patiently for them would raise my tolerance. Mm. And go for it. I might have to do a fight here because of this, but it's fine. It's oh. fine. It's been a while since I've done this. When I was in the Shadow Guard, my sharp hearing meant that I was usually put on watch duty. At the time, most of my missions were confidential and the kind of thing that never becomes pub uh, public knowledge. Even now, I can't go into any details, wow. but I was desperate to protect something important to me. That's what it was all about. Really? It must have been difficult for you. Wow. Well, that was all a long time ago. Now it is just another memory of my youth. Maybe I'm still a desperate man, but my heart feels lighter now than it was uh, then. Perhaps the difference is having comrades that I can trust. Oh, I trust him too. We trust you. <laughs> Is my honor. Perhaps if you do succeed one day, then if, if you do manage to build an ideal country of kindness to all, then I would strive to protect the land that we all have. I believe that we to sorry, I believe that I believe we too strive towards the same world. So I would gladly fight for it, not in secret like I did in the Shadow Guard, but as a true official knight. If it really is possible, then nothing would make me happier. Oh my god! You'd make a fine so commander. Mad. <laughs> oh my god, I love him. It's so easy to riz him up, and it's so cute. I believe that you have a talent for showing others the light, and I say that as one who fell into deep darkness. Reminds me of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> That's a rare quality. You're a charmer yourself. Be fine. I'm sure that people are drawn to your natural charm too, Heisman. Mm -hmm. Bro, we're literally, we've literally just been flirting with him the entire night. That's crazy. I have rather dragged this conversation on, haven't I? It is a good thing that all has remained quiet out there. Wait, it is quiet no more. Oh no, I'm being ambushed. No. An enemy comes. Alright, sounds good. What's the enemy? Oh. Wait a minute. Let's stay calm. There we go. Uh need to fire. This is mm. Should be okay. Okay, thank God. Bro, oh my god. The merchant class, for some reason, it is just broken. Like you literally don't have to do anything. You you don't use MP or HP, you use gold. So if you farm gold, you have like a not like an unlimited amount of like of like um resources to do attacks with it it's crazy and it has a really high crit rate too okay we should be we should be in the abandoned tomb in a hot second i think they're off of us and that's just how we want it all thanks to the watchmen huh yeah i mean i think we did pretty well the runner is safe and we learned a valuable lesson in the process and good experience all told well you are welcome to come and visit again if you would like I don't want to make well. Right. I don't want to make him do watch duty all the time, but I mean, to be fair, he has big ears, big juicy ears. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. I want to pick. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, all right. Baby. Let's go ahead and let's talk to our boyo. Actually, hold on. I'll take a shit. Right. When we travel like this, sometimes it feels like I can see my hometown on the on the horizon. I'm admittedly intrigued by the idea of an inheritance, but going back there is a weight in my heart. Trollson seems pretty down. I should talk to him again once we are back in Whoa. town. I know that I shouldn't overthink it, but all of this sitting around leaves me with little else to hey. do. Sometimes it is best to clear your mind and focus on a single task. Do you want to hone our weapons? Absolutely. So. Let's go. Got it. 
Naturally, it is important to sharpen one, one's blade, but one must take special care of its tip. The tip is more effective when facing off against armored opponents to pierce gaps in the armor rather than slashing at them. The case. That all said, what is the most important quality of the sword uh, for the manner of attack? I would I would assume it is the sharpness of the point, considering that you just told me it's about the tip. Oh, that's right. I would say the sharpness of the point. Yeah. That's right. For gaps in armor, the thinner and sharper the better. My father always said that, and I always think of it when I'm doing sword maintenance. His fighting spirit, blah blah blah. All right. Ooh. For nobles, a sword is ornamental, and so my father emphasized the importance of its practical use. Indeed, as a child, I was lost around a sword. I'm learning those lessons back then is how I can fight alongside you today. I'm constantly reminded of how indebted I am to my parents. All right, it's dungeon time. Time to get this shit going. The party finally arrives at the abandoned tomb. It is said an affluent aristocrat is in tomb. Gonna get this too messy done. However, if true, his only visitors these days are tomb robbers seeking his wealth. Are the rare blades and shimmering jewelry merely a trap to draw in more victims? Or something else entirely? So this is a tea, but like <laughs> there's gonna Love be it. probably a lot of mimics here, so I don't know if I want to fight all of them, um, but I will do what I can. There's like specific areas that if you if you look at where the what the treasure chest looks like, you'll know that it's probably a mimic. Hmm. Um, and you don't really get anything super crazy for fighting them, well, but we'll see. Uh, let me let me let me change my loadout here. See if we can't um can't be a little extra prepared for the dungeon. What now? Oh. Let me take a look here. Do we all have cleric? I don't think we do. How much bank do I have? No, where what? All right. Would you look at so this? here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have everyone learn Welcome. the cleric. I don't think they do know. I said this. All right. Um, because they can actually get another, they can get another skill. It's called uh, Hamian. If anyone else remembers that one, it's from like all the other. Um, SMT persona games or whatever. It's like a super strong light ability. Um, but there are some enemies here that are weak to that. I think it's a, probably a good idea to use that. I see. Good. I'm still getting stronger. I saw the All right. I'm counting. I'm not being dramatic when I say like literally of we want to give this to everybody. A new ability. T here. I see. Fascinating. We're um we're super close by the way, Angel, to um to actually getting to this the next part of the story. All right. Um, we have one more dungeon after this, which I have not actually gone through yet, but this one I have. I'm um, on. so soon. Did I give her the cleric? Okay, good. I Imagine I accidentally bought something else. Power. Oops. See, whoops here. Oh, okay. Apparently. Mm. Apparently his thing is not up yet either. That's fine. I'll I'll give him something else. What can I give him? Let me do. I think give him this one. All right. This might actually be really really good. I'm gonna give him a uh, lurking lurking nightingale or whatever the hell that the ability is called. It's like super disgusting. Mm. My power swells forth. All right, let's see here. Hold on. Oh. I'm quickly thinking of what, oh God, what, what archetypes I want to put on. Um, what now? I don't mind giving him Gunner. What now? But the only thing, though, if we give Merchant, though, that'd be good, too. I'll keep, you know what? I'll keep him with that one for now. Look, plus three. What can I put on here? Able to perform two consecutive actions. Okay, this is this will be really good. Uh, agility, blah, blah, blah.
Let me go ahead and put well, I'm gonna put merchant on him. Weapon. There we go. Stronger than a sword at times. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna okay, dive in. Let's... I'm gonna go through here as fast fast as fuck, boy. Hey, hey, Galica, do you have any idea where this ring that we're after might be? Oh yeah, we're looking. Technically, you're looking for a ring for one of the um one of your followers, I think. Um, and I believe it's nearby, but we can't actually get to it until we get a key from the boss of the dungeon. So we're going to have to go through here. I do recall that our objective here is finding this ring. Right. He's just like, he's like, yo, let's just open every single treasure chest right now. Oh, let's fucking go. I think it's this door here. This wall has got a kind of weird pattern on it. I can hear sound coming from the other side. There may be a room behind it. Then is this a door? How do we open it? Um, with magic, I would assume, or something. Who knows? Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go through here. Wait, hold on. Mm. Let me try. Let me try fighting this one. Also, I forgot to put the hammy on skills on right now, so it's kind of a TV. It says this resists. Let's see if this actually works, though. Did it work? No. No. Maybe not. This should work. You hit their weakness. Let's go. That's your opening. Come on. Are you prepared? I don't like these. I don't like these, bro. What is your problem? Mimics are the worst. I really hate them. Uh, I gotta wake him up. Disgusting. Hold on. I'll use what I must. Mustn't settle for these. I leave it to you. I won't hold back. Here's through. Well, uh, tougher than I thought. <laughs> no, stop that. Why are you all asleep right? Oh, my God, bro. I literally hate this. Bro, are you fuck? Are you prepared? <laughs> like what the hell? Get out of here. Stepping back to the Look at this. Good. That'll do a clean victory. Nice. I feel stronger already. Okay. So let me actually jump in, uh, jump back into this with like a oh, proper thing. Hold on. Um, we need to put on Hamion. Let me actually get the setup here. All right. You can technically, mm, if you have enough room, you can actually put on gold attack too. But again, it just depends. Just depends on what kind of class you're using. Magic font. Let's see here. Um. Let me put on Medi for him too, just in case. All right. Could be fine. All right. What do I want on him? Probably. Hmm. What's his actual stats? Does he have high attack? He does. I guess it's fine for now. I mean, it's it's one of those things like, I mean, like having Hamion on everyone is ideal, but also gold attack is very useful too. Let's see, we're gonna jump down here. I love that the gunner class is disgusting. 
So any any chest in this dungeon that is surrounded by like a circle underneath it is safe. Anything that's not, from what I remember, I'm pretty sure, unfortunately, it might be a mimic. Not really about that. How do we get out of here? How do I get? How do I escape? Oh, here we go. Run, bitch, run. It's a mimic. No, I my brain turned off for like two seconds. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was like, mm. it says resist, but like, let me do this. All right, here we go. Big damage. That's nasty. Mm. Going through this dungeon, I would say using um, well this one too, but let's see, what's the other one? Perfect punch or brawler? Oh god, so good. So 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 good. This won't do. Face me! Critical hit! My time for some close combat. Falling back. On target. I should kill him. There you go. And my first run through here, I I just no brained it. I just did whatever the fuck I wanted and it was rough. This time I will show you what to do. Lucky fine. Ooh. What do we get from that? It's probably just like a material material that you can sell. Scrap metal. Was it worth it? Mm. Probably not, but it is what it is. There's like some enemies hiding behind there. Just gonna run past them. There is a very, very good place to grind in this dungeon. I am telling you right now. Um, once we actually beat the dungeon, I will load in the other save that we have and I will show you. It is disgusting. Absolutely broken. All right, so go through here. Oh, no, that's a mimic, by the way. We don't, I'm not going to bother fighting the one. It's fine. Let me go up this ladder. See if I can actually take care of this one too. I don't think I can, but we shall see. Looking good. Let's go. Is there another way? Take it. You hit their weakness. Are you prepared? That's your opening, Captain. Not done yet. Oh, oh no, we're okay. We're okay. I crush you. Oh my God. These ones, they're like the Looks weird like elementals. Like if you don't use specific yeah, attacks, like they're just, uh, they so ignore everything. They're so rude. That was the last of them. Where does this take me? Ooh. Can't actually go through here, but there is a bug. Something. There is a gold Let's beetle here for us. us. to take me uh, right through here okay all right hope this is that let's push through come on amazing let's push through this will do it let's push through i can feel the power coursing through there it is looks like we're safe for now there is a monster over here if you can see it in, in the distance there this one's sussy i don't like this one come on take this all right, so this monster here, I will show it after too, but this one is super fucking, oh, super, super good to farm. Um, let's see. What can I do here? Uh, odd killer. Let's do this. Let's go. That's your way, Captain. I shall vanquish evil. Oh, holy light! Keep it up, Joel. I'll just stay focused. Apologies. Ooh. Can I finish it in one turn? I might be able to. Did we get it? Oh. 
Hell yeah. Okay. And that's that's funny because that is where we are now. Like we're technically under level for that fight. Um the more you level up, the easier that one gets to big fat damage. Hell yeah, Trader Summit too. So yeah, basically, um, and I'll show it to you guys real quick after, but essentially, um, you can go around through here. There's like specific places you can go. There's like a thing through here. Hold on. There's another door. Not, not another door. There's like a little place you can crawl through. There's another one of those monsters up here. Um, I don't know if I want to fight it, but there is a thing here. This thing just, it just, it just sits here. There's like a chest you can grab there too. I'll grab it later. Um, if I remember, but it just sits there. And you, if you're running through and grinding, you basically just go from the beginning of the dungeon and then you run through here. You, you attack the monster over there and then you run through here. Let's push through. That was well done. And then there is a save point just past here and you can just keep, keep so looping lucky. over and over. It's really, really good. <laughs> Let me go ahead and I'll actually check up here. Is there anything up here? I don't remember. I just want to show you guys if there's anything. Uh, oh, you know what? This will actually loop around to the other side there. So, you know what? Let me do that after because I, I remember that. Um, let's go over here. I'm going to go ahead and kill these two enemies, get this chest, and then we're going to go ahead and save probably rest up to him. I'm going to have to heal. Um, and then we should be doing a boss in a hot second here. Let me just make sure. Just ignore the other save. I will go and show you guys that after. There's a reason. <laughs> There's a reason that I wanted to go through this before I actually use the other save. Because I want you guys to actually see what the dungeon is like before I grind it, obviously. Oh my god, who could have saw that coming? It's another mimic. That's crazy. Also, Tihi, by the way, um, we're going to take a break in about 20 minutes. Just a heads up. Assassin. All right, let's see. From what I remember, it's the, it's the same thing. Um, let's see gold attack. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep retrying because apparently God has a plan until we get a crit. There you go. Just treat it, treat it like literally any other mimic. Are you prepared? The power of the light is everything with a blade in hand. I'm missing you, my friends. I owe you. Some darker arts. Make your evasion fall. Is this is actually better to do than um than using Masuka Kaja or whatever because at the end of the day they can't heal their own debuffs. We love that. We should be able Let's to kill go. it. If we don't kill it this turn, it'll be next turn. Assuming that things do not get too, too chaotic. Enticed by money. Sleepy air. Wow, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> we're gonna fucking we're gonna one shot this one. Don't kill me. Get out of here. Get out of here. Easy clap. That's what I'm talking about. Also, you get a crescent medal for beating it. You can technically steal that. Which I think I did steal it before, um, but like apparently if you don't steal it, you just get it. So like, what I don't know. That's kind of weird, but good. Go has plan. Very good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, I will quickly. We're gonna go get the other item too. But before we go forward, the crescent metal that you get gives you plus two stats to every single stat. So it's very good, especially at the beginning of the game. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. That got ugly. Quite the indiscretion to fall for such an obvious sure. trap. So, um, Will, did you see... Sorry, did I see you pick something up earlier? Is that a treasure, perchance? It appears to be some sort of key as well. Oh. oh, to a room somewhere, perhaps. A room under lock and key, in which we might hope um, a certain ring of value might be found, for better or worse. I see. How interesting. Finally, a turn of good fortune. Then... 
All right, well, so we're looking for a door then, huh? Let's go get that ring and get out of here. Be careful. I'm sure that we'll find more treasure chests along the way, and if they're anything like this one, then we'll spring all of the traps you like, but don't say that I didn't warn you. No, I think we're good. I'd rather not. I'm not about that. I think mimics are kind of the sh one of the shittier enemies too, because like they like to put people to sleep. Um, let's go. Let's go up here. Also, there's a cute little tooth over there, but I'm not gonna lie, it's fine. He can just chill there. Hey, come on! Let's stash that somewhere safe. I think if we drop here, we go to the other side, and because so because we didn't go this way already, um, we actually get to loop around. Um, and it's actually faster and more convenient for us because um, I'm not opening that. <laughs> I think we're good. Um, there should be a way to get in through here. I can see it right there. Here, hold on. So this, I think, is a shortcut, but there is. We can open that. Oh, here we go. This is a shortcut, and then there's also through that little hole in the wall. Um, we can use the key that we got from the boss. And there is a shit ton of treasure chests over here. With really good items. Let's see. I don't remember what they are, but we're gonna find out. Let's see from left to right. Left to right here. Ayo. We found something. Incredible. A sand silk blouse. Increases evasion against strike. Not bad. And then what is this one? Is it a weapon? We found something. <laughs> you got a sage's staff. This one, I am assuming it has like some kind of ability, but I have to return to town later to actually get it purified or something. We found something. Our risk pays off. Crimson fangs. Uh what is that? Oh, they're like daggers for like the thief or something. Okay, and then there's only one more thing that we have to do. We're gonna go back this way. I'm gonna go through the shortcut. Um, and there was that door right by the beginning of the dungeon. There's, There's a treasure chest in there that we want to go to. Oh, here we go. Sounds crazy, but something's around here. Oh, something is around her. Hmm. Hey, you found something. It would just be this one. This right here through this door. This is the ring. So if you go through here, you can get the ring for the uh, the follower, whatever his name is. The really pretty guy. <laughs> the really pretty guy with the big jewel eye, jewel eyes or whatever. Oh, hey, Bones. Hey, BB. Thank you for the shout out. How are you doing? Oh, Bones, right. I swear to God, I'm going to literally eat you out, bro. I swear. What are you up to? Yes, this must be the ring. Hey. Didn't you say something about that ring having some rather sketchy backstory? This? All we heard is that misfortune befalls the ring's owner. And if the people that we found... Sorry, if and if the place that we found it is any indication... <laughs> Absurd. Fooli foolish superstition at most. Now then. Well, how about you try putting it on your finger then? No. Oh, um, well, you see. Galaka, you Galaka. tried putting it on. You tried out Galaka. What? what? Why me? It's way too big for me anyway. You take it, Will. Just, like, put it around her head. She can wear it like a like a choker or something. I don't know. Please. So it is concluded then. Well, Will, that means that it, its delivery is left to you as well. Now then. Shall we head out? I would rather not linger here. Yes, we're going to go ahead and go to the entrance, and then I'm going to go load the other save. All right. Um, And you guys will see all the sussy, grinding shenanigans that we've been up to. So let me go ahead and do this cute little tee here. It's basically a jump of like 10 fucking levels, by the way. It just, it is what it is. Um, But let me see here. Let's go through. Can I actually go through the archetypes? I think we have... How do I do this? I have to equip them. So we don't have absolutely everything mastered, but we have at least, I think, technically, hold on. We have one elite archetype mastered for every character. Um, all of the ones that we had for the regular, the basic ones are all mastered now, thank God. Um, and then apparently, so there's like a whole thing. I'm gonna go jump over and I'm gonna show you guys. Now, where what? There's a new quest that we have from More, More. And he needs us to go and level up the, I believe, the general oh. archetype. I could be wrong. Yeah, he wants us to get the general up to level 15. So we're going to go and continue 
um, as soon as possible, we're going to continue Barden um, his bond. Oh. Um, just because at the end of the day, like if we get his thing leveled up, I'm pretty sure we get a really good archetype, especially for Will, um, the yeah. main character. Yeah. Um, before I do anything, before we leave, I'm just going to quickly show you um, the grinding route that we do for this. This is disgusting. Absolutely nasty. Um, you want to have technically, I mean, like it's, it is what it is, but like I have every character wearing the merchant class. Um, all you do is you run through here. You don't have to fight every single enemy in this dungeon. It's literally just go through here, take out this big mob. And then I believe it's once you hit level, level 34, um, all of the enemies will technically become classified as easy. So you can like one shot them. So I'm going to run over here. I'm going to take this guy out. I'm going to move to the left here and he's going to turn around because he notices me. Look at that. He's dead. Crazy. <laughs> I, I, I did this like so many times I was like, bro, I'm like, what is wrong with me? And then you jump back up here. If you guys remember, there was this one up here that we avoided. I don't remember what was in the treasure chest, but it is what it is. He just fucking stands here. What a loser. He's just waiting to be ganked right now. All right, get fucked. And that's how you do a voice. You just run, run around, kill those ones. And then you're going to loop around here. There's like a save point here. You can teleport back to the entrance for him. Um, if you have... um. If you have like the threads that will take you out of the dungeon, you can like spam those too. They're like super cheap or something too, so it's not a big deal. Um, if you purchase like 99 of them. But that is what I have learned. I also realize now that I have to have a lot of threads too if I want to like efficiently grind. So I think what we're gonna do is when we get back to um back to the city, um, once we know uh that it's idols day and like whatever, I'm gonna go around we're gonna start buying things at like a heavy discount, and we're gonna start filling up our inventory. But that is pretty much it. That is all you have missed. It took what, like about an hour to, or an hour, hour ish, 20 minutes or maybe to get back where I was. Um, and that was before any kind of grinding technically that I had done. So that's pretty good. So we're pretty much good to go. Let me go ahead and save over this one too. So I don't accidentally load this later. Let's see here. It's going to be night soon. Why can't... Well, sorry, we can't take the runner out in the dark, so should we call it a day and head back? Yes, okay. we're going to go back. Got it. Going home. We have, um, we have one more optional dungeon that we have to go do, and I think it's by Grand Trad. But that's about it. Are you trying to... Tell me Yes. Are you trying to tell me to put down my controller because I'm I'm playing too hard? Is that what this is? Hold on. What should we talk about? Um, fighting other candidates. Still, that Goddard sure is stubborn. Still though, I guess time hasn't been very kind to him. Yeah, he's fucking old, bro. Come now, he's lived twice as long as we have. Though I hope to age, sorry, I hope to age more gracefully than that. Bones, how are you, girl? You jumped in, you didn't tell me how you were, and I feel bad. Where, how have you been? Uh, you playing on. game? The deadline. Apparently we have an- oh god, we have a deadline coming up too. I relaxed with my friends, all of us sharing a brief moment of peace. Wish it were me. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. La -da 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 -da. Oh, it's Idol's Day right now. Ah, uh, and it's technically raining, but I don't think we need to worry about that. I want to talk with Mista. I miss him. I want to talk to you as well, but is there anyone else we can talk to? Uh, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be a bad thing to go talk to her, I guess. Let's go ahead and um, we're going to use all the money we have. Oh, by the way, did I show you how much money we have? We have like over a million money, so that's the power of grinding with the merchant archetype. It's kind of disgusting. Um, let me go ahead and sell this shit too. Let's see here. Uh, golden EP. We don't actually. You know what? Yeah, let me clean up my inventory here. Now that. Now that. Increases damage against human, dummy, human monsters. Blah 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 blah. blah. You know what? Um. 
Now okay, then. I'm gonna keep these two. Now then, now then. I have, to have to have at least two of them. Great sword. Now then. Now then. Oh my god, what the now hell? Then. Now then. Yeah, we have way too many of these. Oh my god. I have 15 of them. Oh shit. Now then. Oops. <laughs> Increases electric attack strength. That's actually pretty good. I like that. Beast Slayer. Mwah, mwah, mwah. That's actually not that bad. I like how it's only like you can sell it for 1600, but like it's actually kind of good. Um, what's this one? Scrap Metal Slab. Beast Slayer. Now then. Now then. Now then. Now then. Sorry, I gotta clean up the inventory here. Um, now don't then. need that either. Yeah, I gotta. Oh my god, I have to. We gotta purify all of this shit. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, jeez, bruh. Damascus bow. Uh, no. Crimson Fang. Now then. I guess this is okay. We can keep these. What else do we have now here? Then. Now then. Now then. Now then. Now then. Exorcist Cassock. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if we need now that then. either, but I'll keep it for now. now then. Um now a lot then. of helmets here. Now then. This is all just like what are they called? Um like Garbo accessories and like stuff like that. Now then. Now then. Now then. Purity glove. That's not actually too bad. I think we should be okay. Now then. What do we have? A plus three. Now then. Now then. Look at now all then. of these things that we don't need. That's crazy. Magic plus three. Now then. Now then. Where's my endurance one? This one here. Twinkling crystal. Wait, is that not the same one? Oh, okay. What are the other? Okay, I remember. So, oh, wait, hold on. No, I was right. Oh my god, the twinkling crystal. You do steal it from the mi the mimic boss. Oh, I completely forgot. Oh, I was right. Oh, you have to steal from it. Oops. Yeah, make, guys, make sure you steal from that boss. If you don't steal it, you're you're gonna miss out on a really good accessory. <laughs> Um, prevent paralysis. These are cute. I think these should be okay for now. I don't think we need anything else. Um, okay. Let's, let us see. I know there's like one other thing I can sell here. It's probably, oh Jesus Christ, this one here. Now then. There's so many of that. Do I not have? Yeah, this one here. Now then. I'm gonna go ahead and max that out. Got a lot of clear water. Pardon? He doesn't have anything else that I think we can buy right, for then. now. Um, okay, apparently they're all on sale too. Yeah, let's go to the armor let's shop. We're gonna right go. Away. We're gonna go through all the, all the other shops too, and then we're gonna go hey. talk to Maria. That poor soul. Yeah, I don't need that. A brave guard has damage received from an enemy, from an enemy ambush. Oh, hold on. All stats plus two. Excuse me. Excuse moi. Yeah. Oh my god, that's really good. Um, does anyone else need that? Apparently not. Oh, and I can also appraise too. Let's go ahead and do all these. Silver gauntlets, iron gauntlets. These are terrible. Why did I do that? Why? Why did I do that? Now then. Now then. A grifty weapon. What? 
Girl, these are so sad. Ew, a mint charm. Accessories are not too bad. R uh, gritty long arm. That's going to be bad too. Yeah, that's a T here. Wait, hold on. Increases fire attack strength. Oh, wait, what the heck? Okay, that's not very, very good. Um, those those wands though are kind of disgusting. Mask spell, don't need that. Okay, I think we're good. That was a tee here. All right then, let's go. Got a bargain. What a bargain! What else do we have here? Ebony abacus. I think I actually I went through this earlier. Yeah, I think we're okay. All right then. Also, by the way, guys, welcome to welcome to SMT. Welcome to Persona. This is how these games go. Where's my other thing here? Let's go. Does that other shop carry food items for me? Can I buy them? Here, hold on. Ooh, okay, here we go. 20% off. Bro, 98 of them for not even 10,000 money? Disgusting. Actually, you know what that means? Um, a slumber thorn. What's the cheapest ones we have here? I'm just gonna, you know what? I'll buy all of them. Depending on what we can get here. Oh my lord. Lord have mercy on my soul. Finding rope. Okay, love that. Wow. Oh my <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, don't kill me. Alright, and last place we're gonna go, um, besides this one over here. Let me just see. This is on sale. You buying? Are you selling? Are you buying? All right, Get some money. We got some mags, uh. Can I have some mag plays? It sure seems like the bigger the candidate's faces on the rock, the better qualified they are. Hey, um, has the order of the faces changed since the royal funeral? The large faces in first and second are Fordin and Louise, but in third place is probably that Roussant Rudolph. But Godot's face looks smaller than before. I think it's because he lost that fight on the runner. It could be. I think every time we fight someone on runners, maybe their thing goes down. I wanna put my yeah, we want to see our face on the rock. All right, let's see. All right, then. Um, we're going to go over to Grand Trad. And then let me go, go here. There's two two places we can go here to buy um, more items for cooking. And they're on sale. So let's go take a look. What does he do here? Uh, I'll buy like one. I don't know why we're buying it, but it's fine. What's he buying? Oh, I already have all of them. Oh, shit. Hold on. Do I have all the other stuff too? Hold on. Nah. Did I accidentally buy every... Oh my god, I did. Oh. Oopsie. Oopsie. We bought everything from the shop there. Um... I don't think there's anything else over there that we need either, but I will go to the other item shop if it'll let me. Let's head there right away. I'm just curious to see if they have anything else in here. Let's take a look. But oh, they do have that. Oh wow. Not bad. Okay. Alright. Um Let's go over to Let's go. the Ocean Magic Association. See what they have. I've got one. And just a heads up, by the way, we are I promise we are gonna take a break very, very soon. Um Mage Underworld. Uh yeah, I don't think we need I don't think we need those. These two are sorry, these three are fine. I'll leave those alone for now. All right, um, let me go Let's over to the right St. Hermes Church, and then we should be good. Just take a break. I'm going to go over and we're going to go sit in front of Maria for a hot second, and then we'll be back. Just give me one second to 
buy all of the things. Ah, yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, then. Maria, where are you? Let's go bug her. Oh, I have to remember, too. Apparently, we have to cook something. Did I already cook it? I don't remember. Almost two hours on Have You Eaten, Judy? Um, also, by the way, welcome in Infinite. I didn't register that you were the one that asked me that, but asked me that. But thank you. <laughs> um, I was gonna say, um, I technically have. I had some warmed up pizza. Thank you, Bones, for giving him a shout out. Um, everyone, please um make sure that you guys check out our mods and check out anyone who gets a shout out. They are very, very awesome people. Um, everyone's pretty much part of like a bigger, a bigger quote unquote community. Everyone kind of jumps in and out. Um, so thank you, everyone, for being here, and I hope you guys um are enjoying the content. Um, yeah, of course, babe. Um, I was going to say I had pizza earlier and I'm going to probably, I might order dinner tonight. I'm going to leave the rest of the food downstairs for my parents because like they probably eat, need to eat something too. Um, but I have like, I have like Uber discounts right now. So I think, I think what I'm going to end up doing, see here, um, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm probably going to end up, um, probably ordering Starbucks or McDonald's or like something, I don't know, something, something quick and easy with like a couple drinks but i don't know when i'm gonna do it i'll probably do it like after we finish streaming or maybe like halfway through we'll see i'm really low energy today but i'm gonna do my best on my well, i was gonna say no no no, just girl just chill just chill if if you if you want to jump in and out you know like if you feel like you have to mod like don't don't ever feel that way it's um it's one of those things like like yeah. i'm just i'm happy you're here but at the same time though i mean like you know if things get really busy like i will try to ping people but otherwise like i mean like it's not that bad it's not a big deal um, I actually, by the way, just a heads up, guys, just so no one's surprised, um, I did quickly go through and uh, readjust um, mods recently as well. Um, I think we had at least like, I think it was like at least around eight or something before, but like we're not busy enough to have that many. And I would rather that people feel like they can kind of just enjoy stream if they jump in. So um, I went ahead and I've temporarily, um, I think I took, I took, um, I went ahead and took Sexy and I think Miss Fuzzy and I gave them back their VIP for now. So unless it gets like super, super busy or something, I think we should be okay. You know what I mean? But again, like it's it's one of those things like don't ever feel like you have to force yourself to, to like mod or anything. Um, all it would be is that if you're able to um, just like do shout outs or just like what is it like... Um, like if somebody accidentally like sends like a spoiler in chat and you happen to catch it, like try to get rid of it. That's literally all it is. You're doing fine. Like, and I feel you. You're. I feel the low energy today. I feel like the the more colder it is, the more wintry it gets. The more that I feel like I don't want to do anything. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's just me. Like I feel like I just want to veg out and just like just like cuddle up on my couch or like go to sleep. I think last year I did the same thing where like me and my whole family, we literally hibernated and like I, I worked obviously from home and everything, but like whenever I didn't need to do shit, I literally would just fucking lay. I would just go to sleep. Um, so it was kind of a tea here. Congratulations on two hours. Thank you. Thank you, Bones. Are you also modding somebody else right now too, Bones? Um, let me go ahead and we're going to go to the burb screen. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a break right now. I'm going to go check out my work and grab another water. Um, and then I will come back and about at least like five ish minutes from now, um, we will continue. We're going to go, uh, talk to Maria, get her bond up and her bond is very important because it gives us, um, gives us really, really good experience buffs as well. So. It's a teehee. Oopsie. <laughs> Sorry, welcome back everyone. Yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do uh Maria and then and I mean in like the best way possible, we're gonna do Maria's bond quest. And then we're gonna go and do the um the other optional dungeon if we have time. I wonder if Papa heard me. What did you ask Hold him? On. Oh my gosh, she praying is she praying to Jeebus for her for her daddy? Hmm. I told him that I'm sorry. I thought that Papa had abandoned me, but I was wrong, so I told him that I was sorry. Miss Fabian said that I could tell her anything, so I talked to her about a whole lot of things. So, 
I told her about Papa and how lonely I was after he was gone. And she listened to me. I was wrong that whole time. Oh, oh my God. Your Papa, your Papa must, must feel relieved. I'm sure that your Papa is relieved to hear yeah. that. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, I'm just, I'm glad that she's not sad anymore, at least for now, because God knows how these games go. There's always going to be some, some other traumatic event they're going to have to go through. I, hey, mister, Papa's job. Do you think that I could do it too? <gasps> Wait, what? No. Don't pull this shot on me right now. Miss Fabian told me that his job was to make sure that everyone is okay. Papa. I mean, I'm sure there's like other things that you can do to like make that job kind of work, but like I don't think this is the kind of job you're looking for, babe. I loved when Papa made sure that I was okay, and when I cried, he would give me a really big hug that always made me feel better. That's why. So I want to be like Papa. I want to make sure that everyone else is okay too. Oh, oh but I don't know how to fight. Does that mean that I can't do it then? Yeah, I was going to say, maybe you can make people smile. Why don't you try to make the people around you smile? Sometimes that is enough. Huh? What, that's all I really have to do? It's like, oh my, she's like, damn, it's that easy? That's crazy. Well, then I'll do it. First, I'm going to make sure that Miss Fabian is okay. Oh. I wonder what I can do to make her happy. What is something that Miss Fabian wants? Let's see. Hold on. I dropped something. Oh, that was annoying too. I dropped my Kleenex box and I was like, damn. <laughs> God has a plan apparently. She says that she doesn't need anything like pretty clothes. So I was thinking maybe flowers and some snacks and a new sign. Oh my god, you can you can make um make her her um her inn like look really pretty and flowery or something. That would be so cute. She she always says that the sign got beaten up by the weather, and if I make it look pretty again, do you think that it'll make her happy? Nah, pull pull like an Aerith Gainsborough and like whip out like a whole thing of flowers for everyone. That would be so cute. <laughs> I'm gonna make a new sign. This one will have Papa and Miss Fabienne and me and you all smiling together. You don't need me there. No, that's rude. It's the whole family. <laughs> the whole family will be there. Yeah. Ah! Oh my god. Ah! I'm like, what am I like? Her big brother or something? Let's go. Yeah, you'll be there too, mister. Because this is my home. Oh my god, she's a little bean. Uh, you know, we'll always be family, okay? Because, <laughs> mister, you're one of my treasures too. Oh, hey, yo. I can sense Maria's deep affection and trust. The rank five. Hell yeah. I'm okay. If we end up finishing hers before anyone else, I wouldn't be mad about it. Uh, reduces the mag cost of studying the healer. Okay, sounds uh. good. Oh, um, wait. Do you know how to make a sign, mister? Don't forget. It also has to have pretty pictures on it or... I know an artist. So. Oh, are we going to get it? Yeah, Nurus, I was going to say. He's really good at drawing. Huh? He's a bit eccentric, though. Is that the person who drew those pictures of your journey? I want to come with you. I want to talk to Mr. Nurris. Thank you. Ooh, thank you. Bye. Okay, come back soon, mister. I can't wait. Okay, are we being gated now? I'm not going to lie. They've been very generous with her quest line. I don't trust that. Like, that's kind of sussy. Kind of sussy wussy. Okay, we're going to double check real quick here. Um, Hold on. Is it Nurus? Oh, let's fucking go. Um, I need to double check. Hold on. All right, then. Huh. I think I know which one to give her. She wants like a food item or something. Um, let me see if this will work. Hey? I detect the scent of food on you. Mm. Um, a dish with a soft texture with that thing. I think it's benevolent bread. And if it's not, I'm going to be fucking mad. So this is the dish that you have chosen. 
It would seem that this is little more than plain white bread. However, that distinct aroma. Well, listen, lady. They literally told me that this bread was supposed to be so squishy to the point that like you could you could literally do like the craziest things with it. So, oh, the gentle fragrance of fresh milk. You have used the mellow milk that Martira prides itself on. What are you at? This soothing softness feels like it'll envelop everything. This is exactly the dish I was looking for. She just wanted bread. That's crazy. So I take it that we passed. Absolutely. Let's go. Literally, sh Chef fucking Chef B Boyardee fucking Judy over here. Indeed, the people of this town needed a dish like this. I'm sure that it'll help give them the spark to move I forward again. It. Even I cannot hide my admiration. As promised, your reward. Mission accomplished. The Queen of Cuisine. Wait, there's more? Oh no. Is she gonna have like 10 fucking versions of this quest for her? Holy fuck. What? How are we getting how are we getting so popular? It makes no sense. I thought they would have taken forever to get that <laughs> shit going. You have provided a most brilliant answer. One that provides sorry, proves proves that you genuinely care for this town and its people from the bottom of your heart. As such, I would be delighted to offer my support in your Not future endeavors. That. Ooh, is she gonna be my chef? Is that a royal chef's guarantee? Yes, I saw much in my own time at the royal palace. Once upon a time, the previous king too strived to make the country a better place. But at a certain point, the king lost the will to carry on. I hope that you will not end up the same way. Wait, what? Hmm? That's weird. I'm going to go cook for the people of Martira. Their wounds of the heart have not yet healed, after all. And having tasted the dish that you have provided me, I find my zeal for cooking renewed. I have much to learn before I perfect my craft. Oh my god, so proud of her. Cheers. If by chance you were to become king, I would not be opposed to working in the royal palace once again. So farewell. Bye. Yeah. I hope I never meet her again. I do not like fishing quests. I don't like cooking quests. Whoever, right. ma whoever made these a thing, you deserve to live in an eternal hellscape of playing Animal Crossing for the rest of your life. That's just my opinion, though. But, you know, you do you. Do you want to do? But why? All right then. All right. Uh, they said that we can go talk to Norris. Oh my God! Hey, Denison. Hey, BB. Finally, finally done with Ricky's. Ooh, I technically still have to go punch out in about an hour and a half. Um, but I have done everything that I can for the day, so I'm not mad. I'm glad that you're done though. I'm so proud of you, babe. I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm in like a mood right now where I just, I, I don't even care about work right now. I do the same when I'm ahead of schedule. Also, welcome in Cat, wait, hold on, Cat? Girl, when did Cat jump in here? Excuse me? What? My god, Cat when he comes in here, it doesn't even say hello, bro, excuse me? I swear, I need to, I need to update, I need to update my rules later and tell you guys to start saying hello because sometimes you guys jump in and say the darndest things and I'm like, where the fuck did you even come from? Like, were you just there? <laughs> what the fuck? It's scary. You guys are so spoopy. Also, I don't remember what I'm doing. Kind of a tee here. Um, what? How many days we have? Two? Let's take a look at our followers. Hold on. Hi, me. I think they said Nurus, right? Yeah, let's go. Let's go talk to him. I was lurking and getting tucked to bed and all. Okay, I was gonna say, oh my lord, look at this thing! Wow, wish it were me. Wish I was hooked up to a machine with like these big tubes. What now? Um, let's see. What do we have? What do I have here? Who knows? I literally don't know what I'm looking at anymore. Was I going for shoes? I don't remember. It's okay, I don't fucking remember. I don't remember. Oh, we were looking. Okay, we we're going to look at quests because we wanted to see what they had. Um, 
ended. I'm pretty sure we got all of these done. Report in. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, no, 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 no. You know what? Yeah. A haunted heirloom. Yeah, we have to go in. Okay, that's that thing there. We have to go in the for that. And then that one too. Okay, I remember. I remember. I feel kind of bad because like I want to go talk to that other guy. But I think he's sleeping. So we're gonna we're gonna talk to him first. You intrigue me strangely, old girl. Let me take a look with you. Wait, what? Who is he calling old? You don't call women old, bro. This is not how that works. Well, would you look at that? This certainly doesn't appear to be a natural object. No way. Wait, so is there something inside? Mm -hmm. Just a little tug here, and there we are. It opened. You know, I wish I could be tugged like that. Ta -da! Take a look. A lost relic. I can't believe that it turned out to be a proper piece of treasure. What? Wait, you mean it's real? We just sort of stumbled across it. I wonder if the mechanism is the same as the old codger's. I mean, you're laughing, oh. but like, I mean, who doesn't like a good old tug? Eureka! My greatest invention yet, bro, isn't it like a screw in there? I'm so confused. A work of genius made manifest. Thank you, Will. Thank you. Relic search. Okay, we got that thing. Oh, we got heroes inside. Ooh. I've got to say, finding these one after another is something else. I would half wondered if it was all just an elaborate prank, but the old geezer was really onto something. Would he really mislead you? Yeah, yeah, bro. Oh, absolutely. He said it was the genuine article, but so is my gullibility. Excuse me, bro. Goodness. I will never forget the night of my birthday. He brought me a book. He called it a gift. Sorry, he called it his gift. A downright horrifying tome titled Lamentation of the Underworld. What? He'd taken the liberty of reading it aloud when suddenly the lights went out and in the dark he threw on a monster costume and started chasing me around uh, all right i've heard enough i think this brother. man needs therapy maybe this this is why nurse is so eccentric is because he's been like emotionally scarred and traumatized <laughs> if he was right then it supported an ancient civilization one piece of a super uh, superlative device that generates an immense and and limitless power wait limitless how is that possible not even igniters can do that yeah. well that my girl is something that we can only find out once we have seen the finished product so please help me find the rest Ooh, i'm right. certainly motivated i'm definitely feeling motivated now i saw one of the dialogue options that said maybe it'll wait uh, it'll awaken that man's ghost and i'm like excuse me Hey. I'm not gonna lie <laughs> he's not necessarily my favorite character I don't know if that's just me he's way too eccentric I'm not into those types of characters I think they're kind of weird <laughs> he looks cool though However, he found a technical menu on gauntlet runners in my mad academic sprint but I've been invested oh that's what it was oh that's... no he got it he got distracted and that's why he became an engineer. He literally just picked up a random book and started studying engineering. Excuse me, bro. Life. I hope life is not like that in the real world. That's crazy. Imagine you, imagine you just decide to pick up like a fucking, um, a technical book for how to fucking run hospital equipment. And you're like, damn, that's crazy. I'm going to be a fucking hospital technician. Thank like you. what the fuck? The decision to travel with you lot collecting relics. That too was the result of letting the heart do as it pleases. I can feel Nurse's overflowing love for relics, as well as his hearty faith in me. That's hot. We're in this journey to I'm down to level up this thing like one more time because I think he gives us like a new, a new class or something. Of... Oh yes, about the next relic, I found a clue in the old man's journal. I've written it down in my notebook. It should be somewhere around here. Give it a gander if right, you would. Then. All right. This one's important. All right, um, blah, 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 blah. I'm assuming I'm going to have to come back later and actually read the journal to know what's Time going on. Marches on and the age of a new king draws nearer.
That road that was blocked by the landslide should be cleared by tomorrow, apparently. We set off for Brylehaven as soon True. as it reopens. We have acquired the head that we sought, but if we are to truly get in Luisa's good graces, we should endeavor to stand out further from the other candidates. All right. How? How do you, how do you want to do that, though? Even after all of this, we're still just a bunch of nobodies. Maybe we could improve our reputation by helping out some of the townspeople. True. Oh, I was going to say, we've already been doing that. I think we're okay. We're okay. Let me go ahead and... Right. Oh, thank you for giving um, Kat a shout out, by the way, Mr. Bones. Oh, yeah, by the way, Kat, because um, technically you do have mod status. If you ever at any point um, want to give yourself a shout out, don't, don't, be, don't be like afraid to do it. I just don't do it like super, super crazy often. You don't want to sound kind of sussy. Wink, 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 nudge, nudge. Why? All right, then. Let's see here. Yeah, thank you for giving Dedizen a shout out too. Um, let me. All right, then. Where were we going? We have one a day left until the story pops off. Um. Wait, did they say it's the sixteenth today? Right, oh no. Okay, I have a bad feeling. Hold on. Oh no, hold on. No, we're okay. Oh, that scared me. Um, let me go ahead and talk to this person. Oh, no, no, it's, I mean, um, well, I mean, like, if you have, if you have permission, I mean, like, I would say, what I would do is just, like, if you feel like there's a good opportunity to do it, like, if it's, like, if it's, like, kind of, like, dry, if there's nothing going on or something, like, go ahead and do it or whatever, but otherwise, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you to give yourself a shout out, too. I think, I think what it is, Kat, is that, like, because of time zones, I... I don't usually know if you're there or not, unless like you out yourself. Because if you're just lurking, I, I don't know you're there. I can't give you a shout out. Interesting. You actually managed to retrieve Malveno's ring. That is impressive. I took you for talented, but you're more of a gem than I thought. A gem? Oh, is he like a money person? Ooh. Well, of course, I love his smug fucking anime look. It's so funny. Look at the way he fucking furls his eyebrows. Of course, I'd already looked into it. In fact, I could go and get your dagger back right now. What do you say? Bro, what well, the then. fuck? This guy is crazy. All right, come with me. Stay hidden and let me do all of the talking. I'm so excited to see this. Is he going to finesse? Greetings. You're Mr. Hellion, yes. I am here on behalf of your father back in your hometown. You see, he is collapsed. It is that it's that frightful illness that uh, what what you weren't aware. Wait, what? The truth is, is he lying? Well, this illness requires a very specific herb to treat, one native only to Virga Island. Now, if the travel expenses were taken care of... I have a feeling... I have a feeling that he said that he would sell him an herb in exchange for the dagger. I wouldn't be surprised. Yes, well, just the dagger then. I will make arrangements to procure the herb. You can Then you can take it to him. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> that was kind of mm, reminds me it reminds me of Tales of Daybreak every time Van would finesse people I recovered your dagger though he'd have given me the clothes off his back if I had asked figured you would not approve of that though it's a lie by the way about his father being sick but his town is so far away we will be long gone before he finds out anyway here I love him Ooh. his name's Kukulis the coolest. He's the coolest of the coolest. The TV. Right. Wow. Okay, we're actually we're very close to getting at least like one of each of these. At least halfway done each of them. Are we like 64? What the hell? But of Girl. Girl, how are we moving up so fast? There's no need to thank me. The efforts that you went too far exceed mine. You have no idea of this ring's importance to me. With this, everyone will finally be free. Oh. What the what the fuck does that mean? I appreciate it. Oh, nothing. <laughs> what the fuck, ew? That's weird. Anyway, truly, I thank you. And to show my thanks, please allow me to help you. I can see it already. You're the real deal. The one truly fated to be our next king. And I can see too that you all you'll need my winning strategies to do it. Okay. Hang on. Let me guess your winning strategy is that smooth talking you demonstrated earlier. I don't think we need any con artist training, thank you. <laughs> oh, come now. Deception is more of an art than you know. Ooh, he's fancy. I like him. 
I've been, I'm sorry, I've seen something of a knack for it, you see. You're kind, to, you're honest, to a fault, really. And for an upstanding chap like you to become king, you will need someone versed in darker, grayer areas. Someone like me. Being trying to cook. Oh yeah, no, no worries, Dedison. Enjoy your lurkies. Dedison has drank too much iced coffee in Yusuke's bathroom. I love that. Be that as it may. I woe for your loss, babe. Of course, my my guidance doesn't come with come without strings. This is a business. You will give me information. Information about the places that you visit, trends in the tournament, or the royal magic. I mean, if that's all you really want, then I mean, <laughs> that's weird. I need to know what his next quest entails. Now we're talking. In that case, I need to I need to let you in on one thing the first. Chooses. My real name is Alonzo. Anyone calling me Kakulis is one of my marks. Best if you forgot that name altogether. Oh my god, he's so shady. What? What is with this guy? He's sussy. I like it. We moved to a tavern where I told Alonso all that has happened so far. Then, as we parted ways... Remember those winning strategies I mentioned? Well, the first lesson starts now. I imagine you've led a rather rough life, considering the tribe you hail from. The world is full of unsavory sorts. That's why if you want to improve your life, you must never show a scoundrel mercy. If you're made a fool, you must pay it back in spades. Kindness is weakness, and the weak get robbed blind. What is up with this guy? Oh my god. Thanks. Yeah, Regardless, thanks for the tip. The oh my god. Deception, but rather how to steal hearts. The morally sound way, of course. He is not trustworthy, but he does seem clever. I like how he's like, I'm here to steal hearts, babe. Maybe I could use Alonzo's tactics in the battle for the throne. A so what, are they going to start choice. telling us to start lying to everybody? Like, what? God, he's so pretty, though. Guys, the his hair? Oh, my God. I want that. If I could get, if I could get like, a, like, a wig just like that, I would. The what are we, what are we getting? Alonzo. Within him dwells the virtue of the faker. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Is it like, are we doing debuffs? Is that what his class is? Alonzo. Alright. I want to I wanna see the skills. Show me. Alright. It's like a, oh, it's like a gesture. Who wears a crown here? next matters little to me. But if it's you, I wager it'll be quite a ride. I'll be heading to Brylehaven after this. Let's meet again there. Oh my god, yes, Sadie. Okay, I'm going. We have to we have to take a look at his um his thing too. <sighs> Let me see. What now? Let me see. How many more are we missing? Oh, hold on. Oh, um, I know there's there's two more party members after this. There's a last thing here. Uh, maybe it's like another person. Um, I guess we have all of the followers unlocked except for like those last three. Alonzo. All right. Um, wait, what? It discounts the price at magic shops in all the cities. Okay, that's kind of cool. Increases the monetary reward for completing quests. Uh, is it really worth doing that though? Does he have anything else here? Significantly reduces the magic costs of studying blah blah blah. Allows purchase of rare items at magic shops in all cities. Analyze data for all enemies with certain conditions. Oh, okay. So I'm assuming that. Okay, so this one you don't actually have to like beat them. You will automatically just know everything about an enemy. And the party can now study the trickster. Interesting. His is a very weird class, though. I feel like... Mm, weird. Would you... This guy, any have anything else here? Probably not. Alright. Um, All right, Where to? Let's go. I'm just going to jump over here. We're going to take a look at this rock. 
and then let me take a look at our royal virtues let's see what we can do eloquence that that one that one i feel like we should do maybe we should like do like tolerance or something that might be best suited to us for now Six hundred. Yeah, it's not bad. Yep. All right then. Where to? Let's go. No, you know what? Let me let me go ahead and do. Yeah, let me do wisdom. They're both equal there. Let me do this one. that I think about it, the more the Grand Cathedral feels out of place. Kind of like an eyesore, isn't it? But Krigant Castle feels like it's just a natural part of the landscape. I guess it all depends on how something was built and when. Um, wait, did we already... Oh, maybe I didn't do this before. Oh, oh, you know what it is. Okay, I did this before in the other save there. Alright, let's do, um... Let's do this one. Sure. Yeah. All right. I remember... All right, it's story time, time. And the age of a new king draws nearer. I've seen the state of the race with my own eyes, ladies, gents, and mad malcontents. If you wanted an update, here's your chance. So far, we've mostly seen gauntlet runner skirmishes and dueling mayhem. Now it's time for the real thing. Sounds like we've lost a few candidates already too. Poor bastards went after something too nasty for their head hunt and got themselves head hunted. We've got some candidates who have outright given up. No confidence. Can't blame them against these odds and some others have bought and sold out of the race. Come on! That's a bit unfair, isn't it? I suppose money's power like anything else. Military strength's not meant to decide this race Wait, anyhow. so the, the, the they were bought is, out of the race? what's our final headcount going to look like? Lots of unknowns left, people, and will not know the truth until the exhibition. A little bird told me one of our contenders has made a bold play in Martira. They might not even come out of it with a head. What are they scheming then? Let's hear some details. Sorry, chums, I'm just the crier. Can't speak for any one candidate in particular. Luckily, you'll not have long to wait now. With all that said, can't help but wonder how Count Luis is taking this, can we? My sources say he's not bothered with any of this. He's still gallivanting across the land killing humans and mm, yet, so he says i don't believe that yet, even without a formal entry luis's voter base is still growing bound to have his eminence forden grinding his teeth that for now let's enjoy the show right everyone they're well said. Particulars packed. All that remains is to ride to Oceana with pride in our hearts. Watch out, Luis. You won't know what hits you. Well then, we're off to the races, what? Old Barden's giving me a detailed map of the area. Sounds like quite a journey. I hope it won't be as bumpy as last time. Oh no, it'll be a sight smoother. But you've got wings. What are you fussing for? Oh, wow, why is she always fussing about that shit, bro? She just flies around everywhere. Eventually. About time I got some sleep. Oh, okay. Hi, mate. Why are you on my bed? You're positively miniature, man. There are plenty of other places fit for you to sleep. Mm. Mm, yes. Splendid. 
Just magnificent. Hey, excuse what me? What is he dreaming about? <laughs> what? I hope you've no designs on taking my bed. I have cut men down for less. With friends like these. Why why did no. he end up taking his bed though? That's kinda of sussy. Alright, next is Oh, Next is Port Brauhaven, the capital of the Principality of Oceana. If we punch it south of Martira, then we will make it in, I would say, three nights and four days or so. Alright, not bad. So this is a this is a good thing. Because if we didn't do the other dungeons over earlier then we would be royally screwed on time. Oh, wow. So that is Port Brylehaven. Yeah. Oh, it's stormy. Oh, okay. All of the people delayed by the landslide might still be showing up. Keep an eye on the road. Okay, so we're going to get, you're going to get attacked. This is what you're telling me. Leaving behind the old castle town stricken by tragedy. The gauntlet runner sets off toward the exhibition of the brave. Their destination, Port Brylehaven, capital of the Principality of Oceana. A world unknown to them. What will they accomplish? A claim. I was gonna say, I don't think they said that like none of them have actually really been here, except for I'm assuming um maybe Hulkenberg? Maybe? I could be wrong. What to pick? Three days until we reach Brylehaven. Alright. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to do some cooking, too. Take a big poopus. Right. Well, then. I have I have items that I can apparently use to, like, get agility points to whenever I shower, but they're not letting me use them, and I don't know why. Oh, weird. Let's see what's in here. Oh, some rock beans. Um, let's go have a little gander at the cooking room. Let's check. Hey. Oh, Straw's gonna help me cook. Meat with a bit of chew can be nice, but I prefer a braise, low and slow. When it melts the moment it hits your tongue, uh, truly exceptional, though that method does take Even forever. So. Still, time should not deter you from taste, and once you taste it, you will want to keep doing it. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> it's kind of weird. I began preparing the food with stroll. Are he's making skewers? Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if it's just me, but like, I'm not a huge, huge fan of skewers. It really depends on, like, what they put on them. Season it well, and then cook it until it starts to brown. It already looks good enough to eat, but we must endure. I'll make it nice and crispy. All that is left is to let it soak in its flavor. We must control the, the heat carefully now to keep our eyes on the prize. The aroma is surely whetting your appetite, but do not give in. The juice is precious, and not a single drop can be wasted. I like how he's saying he had, he, he like struggles with like actually like eating the food as he's cooking it, which is like what the fuck? Like nobody does that. Amazing. The dish that Troll and I made is dripping with flavor and depth. Ayo. <laughs> this is Coney stew. Nicely done, if I would say so myself. You have earned first taste, I would say. All right. I don't actually remember what it does, but it looked tasty. Thanks to speed cooking, I cooked without time passing. Woo! You can all thank Maria for that. God bless her soul. Let's see. Uh, meow, 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 meow. Let's see. There are more books now. Perhaps Heisme has added to the collection. Oh my god. Oh, a new book. Oh my god. The, metho sorry, the methodically precise handwriting leads me to believe that this is Heisme's. It appears to be a record of his life with his son. I haven't started reading it yet. Bro, this man left like a biography and he's letting me read it? Oh god. I think it means it's okay to read. If I read this book, then I may gain more tolerance. Shall we spend some time reading this book? Absolutely. The more that I learn about him, the better off I will be. Though sparse and objective, the words still manage to vividly depict the endearing qualities of a small child. He writes to the day that his son took his first steps, the first words his son spoke, and a time that his son nearly ripped his ears off climbing all over him. What the hell? 
of, wor of worrying about his son not eating his vegetables, of his son refusing to stop crying at night, of being so exhausted he would fall asleep in places without realizing it. Oh my god, we want. Is that why he fell asleep in Stroll's bed? Oh my god, no. A warmth has arisen inside of me. I feel like my tolerance has improved. Oh, All let's right. go. Oh my god, that was so cute. That was so cute, though. All right. That is so funny. There's just like a random book with Heisme's diary stuff in it. Under the horizon, their gauntlet runner arrives in a land grown thick with trees. The wildlife retreats to safety before the sunlight fades, leaving only deafening silence. The anticipation that follows a journey's beginning swells in their hearts. All right. Where have we gone now? Is it a new area? The Grove Camp. Oi! Hey, have you heard? There's a bath cask on the back deck now. Oh, is it there now? Let's <laughs> go. I've heard enough whinging about not being able to bathe, so I whipped something up. It's not elegant, but it'll do the job. Mm. I, li I love how I literally just said that. I was like, where is the thing? Where do I use my bath bombs? No doubt that it would shake too much to use while traveling, but it would it should be lovely to enjoy a soak when we are stopped. Speaking of I have heard that in certain regions fruits and grasses are added into bath water to relieve blah 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 blah. I do, I have a bunch of them. Not only can you acquire mag by using it, but you can also add various bath salts. Ooh. The breeze feels nice. Okay. But as long as it's like a permanent increase, that's the only thing. I wanna make sure. Uh, meow, meow. First the sand flash business and next the salty sea breeze. I see that I will have to take some extra care with drive maintenance. Well, don't you look intrigued. Um, but you needn't fret, lad. Just leave this one to me. Sounds good. Oh, okay, I see. It's on the, oh, it's on the back thing there. Okay, hold on. Let me, can I use the map to All walk right, over? Or... Go. Let me go ahead and save here too, just in case. <sighs> Tis a bath pass. Hey there. I heard from Nurus. Apparently, we can either enter as is or make it even better by putting something into the hot water first. If you put some in something that smells good, I bet it'll feel nice. Hmm. Sure. While I'm at it, I should put something in the hot water. It'll probably increase by two. Uh, actually, I'm not stinky. I'm not stinky. Oh my god, what the hell? Don't kill me. Let's try it out. I want to see. Tis a bath with fleeting fountain of youth in it. A sweet fragrance envelops me as though I have broken free to frolic through a flower filled meadow. I feel like my body and my heart have gotten lighter. The protagonist of jelly is increased by two. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I have obtained mag from the bath. I'm not going to lie. That is broken, by the way. If you could actually keep reusing that over and over and get like stat boosts. Disgusting. Permanent sap boost. And the age of a new king draws nearer. That reminds me. We will arrive in the ocean city the day after tomorrow. Heisme, you, you have erected a tent up above, haven't you? Do take care that you do not get carried off by the wind. Oh, I am confident that it will take more than that to pull the tent apart, though I suppose some caution is warranted. Speaking of... Worst case scenario, you've got wings. You could just fly back to us now. <laughs> My young friend, where did you hear that you give her capable of flight? I hate to disappoint, but they are rather more for gliding. Oh. <laughs> well, um, I guess he's screwed then. <sighs> and that's a shame. I would have loved to see him fly. In two days, we will be in Port <sighs> Brawlhaven. We've really gotten used to all of this traveling, don't you think? I, I think we have, yeah. To take a poopus. Right. No, I wanna. 
I want my luck to go up, you guys. Oh, it makes me sad. <sighs> what do we got? Is... Orgo sugar and briny salt, too. Ooh. Okay, let's go cook. I'm gonna go cook something. Not this shit again. No, thank you. She's like, she's like, I don't use spices. I just put the meat in my mouth as is. Hey, yo. I'm going to read more of uh, Heisman's diary. Though sparse and objective, the words still manage to vividly depict the endearing qualities of a small child. This entry describes Heisme and his son running through fields together on a beautiful, sunny day. I can almost hear their carefree cries of laughter. At one point, Heisme loses sight of his son, only to find that he has climbed a small tree. Heisme is mortified until the boy nimbly jumps down just as his father would have. I see. So being a parent brought him lots of struggles, but even more than that, it brought him joy. Aww. Pretty sure we're going to get a tolerance uh, level up after the next one. Speaking? I've got something on the old girl's radar, so we're going to be taking a short stop. Oh, is it a place to the stop? City ruins come to view. This place once flourished through the excavation what do you mean of city ruins? By migrant workers. Wait, what the, the fuck is that? But the miners were hardy and spirited, and the promise of riches lured many here. In its time, what it happened? may have rivaled Brylehaven. However, the promise of strong magna drew forth the humans. As tragedies uh -oh. climbed, it became a ghost town. Now only the threatening glimmer of the crystals remain. Let's see here. The city ruins. Bro, what in the world? This is... It is a truly harrowing sight. Look at all of those crystals. Uh, Simply coming here is enough to wound the soul. A chill settles into my very bones as I consider what could have occurred here. <sighs> is something wrong, lad? Did the gauntlet runner get the best of your stomach again? No. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I was just reminded of something unpleasant. That's a tee here. Everything okay? Are you okay? Yeah, what happened? What? Oh, it's because of his hometown. No, never mind. Sort of cause you concern. I mean, that's weird though. I mean, like, the fact that like everyone decided to like live here and mine these crystals. Like, I need to know what's going on here. Where did those humans come from? I know it destroyed this village, and I have no doubt about it. This is the work of a human. Indeed, the scars left upon this place differ from the traces left behind by any monster attacks or acts of war. I don't know if the magla crystals are what attracted the humans. Uh, sorry, I don't know if they meant yeah, if they are what attracted the humans here, but or if they attack. Sorry, if the attack caused them to he. Um, but my hometown will eventually. You. Oh, are we going? Are we going on the way to his hometown? Is that what he's trying to say? I will make no assumptions about what runs through your mind, but I would ask that you recall the time when we cut down the human at the castle and saved all of those lives That's within. Why. Do not allow your thoughts to dwell on negativity. The day will come when both this place and your homeland will flourish once again. Yeah. I suppose you are right. I feel like coming face to face with the cruel decline of the village has deepened my wisdom in its own right. way. Nice. My stomach sends notice that our next meal is overdue. Why don't we head back? So I guess Nerys can read the room when he wants to, huh? So. Oh, I kind of wanted him to yeah. draw a picture of it, though. And by the by, I made another drawing. This picture will bring viewers no joy. Oh, he did. Oh, let's fucking go. Let's go. The city ruins drawing. I will take the drawing with me to ensure that I never forget what happened here. 
As the sun sinks below the horizon, the Gauntlet Runner arrives in a land dense with trees. The glow of the Gauntlet Runner pierces the dark, warmly enveloping them in its light. The day after tomorrow, we will be in a real maritime city. I bet we'll be able to see the ocean soon. First time for both of us. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh, we have to read some stuff in the memorandum, by the way. I feel like we should try to do that in a hot second. Let me actually, let me go over to the right. back here. Let's go. I'm gonna go to the rear deck and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna open up the thing here. Just give me one sec. What now? Oh my lord, there's so much shit here. Um, okay, we're gonna read through, we're gonna read through as much as we can until I feel like we have to stop. Giant Sandworm. The name for the biggest of the large uh, annelids, popularly called sandworms, that dwell in the sandy environs between Grand Trad and Martira. Juvenile sandworms are sometimes hunted as delicacy ingredients, but the discovery of one particularly dangerous specimen causing travelers to lose their lives has made this difficult in recent times. There are whispers that it is not only its enormity that makes it dangerous. Wait, what? That's a tea. Like acid or something? Weird. The Tree of Prophecy, a towering, rich crimson tree of overwhelming presence that rises from the middle of the desert, roughly halfway between Grand Trad and Martira, in reality, is it, a, is it is a magical plant that feeds on ambient magla as its nutrients. As a result, it is sensitive to subtleties in nature such as weather and earthquakes, and it is said to reflect, um, ref sorry, reflect impending natural disaster through the color of its foliage. In recent years, both its leaves and the surrounding fog have been tinged red, a never-before-seen reaction. The superstitious wonder if this new open marks dark days to come. That's weird. That's suspicious. The Imsten, a forested road near Martira. The dense foliage leads to poor visibility, making it a longtime favorite haunt for bandits. To protect their children, parents in the area warn them that goblin monsters, goblins, uh, will eat them if they venture there. As the fairy tale spread, real monsters did appear, and even the bandits slowly diminished. Uh, sorry, diminished. The Man Eater's Grotto, um, a natural cave near Martira. Complex tunnels dug by giant sandworms expand in all directions, and the strange network soon came to be populated by monsters of all kinds. Martiran locals know to be, sorry know to keep their distance, but it is not uncommon for oblivious travelers to venture in seeking shelter from the heat, never to be seen again. The Midnight Sands. A desert area in the Martira region where a number of small lakes are scattered between alabaster white sand dunes. The white sands are actually made up of glass debris, though its source remains a mystery. Um, a massive structure can be seen beyond the dunes, but from a long distance, the view is obstructed by spouting water geysers from the lake. And up, sorry, up from up close, it is too large to see in its entirety. Assuming that there was like a big battle here or something, that's kind of what the vibe's going. A sand flash, an occasional weather phenomenon specific to the Martira region where sand containing magla crystals is picked up by strong winds. The magla crystals sparkle in the air, creating a striking and ethereal visual effect. However, the fine sand particles can cause pain to the eyes and body, so locals will stay indoors during the phenomena. Ooh. What else do we got here? More magic? Teleportation magic. A magic of instantaneous teleportation or transport tiki, activated by a curious device installed in Will's Gauntlet Runner. When Will imagines a place in his memory he wants to return to, the entire Gauntlet Runner can instantly travel there, an unusual magic def that defies modern understanding. Ooh, okay, the Grand Cathedral. We're going to head over there soon, by the way. An, enorm sorry, an enormous cathedral built in the royal capital around the time that Sanctism was established as the state religion, the largest structure in the entire kingdom. 
It boasts a scale far surpassing any other Sanctus construction. The land on which it was built was the former cemetery for the Ukrainian, Ukrainian royal family. The highest point of the building soars past the palace by a large margin. Many feel the comparative grandeur of the cathedral implies that the authority of Sanctism exceeds that of the royal family, which has nettled more than a few older citizens. That's interesting. Portraits of Past Kings. A magnificent room in the Regalith Grand Cathedral adorned with portraits of the kings of ten generations past. The custom has been for a portrait to be made on a king's ascension to the throne, which was then displayed within the royal palace during his reign, and later moved to his grave after his death and burial. However, the Grand Cathedral was built on the land that used to be the royal cemetery, so previous king's portraits were moved inside when cathedral- Oh, okay. That's cool. The Royal Scepter Chamber, a room in which the Royal Scepter is kept, located on the upper floors of the Regalith Grand Cathedral. The chamber exists to safeguard the Royal Scepter against theft in the event that it cannot be in the King's possession for a period of time. As in the case of prolonged illness or death, the doors are sealed with a powerful binding spell, making it extremely difficult to open unless a specific process is accurately followed. The Mausoleum, an underground mausoleum that existed before the Grand Cathedral was built. Interesting. The cathedral was connected to it for the convenience of the Sanctists, and there is a passageway through the basement. Few locals know of this path, as most prefer the main entrance and then to walk among the dead. The Baliga Corridor. This is, I think, one of the first optional dungeons that we could do. Ruins southwest of Grand Trad, originally part of a past nation's palace, its country of origin has long passed into history, and its environs reduced to desert. All traces of its former glory are gone. Still, the land's dead linger in spirit, longing for the splendor of old, and representing the nations of peoples that outlive them. Their burning spite hangs in the air, drawing monsters to its ground. Martira. Let me just double check how much do they have there. There's a lot. We're going to go halfway through the locations or her history here, and then we should be good. A town southwest of Grand Trad off of the main road, developed from a town originally formed around Krigant Castle, a military stronghold of the Annex War. The town's distance from the main road gives it a sense of isolation and some say a certain gloom, one of Ukronia's closest towns to the Oceanian border, which made it a cornerstone of Ukronia's defense against Oceania during the Annex War. The relatively flat terrain affords the castle's watchtower a clear view of the town's environs, any movement or mobilization from Oceana was thus immediately observed, making it impossible to launch a surprise attack on the town, especially as the war predated the invention of the swift, powerful gauntlet runners of modern fame. However, its time as the keystone of Ukronia's front lines has long since passed into history. Ooh. We'll do, we'll do, we'll do like these two, Comero and Krigon Castle, and then we'll continue. Krigant Castle, resident and sorry, residence and castle of the Lady of Martira, St. Taurus Joanna. Has a long history dating back to the Annex War. Unlike modern buildings, the castle was built with many secret passages in case of armed invasion. Even these days, the castle staff occasionally stumble across new hidden chambers and corridors. What? That's kind of sus. A small farming village southeast of Martira, this is Comera, that enjoys stable weather throughout the year, allowing agriculture and carrier pigeon husbandry to thrive. Slightly beyond the capital's influence due to its remote location, the village has long-standing, deeply rooted religious views. People can freely choose their method of burial upon their death, including excarnation with a scar bur sorry, a sky burial, and as a result, Homera is often called a paradise for the dead. Travelers are often sorry, they're struck by Nostalgia at seeing its idyllic pastoral sites, as it attracts new residents by its unique burials. I mean, to be fair, I'd want to live there. It looks peaceful. That's a tea here. I want to say we're at least like half done. That's a tea. Half half done like all of the the memor memorandum entries, at least that they have for now. Not bad. Let me go ahead and save. They noted that um, the bath salts that we use here. Are they probably boost our stats? Oh, oh fuck. I accidentally did it. I didn't mean to. 
Oopsie. No, 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 no. Hold on. Time marches on, and the um, age of the new king draws nearer. It's okay. It's see here. Actually, no. Are they gonna play a cutscene? This is the this is the thing. Right. Hmm. We should reach it by tomorrow. Oh no. Okay, I can reload. I can reload. I was like, fuck. Do I have to restart? Ew. Here, let me go ahead and I'm gonna read through that in a hot second. I'm going to reload that. That reminds. What now? I want to get my stat boost. Uh... Sorry, they were saying that the keyword though is that apparently, um, apparently you may not always get a stat boost by using this, but I want to try. I hope you do. It'd be a waste not to. Did we get it? Oh, hell yeah. All right, feels good. That was worth it. Apparently, agility is actually very, very important in this game, especially if you're dodging everything, too. Um, also, just a heads up, I'm going to run an ad. Just a heads up, babies. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Ah, the salty yet strangely refreshing aroma of seawater is already upon us. At this rate, we should reach Brylehaven by tomorrow. Seawater? Well, I thought so. The air feels a lot more clammy, so I assume that's what it was. And so we put the forest behind us, at long last. That must mean that we have already ventured beyond where that cliff collapsed, barring passage. It would seem that it was fixed without a trace of its ruin, and speaking of ruin, Nurse, do remember that we are relying on you for safe passage the rest of the day. Tomorrow we should be able to see the ocean. Nura said that the waters around Brylehaven are kind of strange. I'm curious what he meant by that. Oh, should I use the toilet? Yes. Yes, please. Got it. It's a large step then. I think we have enough time to go ahead and read the um the last bit of that book. And then should I should I take another bath? Oh, let me take a look at our stats. How broken are we right now? Oh dear lord. That is oh my god. That is a lot of agility, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really mad about that. Restores 250 HP and cures poison for all allies. Okay, that's kind of broken. Let's do six of those. Let's, check. <laughs> Let's just like make a shit ton of them. No. This man, I swear. He's like, don't don't eat your food while you're cooking it. It's just like, yeah, no shit. Bruh. What you doing in here? Are you playing chess? Ooh. Alright, this should be the last bit of um High's Maze Diary. Though sparse and objective, blah 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 blah. He recalls a time that his son came to him in tears, upset that he couldn't sing a certain song well. They ended up singing other songs together through the night until falling asleep. The next morning, Heisme awoke to his son, eyes still swollen from crying the night before, singing the song that he'd been trying to learn, a birthday song for his father. I see, being a parent brought him lots of struggles, but even more than that, it brought him joy. A warmth arises inside of me. I feel like my tolerance has improved. Ooh, okay, that was good. The conqueror needs that precious kindling with which a follower's passions may be inflamed. With that, I have finished the book. I feel like my, I feel like my understanding of the world has been deepened. Hell yeah. 
bro we're going oh my god we're going so hard right now that's crazy enemies coming through uh or so, or so i thought it looks like that it's missy's gauntlet runner coming from for us this time wait missy's hey. oh it's katharina hey you lot yeah on the gauntlet runner over there you're not becoming king on my katharina um, katharina are you fucking kidding me come on then if she wants a boom then she'll get one uh -huh. why is she coming after this Wait, they're coming on on board at the other end. Well, now we have to accept their challenge. No, can we just shoot them? What the hell is this? It's you. Oh, it's so you. We meet again. Maybe you got the better of me last time, but you're about to get some payback. Give me a break, lady. Ever heard of learning from your mistakes? Sorry, but we don't intend to lose either. Oh, big talk. Well, I'm willing to rewrite my record if that's what it takes to be queen. My people are suffering as we speak. Who's going to save the parapus if I don't give it all I've got? I promised them all I'd become queen. You're all decent people, got nothing against you, but I'm not holding back. Okay, but why? Why us? Why now? You could literally pick that's anybody else right now. Bro. Oh, hey, yo. Ooh. Oh, like yeah. What the hell? Come forth, royal soul. Ooh, okay, you know what? I want to steal from her. We're going to steal a shit ton of mag from her. I hope you guys are ready. I'll be taking that. Last chance I to won't hold up. back. Sorry. Let's do this that is just disgusting. Oh, my Nothing God. Personal. Oh my god, don't kill me. It's free. Guys, it's free, Meg. It's free real estate. Yeah, get out of here, bro. Bro, our stats are, our stats are so broken. It's actually so sad. And tease mine now. Yes. And that's crazy. <laughs> what Marching. the fuck? Oh my god, don't do. kill me. Uh, give me all your mag. Give, give me your mag, yes. And give it to me. Uh. Ready to lose. Uh. Nice hit. Oh, thank god. I I must. Let's see if I can get uh, Stroll to do some critty. So or not critty. Another one. But this is where the real fight begins. Get ready to get stomped. This is a joke. What'd you do? Is that it? Bro, I'm gonna literally beat your ass down. Get out of here. No holding back. You're wide open. Come. I'll destroy you. How much damage is that perfect punch? Oh, it could be better. You are good. Ooh. No. Oh, oh my lord. Why? Uh, why? I trained so much for this. This isn't supposed to happen. Maybe maybe just like pick other opponents or something? Like I don't know what to tell you. Oh my fucking god. 20,000 meg from stealing from her. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Strive to use this power wisely. Wait, what just happened? Oh, did we not budge? Oh. If I could just beat you, then I would ask you to join me, but that power of yours is really something. Can you please join my party? I want her in my party so fucking bad. Don't rest easy because I will win next time. Start prepping now, you got that? We'll see. We'll see about that. We'll see. Katharina, cheer up. Who is that? Yeah. Who the heck is that? I saw your runner, so I followed you. You're as tough as they say. <laughs> oh, um, Eudorcus. Who do you think I am exactly? <laughs> That's a terrible name. Oh, pardon me. I know exa I know perfectly well that you are the great Katharina Gran. Everyone here knows. In fact, all of their hopes are pinned on you. Are all of these people migrating to find work, even though it might kill them in, in the end? 
Wait, what? What are you talking about? What other options do parapists like them have? It might be dangerous, but you've got to break some eggs to make an omelette. <sighs> you dorkus, wait. Take this and see if you can't stop everyone from leaving for now. Is she giving him money? Hey. Oh, good news, you lot. Katharina has made a generous donation. <sighs> oh, thank you. Now we can eat for once. Bro, what? How do you, how does this race even survive if they're like, they're just not eating? Listen, everyone, I know that these times are trying, but this kind of work is not the answer. If you can just hold out just a little longer, I swear that I'm going to set things right for us. Well then. Ah, now there we are. <laughs> we believe in you, Katharina. If we became king, we could just do the same thing that she wants to do, though, or something, something like that. I earned that money slaying a monster just a few days ago. It was meant to be the start of my royal campaign fund. It is a small price to pay for helping out my people, but it'll last them in, what, maybe like a, a few weeks at most? They'll be heading out to find work again in no time. Oh, oh that is so sad. I just can't fathom dying to earn to earn a living, and the fat cats are all too happy when the parapists take them up on that. I'll make it happen. When I'm in charge, first thing that I'm going to do is offer bounties for their bloody heads. They squeezed us dry, so I'm going to squeeze them right back. Uh, Will handing out money make this better? Uh, I got no clue myself, but I had to try something. Even now, tons of those people are not going to survive, and I can't tell people who aren't eating today to wait until tomorrow while I think of something. That is true. That is true. Ah. I was just lucky, you know. I had the strength to push through and survive. The truth is, is that most people don't have that kind of strength. They need someone to provide it for them. You should know better than most. Those who can act gotta take action. If they don't, then nothing in this bloody world is going to change. It'll stay as rotten as it is. So many people say that there's nothing to be done. But they only say that because the parapists are right where they want them, beneath everybody. Right. They couldn't have the parapists start doing well for themselves. That would shake up the shoddy ground that they're standing on. That's that's kind of just how it is, though. In that case, oh. Even though they're my enemies, maybe they're also struggling in their own way. I'll come off it. That doesn't mean that they can just make the parapists suffer for it. So, I'll figure that out before I take the throne. Thanks. Much obliged. We may be enemies, but I like having these talks. Me too. Makes my brain feel big. I'm not as powerful as I need to be, but still, I reached out to the recruitment center. And we shouldn't... Sorry, we should be seeing bigger rewards from bounties. Go check on it. Wait, what? Oh, she's saying that we're going to get even more money? Ooh. Okay, let's go. I can feel Katharina's indignation towards the world's absurdities, as well as her deep faith in me. She... What we get in? A new power. What's this one? I'm not you got the done. oh the pugilist. Okay, that is the purse of bounty rewards at each city's recruitment center. I don't think we're gonna end up using <laughs> it for now, but it is pretty good. Next time I see you, I'm gonna take you down for sure. So don't go dying on me. I mean. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe you could just not attack me. It'd be fantastic. As the shadows are stretched to their limits before darkness takes them, the gauntlet runner arrives in a balmy wetland. Nocturnal creatures who lay dormant beneath the fens in the light rise to seek out their prey. What is Meanwhile, this? The party rests their weary souls, fatigued by the oh, long team. journey. Under the what, what is these? The what is this place? It's like another village that got like destroyed. The muddy camp. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of place Brylehaven is. Dream Eater Moth. Okay. All right, but let's go. Let's do this one more time. Let me go ahead and save here. Oof. <sighs> 
I think this should be a good boost of agility for now. I don't think we have to do this too often, but it is what it is. I'm gonna make sure that we actually get um get our royal virtues up as well. I don't want to be struggling later. Time marches Are they gonna give us a cutscene? Also, hold on. Okay, we're good. Hello? Hello, Mr. Captain. Rise and shine, what? Almost there. <gasps> we're almost there. I want to see. Royal Haven. So me. It's been a while. You've been before. Oh, My he's actually been here before. Me when I was a boy. I remember the day we arrived and waking up to the smell of the ocean. The place was crowded beyond belief. Everything was so different from our hometown in the countryside. I felt much the same when I reached the royal capital. Quite a sight compared to my little village, with naught but fields and mountains. To be sure. And where are you from, Hulkenberg? You cannot guess? Surely Montario in the east. Why, the Hulkenbergs are one of that nation's most prominent aristocratic houses, if not foremost among them. You don't say. Well, yes. Though I've no close relationship with my parents, I've hardly seen them since I left home. I see. Suppose we've all come a long way, haven't we? Seems we'll make it to the exhibition just in time. With a master at the helm, you are bound to, eh? <laughs> I really hope Joanna shows up. We resolved to trust her, so we simply watch and wait. Right. Everyone set and steady? Welcome, ladies and gents, to the Coastal Crown Jewel, Port Brylehaven. Port Brylehaven, capital of the Principality of Oceana, the western annexed state of Ukronia, a vivacious city Brylehaven is port of call to ships of both trade and war, bustling with hardy sailors. From the natural wonders caused by magma to the Colosseum's contests of strength, people flock here to see the marvels of a city that never sleeps. The sea guides the gauntlet runner into the city alongside a warm, salty breeze. I think they said that by the time we get here, though, isn't it supposed to be raining? Oh, okay. Apparently not. Wow! It's the ocean! Just look! There's water all the way to the horizon! Ma'am, what are those floating balls of water? Excuse me? What's going on? Okay, what the fuck? It's actually like nice here. What? <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. Yes, the city of water, Brylehaven. This is crazy, especially considering like coming from um, we were in that area with like all the sand and grand trad and now it's just like we actually Santa have Godot. greenery here oh no it's this it guy quite a magnificent head how do you think it'll stack up against your competitors with the warrior <gasps> oh my god i'm my so side, excited oh my god what the hell but i won't presume to know the rankings i humbly leave it in god's hands lineup's a bit conventional for my taste so far Oh, here comes our mysterious little underdog now. Stir things up a bit here, will you? What's he here? Hey, Angel, welcome back in. How are you feeling? I was gonna say, the story is about to pick up. I'm so excited. Ah, wah! Ah, oh, would you look at this spectacular? 
spectacular gauntlet runners. They must all be worthy of kings. Keep Looks passing like in and out, not gonna lie. Bro, stop. You're gonna make me want to go to sleep too. No, stop that. No, I'm sure those blasted <laughs> oh, clergy have some mechanism for it too. The Sanctus I want to play I want to play to begin with. I want to play this game, if but I also want to play other games too. I wish course. I had more time. All just piffling about with levitation magic. Only a passing acquaintanceship to real Ooh. aerodynamics. Birds and I'm also kind of hungry. I'm hungry, wungy. Just the mechanical ingenuity of the feathered wing. That's the kind of breakthrough I'd like to make. You'll see, eh? One day I'll make well, I can't. I'm in I'm in the middle of, of the thing. Like I'll have to wait until break, babe. I have to wait until I punch out of my my work or whatever. Um, but I mean like I wanna get food. I just I can't do it right now. Um one day I will make those ring around. I'm looking forward to I wanna it. fly. Good. I'll have you run in the sky with me. Mark my I want words. to fly high into the sky. It isn't the pretentious little gallant and his cronies. It's a glowdell. Oh my word. Oh my god, he's it fancy. A walking headache. Well, well, well. No head to be seen. Weren't you talking big about chasing down that highs may fiend? You're referring to me, yes? <laughs> You're the man. Oh my god, Angel. Don't joke, kill me. It? He's your great and terrible bounty. You know there's still time to drop out before you humiliate yourself in front of the masses. Say what you wish. He is one of us. It is not his head we are offering. Truly. You're allied with a wanted criminal. Are you all mad? Oh, your public humiliation will be quite a sight. Come, Hector. Bro, he's got a fucking... He's got like a cheetah dog with him. Like, he's fucking wild. And that was... A candidate and one of Luis's henchmen. We don't exactly see eye to eye. Confound it. No damn parking space is left. Well, let's look for somewhere a bit less unpleasantly populated. I want to see what's going to happen. Hurry up, bruh. Shit Tomorrow's is taking 84 years. To present all the heads. I really hope Joanna shows up. You needn't all sleep here tonight, you know? I can stay and wait for the cavalry. Well, to give the old girl a tune-up anyway, don't I? Does much appreciate. Say hello, G. Hey, Ryu. Hi, case, babe. We should look for an inn. It's okay. I know you can't stick ah, around. It is what it is. Don't the worry. Lights. They far better seafood than in the capital. We're gonna be taking a break soon anyway. Don't worry. Let's see. Um, I hope it's nothing too hope weird. It's nothing too weird. Um, it's we're about to do. Fear. I think the next major Truly, city. I find most living making the rounds. You know, I feel that. You need higher standards, lady. If you're sure, Nurse, then we'll leave I got you. up earlier and I was Me. like saying hi to like at least like two or three people and then I was like, okay, gotta work by so Ayo. Let's find ourselves. Work's being really sussy right now, but I'm just trying to get through. I wish I didn't have to work. I would rather I'd rather not do anything right now. I just want to play video game. Ooh. Really? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> It's a tee -hee. What the hell? Oh my god, this is quite a big city. They've got... They have back alleys here too. What? I'm glad to see you too. I was gonna say, um, were you streaming tomorrow or Friday perchance? Also, Angel, if you're still there, um, go ahead and give. Make sure you give out Ryu his uh, his shoutie Audi BB. Everyone, please, if you're not already following uh, Ryu, please go and uh, jump into his channel and check out his content and give him a follow. He's very, very, very sweet. He likes to play good RPGs. He's one of our people. Hey, Mister. All right then. I'm not gonna talk to these people right now. Let's go down here. Hello. Need a ride? I'm so confused. Where do they want me to go? I'll go to the end. Okay, I see. Say. Whoa. 
Hmm. What did she say? You can really see the king's face from here, huh? I had realized it was slowly moving, but it is coming to Brylhaven. Sorry, it's cu it's coming to Brylhaven was beyond my expectations. So it's just like moving around. What the hell? I wonder why it yes. came. I do suspect that it keeps a watchful eye on the top candidates. It's evident that we are being observed as we've seen from the Coronation oh. Rock. Well, maybe that is actually for the better. Seeing the thing in the sky might actually uh, might make everyone really think about the kingdom's future. Okay. Anyway, we'd better get to finding an inn that we can stay at. Yeah, you're welcome. No worries. Ridiculous. What do I do? I'm stinking believable. Oh my god. Oh, what? Oh, this blooming heat. Oh, I don't like any of these. I don't like any of these. Who's this guy? What is it you require? Hmm? You there. You have a look about you like one of my supporters. Are you? Who are you again? You truly haven't heard of me. Oh, I am shocked. And yet how lucky you are to be granted the privilege of my exquisite form for the first time. Yeah. Beauty is all, is my creed, and more than anything, a king should be beautiful, should he not? And whichever inn I choose for my beauty rest must be worthy. Oh my god, bro, this guy's crazy. Alas, I, I doubt that you have been blessed with, an with wealth enough to enjoy a room at such a lavish place like this. Okay, first of all, I am actually rich right now, so uh, doubtful. Oh, wait, they won't even let me in? Ew, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. That's a tea here. I saw you in Martira, didn't I? Another participant in the tournament, right? Were you planning to stay at this inn? Unfortunately, there are not any beds left. Because of the exhibition... Oh my god, her eyes! She's so, she's so sad. Oh my god. Um, because of the exhibition, everywhere is filled up. And after I told, my, I told myself that I was going to make sure to stay somewhere nice this time too. I see. Is that so? Well, if this place is no good, then we'll have to look for somewhere else. Oh. Bro, my nose is killing me today. Hold on. Oh, but wait, that gauntlet runner of yours, the one that you had parked in the middle of Martera. Hey, um, come on. What sort of technology does it use? Let me on in on it too. What? No. I don't know who this, I don't know who you are. <laughs> You're weird. Ew. Disgusting. Oh, you're terrible. Saying that you don't remember me, I'm Alina Caden, the only daughter of the Caden Workshop. Just so you know, I am participating too. I've got a real gauntlet runner of my own and everything. That means that if you are stubborn and refuse to tell me, I can make you do it by force. What? Come at me. Crazy. Oh my god, no. Were you hoping to stay at this inn? Sorry to, dis sorry, sorry to disappoint you if so. Because I just got tossed tossed out on my ear by the innkeeper. What? But you're you're a candidate. What? There are two other inns nearby, but I am hardly thrilled with either option. On the other side of the fountain is the Golden Coral Pavilion, or Pavilion, you know, where knobby wankers like Ford and stay. A parapist or an eldest staying there? Fat bloody chance. And there's an inn past the Golden Corral. Um, but that one is twice as pricey. What? I mean, I can afford it, but like, this is kind of sus. I guess, but... Do you think so? I guess we'd better avoid that one then. Oh, hang on. What is going on today, bro? My sinuses are killing me. 
there is a dodgy looking Yugif standing out front, smiling all creepy like. Puts me right off staying there, so I think I'll pass. <laughs> Besides, who needs an inn when there is a tavern? From this day on, I will claim it as my castle. Huh? So what, is he going to sleep at the tavern? Hmm. Well, there's no way that we're going to get into the golden coral, so we've got no choice. I don't want to go. No, I don't want to. Oh, my God. I don't want to go to the tavern. I want to go where the bougie people live. What do I do? Oh, is it this one here? Oh. Oh, on the hunt for lodging, are we? Well, I have a spare room available. I will not refuse service to anyone, and my rooms are affordable for all. Mm, criminals persecuted tribes oh no i wouldn't dream of turning business away feel free to have a look at the accommodations and we can discuss payment afterwards that's suspicious kind of um this place seems really shady but we might as well look at the room <laughs> yeah i guess oh my god jeez well should have figured they'd be out of the upper rooms with all the travelers in oh my town. god this place looks like shit there's a bug in the corner there. That's it's like a cockroach. Tis a far cry from the runner, at least. I am full glad to stretch my legs again. Oh my god, Did you no. See that giant bug just now? It was like the size of my head. It's gotta be poisonous. Oh, pull yourself together. It's just a b a b a insect. Well, listen to you. You can't have lived in a giant sandworm den and been afraid of bugs, surely. Hence, the hut. That's why you lived in that hut. Uh, more importantly... So, we must he, he lives in these tiny little huts because he doesn't like bugs? Right. We meet up with Joanna what? and then get to the exhibition after that. Joanna will admit to the crime. The guilt of a sanctuary, especially of her status, will guilt Forden by association. That should make an impression on Louise. That's pretty and good. For all this, we need Joanna herself. Do you truly think she will join us? We have to trust her. She chose to offer her own head instead of the monsters. If you ask me, she'd not have done that if she didn't believe it truly was her child. At least in part. I believe she expressed genuine parental love. I want to believe that, at least. And what if she ends up not showing up? I mean, you're the one who got the worst of all of this in the first place. I mean, we can just that, cut off his head in front of everyone. My head for the days. I was going to say. After all, the bounty still says I'm a kidnapper. Boulder Dash will not sacrifice an innocent life for our victory. But your offer speaks highly of your spirit. Right. We've done what we can do. All that's left is to keep our chins up and face the competition head on. Too early yet to retire for the night. We could drop by one of the local pubs. Listen for what perks our ears. And while we're at it, might as well sit down to a proper supper, eh? <laughs> no. Could be my last, after all. Don't oh, say ha, that, ha, bro. Funny. What is your problem? But I guess good Why is he being is like this? Important. Let's go check it out. What are we without beauty? What do we care for promises and <laughs> oh my God. Stop. from mouths? I don't beauty want to fucking see these people right now. Get them out of here. Time our country reflected that. Sounds like the candidates have started their speeches. Let's listen in for a bit. With all skills and talents equal, would you see the crown atop an ugly head? Or a handsome one. Beauty is power. Lack one, you should lack the other. When I take the throne, all the hideous will be stripped of their titles. Together, we shall build a nation ruled only by radiant, everlasting paragons of beauty. I wouldn't mind if he got clapped right now. Well, I'm just saying. About what people tend to follow. Well, what? That's not how that this works, bro. <laughs> that's not how right? that works at all. I'd rather wait for a king who was always right then. 
Enough about appearance. A beautiful face cannot win wars. Without military power, the crown's voice means nothing! When I am king, I will establish a unified nation with the Roussant tribe at its head! Mm -hmm. Our tribes, our status, they mean something. You could stray from a monolith, but it will still remain. There can be no true peace without using the power we command! Hear, hear! For Roussant pride! What pride is there in seizing power by force? Disgraceful. I love how no, nobody when actually I likes win, these candidates all at the all. Like they all suck. Classes will be wanted men. We'll have our guillotine sharpened and our wallets open. Those who thought to tilt the world with their heavy coppers will be ahead lighter. We'll split their fortunes and toast to our health. Preach it, Katharina! You're just what this land needs! Wouldn't the first target be the one on the throne, then? Everyone's just shouting all their ideals out. These candidates are all pathetic. Nobody here even compares to Lord Luis. Luis isn't even in the running, lad. Poor Blight is afraid of losing to Sanctifex Ford. You've got it backwards, Giza. He's just not wasting his time on these windbags. I confess, mm -hmm. I know not how to feel. What? This Why? unprecedented. Never before have our citizens come together in the street in broad daylight and shared their true feelings on king and kingdom. Indeed. Is this really the kind of change his majesty wanted? Maybe I'm overthinking it. Let's go in. If we hang around too it kind of sounds here, similar to like what's been going on with like the actual argument. storybook that we've been reading like the fantasy novel i mean like in like a weird way like he wanted them to like do that oh that's ooh, that's pretty they have like a little a little aquarium for the fishies there in the center there when i'm king let me see here measures will rule the city a bar on every block and a flagon in every hand all you can drink all year round. Woo! Next round, on Lovelace. Let fools be content with their fool dreams. Grant me the crown, and I will make our kingdom powerful beyond imagining. Most powerful? Don't really mean anything, does it? Aren't you another one of Luis's flunkies, hound? Yeah, they Stop said that he was just another one of his um Always his posse. Goddamn Luis. I've been in the guard just as long as he has, you swine. Oh, yeah, they're rivals. They're rivals, bruh. Quite a lively crowd. Looks like a great many of them came all the way here to watch the competition. Val Abbe. He's an elder, isn't he? Are you a candidate, too? Well, strike me down, you're right. Never seen one of you blokes before. Might be out of luck in the race, though. You'll not stand a chance. <laughs> Sir, I'll have I you know, know that I'm like ranked 62, so I'm doing pretty good. Wow. <laughs> We're They're doing really well. In front of the store. Ah, I've heard of this. It is on the customer to fish up a catch and the chefs will prepare it for eating. I admit, I'm curious. Shall I sing a shanty for you as you take up rod and reel, Captain? Can I, can I actually do that? Can I go fishing? Oh my God, no, please don't. Um, I don't know. I caught some weird, creepy creature. Oh my god, no! What the is fuck that is that? Really no! Edible? It doesn't look quite. Oh my god, uh, Hulkenberg is gonna be like, natural. oh my god, delicious. Means, let us try it. I hate you. Did she even look at it? <laughs> Did she even look at what's on her plate, bro? Why, tis, tis delicious! The aroma of the sea simply floods the mouth ah and what splendid crunch it has it's flooding her mouth i guess I'll okay try what the fuck ew i mean they wouldn't let us fish up anything outright inedible i hope bro at least we'll die together at least we'll die together oh well I was the one who this is all fishing? your fault, troll. This is right. literally all of his fault. This is the his problem. Thing to do is see it through. It's rather 
slimy. What's wrong? You don't liking. like the 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 taste of the sea flooding your mouth right now, sir? I said nothing since Hulkenberg seemed to enjoy it so much, but if you're going to eat an unknown fish, might you not at least sear it first? It's fine enough without, I say. You need way higher standards, lady. Her being a terrible cook, by the way, Excuse is like me, friends. Don't mean to interrupt your meal. so iconic. I'm battling. <laughs> you have to have one of those tournament. in your group. Maybe you remember me. Sounds like you made a hell of a splash in Martira, huh? Filling a vicious beast is one thing, but not many candidates took it. Angel! Are you still in and out of existence? How are you? Hmm. Wait, how did he hear about that? How did you hear about all this? It's a cryer's business to hear things. That doesn't so, make sense. Do you have a head ready? Well, let's see. Got a head right here, I suppose. Lips sealed, huh? Well, I'm certainly looking forward to the exhibition then. Especially considering the diversity of your little party. I've always preferred to chase an interesting lead over a sure bet. You're okay now. Can't help I'm going to play a game soon. Ooh, so, okay. I have a keen eye out for you. You're going to do right? some grinding. That cry is an odd one. Not really what you'd expect from a Sanctus promoter. Who is he? Yeah, that's weird. He's a little bit weird. Rumor has it that young candidate hasn't bought a head. Wonder what he's playing at. Whatever it is. He's about to get a sharp lesson in the ways of the world, poor lad. I think he's worth keeping an eye on. Keep it under your hats, chums, for his power may rival Count Luis. I think he's just the ingredient we need to uh, spice this race up a bit. How does he know this? Why are they showing us this? This is weird. Right. Just got back from the pub, did you? It's just got back you from the pub, be. huh? Uh, nobody trusts a radical, huh? I expect you'll see for yourself. He's kind of sussy. Sussy Wessy. Hmm. Joanna and Barden should reach the city by morning. Hmm. And I imagine that they will aim to find us in our gauntlet runner. Nearest ought to be there to greet them. When the day dawns, we should head to the gauntlet runner. Why didn't we just end up sleeping in the gauntlet runner, though? I'm so confused. That's weird. Let me go ahead and... um. Let's see how much time do I have. I'm going to talk to everybody real quick and then we're going to go ahead and save and we're going to take a roughly five to ten minute break at least. Um, I'm going to go ahead and maybe like look at ordering Starbucks or something. I'll have to see. So these what it is. We will have a little breaky, get some snackies. Hope everyone is enjoying the stream. Um, let's go talk to people first before we take our break. The other candidate's speeches seemed pr practically identical. I would not trust those types with the country myself. Is there no one who can truly rival Luis or Forden? <laughs> Brylehaven is positively rife with tourists. I myself have long awaited the delicacies here, and indeed, it was so delicious that I wish I wish to eat every fish in the restaurant's tank. Ew. Fish so fresh that it still wriggles in your mouth. And no, that's a port city specialty. Disgusting. You want you want me to get brekkies? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. My apologies. I am. Um, I have a favor to ask of you. Would you mind lending me any unused blankets? Um, sure. Uh, for for defense, you understand, just in case. Otherwise, while I'm sleeping, I might be unprotected against um, ba 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 ba. Apologies against bugs. I want no contact with them, whatsoever, awake or asleep. So I thought that I might bundle myself in blankets at night. Yes, I know that this place is warm as it is. Yes, I am prepared for the inevitable an inevitable night sweats. Nevertheless, I would be grateful to have any spare blankets. Oh my god, he's such a bean! Why are there so many beans in this game? Oh my god, they're so cute. I love them. Alright. Oh no, hold on. I see what happened. I see what happened. Guys, there, there's a reason that we were kicking so much ass right now, and it might be because we might accidentally be on not easy mode right now. Oopsie. Apparently, I forgot to switch back after we were grinding. Shh. We didn't see anything. It's fine. 
at least I think I don't think that we actually fought anything that was really like super crazy. I'm sure it's fine. We're back, babes. Let's see what happens here. Good night. Time marches on. I'm really hoping that we end up getting a new party member, by the way. I'm very excited. Very, very spicy. Why is he fucking drunk again, bro? Again. What happened to waiting for our guests? You utter buffoon! Is this why you volunteered to stay behind? <sighs> Bro, he, he can't do anything Seems right. Like I hate Bowden him. Here yet. Oh my god, no. I feared this might happen. And we've no other head to offer the judges. Tis a precarious position. No. I'll come. Ah, I'm going to splash some water on my face. Okay. <laughs> Interesting reaction. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my god, Barty! My ah. sincerest apologies. Oh my god, Zaddy. I wasn't expecting yeah. anyone to come in. You see... How did you come to be here? Explain Was he yourself. in the fucking bathroom taking a shit? Oh my There's god, I swear. The matter, Barden. They were here the whole time? I'm so terribly sorry. We heard the gauntlet runner had a washroom, so we thought we'd freshen up a bit. I bathed first and was resting in the back room, contemplating my final day as a sanctuary. Sir Nurus over there very decently let us in to wash up. I couldn't stand it, old thing. Her heart would bring any right-thinking man to tears. Could have run like a bally thief in the night, but here she is, washing away her sins. It was more than a What the fuck are you talking? What is he talking about? What? Just to get myself through it. The bottle's barely any emptier. Was a drop really all it took to get you drunk? Oh, oh, good to know. Please do not blame the poor man. Talking to him has eased my heart for the trials to come. I cannot let myself betray you and regress to my vile delusions. I only sought to atone with myself before my sins are duly punished. I understand. Thank you for coming. Then, as we agreed, please confess before the crowd when the time comes. To be honest, I'm hesitant to turn you in now you've genuinely decided to repent. I mean, we're hardly icons of virtue ourselves. In fairness, you're a woman of status, and it'll be a big crowd. We're not looking to instigate a public stoning here. You can explain yourself freely in your own words. We can't ask anything more than that. Thank you. Truly, I felt so much more at peace since okay. last we spoke. Just a heads up, people. Especially you, Mile, because I love you. Giving me clarity. Look away, purpose. because there's there's probably gonna be some weird spoilers going on. Thank you for everything. Wait, what the fuck she say? The fuck she say? Huh? The fog has only cleared further, giving me clarity of purpose. A fog. So apparently, hmm, interesting. So there's some sort of fog over people who are. I don't I don't know how to describe that. We have to get more information, but from what I'm seeing here, apparently. Apparently, fog might be something to do with why she was acting really weird. Very suspicious. I do hope you win the throne. Yes, I intend to. Whoever the crown goes to, we're at least going to make sure it isn't used for evil. <laughs> at last, it seems our preparations are set. We need only trust that our plans will bear fruit. Thank you all for waiting. The very first round of the Tournament for the Throne, the Exhibition of the Brave, is about to begin. Our monarchs-to-be will now present to the people the heads they seize to demonstrate their power as worthy of the throne. Oh, oh my At god. A later date, when the second round is announced. I saw that shit. That one character looked on weird. Spot, that is to say, the candidates with the top 20 approval ratings will pass the first round. 20. 
practice a great many eliminations in but one round. I was hoping we'd at least make it through the first, but it might not be that simple. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your eyes to the lineup of all the gorgeous faces at the judges' table. Starting with His and Her Highnesses of Oceana and Montario. Oh, it's her ladyship. Lord Montario's here too, eh? And the armor on that fellow over there? A general, is he? Oh, okay, I see. The, one, the only, the people's favorite, our guest from the Sanctus Church. Better known as the Miracle Saint, healer of all ills. Presenting the lovely Lady Rella Cygnus. Saint? Who's this? Someone fill me in. I don't I've been know. Literally living in a hole. There's a, a lot of people healer. here, though. We've met, though a long time ago. Even as a student, she was already considered the kingdom's best in her field. Looks like the crowd's on your side, milady. Can you give us a few words about what's on your mind as you take on the judges' Re mantle? Rella Cygnus? Uh, well, Interesting. I'm afraid you've rather got me on the spot. <laughs> Hello, all. This city sure has, um, great seafood. <laughs> and, uh, well, sea creatures. Fascinating, aren't they? There's so much we still don't know about them. Um, Somebody take the mic from oh, her. I did bro. hear about a legend of some monster in the eastern seas of Oceana. <laughs> Imagine, the mind races. I'm hoping I can investigate those sightings while I'm here. That's just great, Lady Rella. I'll just stop you there. Clock's ticking and all that. But we're thrilled you're enjoying your stay. Sometimes I can hardly believe you're my sister. Still not much of a public speaker, are you? What? So she's a saint? Well, she seems like a Also, she's just, I like how Juna's just we hiding in the background there. About her and focus on ourselves. I don't see Luis anywhere, but I bet he's got eyes in the crowd. He's hiding. He's probably on his fucking weird ass airship or something. He's probably hiding somewhere. Now the time has come. Let the exhibition of the brave begin. First up is a respected gentleman of the church. Gido, the head of the monk soldiers of the crown theocracy. Bro, that's, that's, that's a fish, but bro, you guys. I have no taste for needless killing. Therefore, I chose a mark with meat, mm. abundant and edible. <laughs> I don't know about that one. It will be served in a banquet for the poor. That's crazy. Hey, stand up, fellow, my good people. Bitch, literally Stand anyone could have brought that up. Are you kidding me? Come on. One package. He's God. Got on his side right from the start. Now, is there anyone who can top this? I can. <laughs> the way he said that, he's like, is there and anyone that can top this? Like, yeah, obviously. Second Look at the fuck. The church's direct opposition, the spearhead of Count Luis's supporters, Gladell the Black Hound. One look at the head, and I know what you're thinking. But small, oh my God, Aurora! Well, hey, babe, how are you? Like Welcome in. Perfect dinner. timing, by the way. The story is actually moving right I'll now. Crazy. Behold, the head of a hideous human. Sir, that's a duck. Where's your proof? Is that a duck? Y yes, the young son's right. How do we know that's really a human? Yeah, like what the fuck? What drivel! Look at the thing. You think a normal beast could have a face like this? Probably just made the damn thing yourself. Oh, useless as ever. Did it never occur to him that the average citizen has never seen a human? Okay, to be fair, I would never have thought of that either. Now, now, everyone, <laughs> oh my god. Composure, please. Candidate Gladell, we're very much obliged. You may step down. He just said even he didn't even say anything. He's just like, okay, fine. He's just like, oh, oh well. The fuck is that? Okay. 
Okay. What is that thing? Is that the monster of the Eastern Sea? Someone took the beastie down. Who did the deed? I'd heard tell of Who a monster the tormenting the people of this beautiful port city. I could do no less than grant them respite from their suffering. Such is the duty of those with power. Who expected anything less? His eminence boarded mm. is simply in another class. Suddenly the yeah, I don't, I don't like that either because it's literally... He didn't do it out of the goodness of his heart. He did it to put on a fucking show. That's rude. Gordon's trophy is more impressive than I expected. How are we going to make a stronger impression than that? Yeah, we're fine. Be fine. Bro, if he gone after us, J Dog, our girl, is she gonna off, walk no in here and she's gonna be like she's gonna be like chop my head off right now. That's that's strategy. gonna leave quite now, the impression. Now, no dirty looks, you lot. Next is the Pagan Assassin's Prize. Let's see what head we've got now. I was gonna say though, well, welcome in, Aurora. I don't remember if I asked you how you were doing, babe. Um, we're probably like around 30 to 35 hours in the game now. Game has been going. I have food coming, by the way. But our last is coming up now. This should wrap up our show. Now, if the last candidate, the Elden Boy, would please join us on the stage. Hmm? Where's their head? Oh my fucking god. Oh no, everyone over your eyes. Uh, your pardon, madam, but would you happen to be the Lady of Martyra? Joanna, the Sanctoress? Indeed. The head they've brought is mine. The impudence. You dare offer an honored lady of the church before these judges. This is not to be born. I've got something to say to you too. That you chief there. Isn't that high? Oh my god, it's literally it's literally metaphor drama island going on right now. This is crazy. A huge chief of all things. This. After we saved your hide on the road. Silence! He may be a former knight, but now he's a heinous criminal who stooped to kidnapping. Anyone who claims themselves his ally should be disqualified on the spot. Please, wait. I have something I must confess to you all. You speak of the kidnappings that terrorized my home, Martyra. I am here to confess that the true culprit behind those atrocities was me. I was the caretaker of a hideous human in the basement of my castle. And to feed it, I abducted the innocent people of my own city. What? Absurd. Speak sense, woman. Master Heisme is innocent in all this. He was framed for crimes performed by my hand and in my name. And I barred it. Captain of Martyr's Guard Corps, stand to vouch for all that she said. Just so. It was this young candidate who killed that human, cleared me of the false charges, and dispelled the shadow over Martyra. Thus, here I stand. My head is his to offer. That's... Well, that's quite a turn of events. <laughs> oh my god, it's so we spicy. Head, oh my god. And it's unlike any we've seen Yeah, he's yet. like sweating. He's just like, How he's like, I don't believable? know what to say. She's an imposter. She's got to be. Nah, bro, she's of real. Course. That, oh, they're putting words in the poor woman's mouth. A sanctuary would never. What will his eminence fall do? Hmm. The honorable master Godot should know whether I and my words can be trusted. <sighs> is true to the last word isn't it yes your eminence without question young candidate you have done well to bring about her repentance now justice must be rendered no don't hurt her bro i don't want to see this Howard. no what stop that right here and now 
Your Eminence, a moment! Thank you for your concern. But I have no objections. For a sinner like me, to confess the truth to the people has already been more than I deserve. Oh, new king. It is my hope that you will rid the world of its twisted prejudices and common cruelties. Please, lead this country armed with the truth. No, don't fucking... No, I don't actually want her to die now. I feel bad. <laughs> That's stop. You stop that. Stop it. Stop it. No. <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh my god, like that? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Oh, well, that's fucking rude. Folks, that fucking hurt. Sometimes that's just how the curtain falls. <laughs> He's like, it, it is what, what it is. In the biggest head, then our dark horse here has certainly turned in the heaviest. What an upset, ladies and gents. Who could see this coming? <laughs> Those crazy kids have done it again. What a show! Also, I hate Badlin. Why is he so weird? Okay, first of all, T mm. Heat, hold on, hold on. Didn't they say that we have to be in the top 20 for us to even qualify anymore? We only went up by like to 49. Literally. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? I knew, I knew that they were gonna punish her or something, but like, they're gonna just fucking kill her immediately. Are you kidding? That's fucked up, bro. And she, she was like so sincere. To he, literally like an earthquake in here. She was so sincere about her apology and like all the things. We're, we're they're probably gonna go into it later because I think Galica. Pretty sure she noticed that something was wrong. I'm like nine, 90% sure. All right. After the events of the exhibition, many people seem to have taken notice of me. I hope that this eventually leads to saving the prince. Oh my God. That was like kind of brutal, brutal to watch. I'm not gonna lie. Wishing everyone well. I suppose oh, he aims to reach Martira before Joanna's confession does. And Forden himself. I hardly expected the man to make himself so visible. Likely his attempt at redirection keeps the blame from falling on him and the church. Can't say it didn't work, I suppose. I'm certainly not blameless in this either. It was my suggestion to make an impression by foregoing the pursuit of a monster's head in favor of a person's. I guess, but... Nevertheless, the Lady Joanna entrusted her final wishes to us, and we mustn't betray them. That's all we can do, really. Not bad, Pops. You are passing on the course of a human hunt. You gave a most distinctive showing. I suppose you were Ooh, ooh we caught his attention. I'm Fidelio, that's Basilio. Luis's right-hand men, see? And now you walk with the Ujif. <gasps> oh my god, so, thank you! Of a Angel, thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you for the gifts of babe. Have dependable friends than thank you, I love you. Mm -hmm. Something we've got in common. And give you a mm, nice tight hug. Thank you, BB. Not only did you expose a failing of the Sanctus Church, but you dared to bring her alive so Forden himself could do the grisly I love you too, BB. That was not our intent. Oh, same idea, yeah. I might look a little bit a sussy while I, I eat this eyes on you than some rat, by the way. So and now it is what it is. The names on everyone's lips, aren't you? No. We only read it or wrong. And you weren't afraid to make an enemy of the church to do it. Oh my god, I will. I'll try. I'm going to shove the whole thing in. Rub Forden's face in the dirt. A wake-up call, I'm sure, for those who only know his honeyed words. Oh, Lord Luis, we really should be going. Relax. They're in the middle of a conversation. I like a show of strength as much as the next girl, but I do so hate violent spectacles. <laughs> Gawk, Gawk, Marino, the from the sky sounds so much more enchanting. 
Don't you think? Okay, I want I want Juna in my party right now, please. I'm begging you. I so want her so bad. What's become of Luis? There was something eerie to him even as a lad, but I'd never expected him to reach such heights. Do you suppose we have his attention? Last time he told us we had to demonstrate our power first. I'd like to think that if he went out of his way to talk to us, yeah, no worries, you're good, babe. Earned. Oh, loves, I've got a message from Count Luis. He says he'll be sending a messenger along soon. So stay in the city, would you? And I have to say, I might not want to let you out of my sight either. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. She wants to Master talk Luis. to the MC. Master Interesting. What happened? Well, he just left. You weren't told. We'd better be getting back as well. Thank Damn you for it. donating, Reese. What's so special about those fools? Why is he? Why is he so rude? Oh my God! This is this is chaotic. For anyone that missed it, a lot of a lot of happened. Well, a go for technically what, a lot of happened, but. Are you officially all flunkies in arms now, then? Oh God, I think I think for now the spoilers are done. Hey, Reese, it's been like 84 years. How are you doing, babe? It might be a trap. Don't get cold feet now. We knew going in that any plan to win his favor would be dangerous. We have finally taken the first step in saving His Highness the Prince. If we can get the formula. Then we yet have a chance of lifting the curse. How first, His Highness, anyway? He still fights? I don't remember if you were... Were you planning on getting this game, Reese? Just in case. Please be careful, because there are some spoilers now. We're pretty... I think we're like... I want to say we're probably about a quarter way through the game. So just a heads up. I took a look in the Farsight mirror a while ago. He's still asleep. But nothing's changed about his condition. And do we know where this formula is? No, but he's bound to keep it somewhere secret if it's evidence linking him to the assassination. Still, a formula would be useless unless it's within arm's reach for emergencies. If it's something he'd keep close, then... Would he keep it in his pocket? I doubt it. I mean, what if it slipped out? Maybe somewhere less precarious. I actually, I was gonna pick runner? engraved on his body, really and then I was like, mm. the runner he uses <laughs> I'm like, this kind of, it's kind of weird. The incident was near a decade ago. It's as good a chance as any. Getting inside would be a pain for anyone else, including us. He said he would send a messenger. Perhaps it would be wise to wait until we've heard his missive. Good point. Let's just wait for word then. Johanna, a backwater sanctuary denies me my moment of triumph. She defiles the very church itself. Oh, and naturally it was an elder of all people who stood her before me. Well, that benighted tribe never stopped dogging my heels. And never stopped dogging my heels? What the fuck is that, Ian? For the tournament's next challenge, let us center the competition on a show of piety. Make them prove their sanctus faith. After all, Sanctism is the state religion. It would be the barest of leaps to suggest that loyalty to the church is loyalty to the state. I don't think that's going to go over well for him, though. Plan. And also, this guy, I the thought he was okay for a while. I don't trust him anymore. The very I don't trust him. Of the faith outside the capital. Not that I ever trusted him, but... I thought we might propose I'm mm. Mm. <laughs> this time He just seemed relevant. nice. He ah, seemed ish, nice-ish. No, relics. he's rude. Those false idols the pagans consider relics of their gods. What need does the world have for gods beyond ours? Soon, they will talk of nothing but how to win the Sanctus Church's favor. Your eminence's influence would be sure to reach even greater heights. And in the pagan lands, the greedier candidates will plunder and pillage for idols as they see fit. Hmm, find footholds for our missionaries, all without getting our hands dirty. The collection of divine relics should be a spectacle held on Saint's Day. Our divine right will be undeniable. 
Once I take the throne, I will re-establish that these relics originally belonged to the Sanctus Church, and that they were ransacked from us in the course of history. Your Eminence, on that day, I should be grateful to be honored with a proper title. <laughs> Say no more. A concession only fair for the right hand of the Sanctifex. Ever at your service. You do not bow your head. Oh, I... Humblest apologies. What troubles you, my child? Well... My concern would be about the risks involved. Some theories suggest even the Royal Scepter was originally one of these relics. In the unlikely event that a divine relic were to be found to nullify the king's magic... If such a relic existed, it would have been found long ago. You burden yourself with such fears. All you need to do is be a good saint. I feel like that's uh, Smile, them foreshadowing. Wave and bless. They're going to end up Rella. just completely destroying the entire to the tournament Royal or something. And gather the people under my banner. Understood. Interesting. So yeah, fuck Forden. Time marches <laughs> like, on apparently, I like how they waited until that moment to be like, yeah, Forden's actually kind of a dick. Um, so just a heads up. Not about that. I like that they were very vague about that until and now, but I never never trust word. religion in a video there game. Ne never trust them. Always sus. Night, said he was Luis's man. Night prowler today. Come. Bit good if I'm honest. Hardly diplomatic. Seems like this night prowler place is some sort of pub or club. But uh, do you know where it is? On the city's outskirts. Seemed fairly dingy to my eyes. I can't imagine Luis at a haunt like that. You think it's a trap? Maybe he's caught on to us? If he wanted to trap us, no, I doubt he would make it so obvious. Though he wouldn't even go out of his way. There, no. of course. We have little other option but to show up. I'll hang about in the runner. Keep myself busy with tinkering. But let me know if you talk yourself onto Luis's craft, eh? Right then. Let's be off to this night prowler. Going to the night prowler, eh? Oh, is it thunderstorm? Ooh. Okay. The night prowler, huh? Um, do they actually have... Hold on. If, if we happen to accidentally find a place that we can exchange mag, I just kind of want to see the actual exchange rate. But if not, well, okay. then it's fine. Let me take a look. <laughs> Let's take a look over here. Sea Breeze Street, Merchant Base Arm, blah, blah, blah. Oh, is that it? Mm. Right. Let me just quickly walk over to these other places here, just in case. All right, then. The bug? Oh, is this for the bug? Oh, I do believe that I know your face from somewhere. Oh, wait, you're the old man who is in the giant sandworm stomach. Oh, my God. Ew. What? How did you get out? Truth Did he go out the butt? Oh, I had intended for that worm's belly to be my final resting place, but after running into you young grubs, I longed to see the outside world again. Oh, okay. Nice little pun there, too. I just gave the worm a little poke with magic and to, to loosen up its belly. And from there, why, it was just no trouble at all. He actually got shot out. Okay, I love that. That's neither here nor there, though. Tell me, you haven't seen glowing beetles anywhere, have you? Why, they are strange and wondrous insects, luminescent with a golden light of magla. If you do have any, I would sure like to take them off your hands. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, we have some. Arcane dragon blood? Ooh. What's this? <laughs> okay, I want to I wanna give him more. Let's give him more. Sorry. Hey there. Yeah, I have a few of them. <laughs> Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. All right. Um, let's see. All right, then. Let's go check out the other I'll war. Right. Nice. What is it? All right, then. Oh, 
my god. All oh right. my god, there's so many shops here. I think I see it over there too. Hold on. All right, then. Uh... Huh. But this guy, the water merchant. Uh, no, I think we'll come back for him later. Is there no, is there no exchange? Where's my, where's the mag, the mag exchange, sir? Hey, oh, mag broker. Okay, here we go. How much, how much is this going to be? 8.4. Ooh. All right. Just in case I'll, um, I will exchange. Oh, you know. Do, let's do like this much. That should be good. I think having that much should be should be more than enough. Can I not can I not talk to him? Um okay, let's go this way. What in right, the then. world? Oh, it's at the very top. Oh, I see. We're like, we're on the other side of the port. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Let's go in here. Wow, look who it is. Appreciate you coming out. So it was you two. You expected us to roll out the red carpet right into our headquarters. Consider this a pre-show. Still, you really are just a kid, aren't you? And you're one to talk? I wouldn't go having a laugh at me big brother's expense. That's when I get to step in. Wait, big brother? What the fuck? You are brothers. What? And he is the elder? And here I thought the Magnus brother's name was making the rounds. No way, I don't believe that. <laughs> so sus. Kill you yet. Besides, Lord Luis has taken quite a shine to you lot. Before we let you see him, I have a question. I want you to think long and hard before you answer, right? What kind of king are you selling yourself to be exactly? Go on, let's have the pitch. I'd treat all tribes equally. Just like Lord Luis. All right, a bit more cheese off. You know there's a big difference between meritocracy and equality. <laughs> You're not doing yourself any favors here, are you? Let's drop the pretenses, shall we? We were all about impressing Luis, and we've done that. You're all about results, aren't you? You'll answer the question from me, too. Why do you want to serve Master Luis? No lies now. I'm in love with Juna. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so fitting. I'm actually in love with Lady Juna. <laughs> well, my condolences. <laughs> Out of your league, chum. I dare say you both are they... speak from the Oh my god, first of, of all, you. Um, are they and taking this as like a valid answer? Don't kill me. You got some brass tea, I'll give you that much. Already got more I am in love with her though. I'm sorry did. guys. You seem my like heart has been stolen by her. Yourselves useful. Not many get our tells blessing. It's worth celebrating that. For now. Get in. Someone like you should already know what it's like. The minority tribes face walls and barriers everywhere they look in society. Our greatest hope rides with Master Luis. We'll do whatever it takes to make him king, and starting today, so will you. <sighs> Come on then. Master Luis is waiting for you inside his gauntlet runner, the Caratrius. Are we going in right now? Business up there, yeah? Oh my god, let's fucking go. Oh my god. Magic, and Lord Luis is one of the top candidates. We've captured some, what, ten odd assassins now? Lord Luis uses them for magic experiments and... Well... You know how that ends. <clears throat> we finally have access to Luis's headquarters. It's a valuable opportunity. Ideally, while most of our group is meeting with Luis, someone else can do a quick search inside. Mm. Oh, 
Wait, Galica. Me? I was no gonna say, if, if you send somebody that they Anyone already know is there, or they've seen before, it's not gonna look good. infiltration on my tiny shoulders? But fine, I'll do it. Once we're in the Skyrunner, we'll assess the situation, then deal with our own tasks. Are we, are we going now? Where? It is already sunset. Time flies by so, so fast. Luis's gauntlet runner, the Charidrius, is stationed in Warship Harbor. Let's take a ferry to get us over there. Oh, okay. Hello there. Incredible. Wow, it didn't hit me until we got right up close to it, but this runner is really huge. Hi. Why over here? Keep your heads out of the clouds, will you? Sam. You bumpkins can fawn over the Charadrius all, all you want later. We will not be flying for a good while anyway. What with the Sorry and anyway. Sorry, huh. Sore and all, Ayo. The Sore? What is that? Ugh. Hey, boss, how about you don't go telling them anything that they don't need to know? You are not officially friends yet. All right, now follow me. I will give you the grand Goddess. tour. Oh, and a friendly warning, be on your best behavior. If you try anything clever, then you're dead on the spot. Make a rude comment to Lord Louise, dead on the spot. Got it? Not shy about making threats, huh? We'll stay on his good side, okay? Seriously. Let's not test his patience then. Lord Louise is in the reception room and you do not want to keep him waiting. We're off. Oh, this is there guards over here. You little bastard, you. Oh, excuse me? Rude? <laughs> What the heck? The size of Luis's Skyrunner is ludicrous, and he parks it in the middle of Warship Harbor, Harbor like he has his uh, bloody name on it. I mean, to be that is massive. That's probably going to end up being like a whole dungeon or something. Like, it's literally, it's the size of a fucking town. Check this out. At last. We've got to seize the first foothold for our infiltration. Soon enough, Luis will be in within our grasp. If I may. Glodel comes through here an awful lot. You know him, don't you? One of Luis's faction candidates. Sometimes he's got this beast of a dog with him too. Sad to see a man with a temper like this with a pet though, but wouldn't you know it? He's sweet on that dog. Aww. Oh, he's a dog lover too. Love that. Somewhere at the bottom of his black heart, he thinks that the dog is cute or something. The strangest thing that you ever did see. Indeed. This runner bears more in common with a castle than a carriage. I can hardly imagine what its interior must be like. Well, let's go find out. Wait, why? Why is more here? Why is he here? That's a tee -hee. Understood. Makes me, we're probably going to end up doing like a, a boss fight or something. It is impossible to discern how much trust the brothers will afford us. Keeping our gut up around them will be crucial. Yeah, I'm already foreseeing, foreseeing a boss fight right now. Also, do I have... Hold on. Let me go ahead and... Let me actually rearrange these. I just realized that, like, I have this shit on from, like, before. Um, Plunder Magic is actually really good, by the way, so we're going to keep that on. Um, the only thing, though... What could I put on right now? What would be good? Let's do. Let's do like slicer maybe. Slicer on him. Um, let me keep on Hamion for him. Let me give this boyo. Let me give him bot Batra. Batra. Elusive Dream deals weak physical slash damage to one enemy, blah, 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 absorbs MP, and may one hit kill the target. That is crazy good, by the way. Oh my god. Let me give her. Let me give her Moodoon. And then I will give him. 
Lurking Nightblade. And... What other magic can I throw on him? Maybe like Cyclo or something. Let me All give right. him Cyclone. Why not? Okay, I think we're good. Got it. I'm leaving. Until you can get used to it, this place can be like a real maze. Wait, is this like a dungeon? What? What the hell? What the fuck is this? Oh yeah. Well. Like it or not, an elder recruit is always going to stand out. But we're on the same side as all of them for now. So Santa. I'm pretty sure. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god. We're actually this is a dungeon, ma'am. You're not serious. Look at the hat. Damn, is it true? Did Glodell really show up to the exhibition with the head of a human in hand? Yeah, but the head was like so small that hardly anyone noticed. Makes you wonder what the hell the point was. Yeah, to be fair, kind of a waste of time. Alright. It's very it feels very posh, very very fancy. The reception room is up here. Use the lift. Nope. Okay. What, what was that? <laughs> oh, that happens to everyone. Is it some sort of magic controlled locking yeah. mechanism? It keeps the suspicious element out. You know, like bastards pretending that they're grunts when they're actually assassins. See. Seems like a secure. Well, yeah, but what does it do? I assume they need a key to get around. Wait, yeah. what? There's different keys for different areas and only a select few ranking soldiers have them. You want to walk freely around the runner, then you're going to have to move up our ranks a bit first. Interesting. Oh, okay, I see, I see. It's okay, key cards. Key cards. Keys are only given to ranking soldiers, is it? Navigating this place may prove difficult without those without those in our possession or whatever. Well, can we can we have Galica or Heisme? Can we have them steal something though? Because like Yeah, we'll have to go acquire them. Already trading treacherous whispers amongst yourselves, huh? Quit with the gossip and get on already. Bro, we just made ourselves look so sussy in my eyes. I would have been like, leave. <laughs> Damn, like, you're sussy. Oh, nice. It's much bigger than I had thought. I almost forgot that we're inside of a gauntlet runner. Yeah, this is ridiculous, bro. This is the biggest thing I've ever fucking seen. Quit looking around so much. <sighs> Now, what have we got here? Are we letting schoolboys into the ranks now? These kids are our new recruits. Oh, what the hell? Are you good? So that's all it took, huh? A little show at the exhibition? Used to be that you would have to prove yourself before you could stand with the court that counts men. No. Oh, they got Lord Lord Luis's approval. If that's not enough for you, then I would keep it to yourself before, before someone knocks you off of that pedestal. What's the meaning of this? What, these piss ants against me? Please, I'm a bloody sergeant. We could settle this right now, and they'll be wiping you off the walls. Don't even try it. Oh, leave it out, Zam. No, I want to fight him. I want to beat his ass now. Get your arse back to your post. That's in order. Understood. Just get this through your tiny heads. Power is everything around here. I will give you three days at most until you run home. Tails between your legs. Bro, he big. He kind of tall. Seriously. Are you just gonna stand there or are you gonna move? Come on. Bro, it's not my problem, bro. This is your fault. This is all your fault. You you hire people like that? Not my problem. Here. So this would be Lord Luis's quarters, huh? It's just a reception room, lass. He would be daft to show a pack of strangers straight to his private quarters, wouldn't he? All right. Lord Luis is waiting inside. Please enter. Hey. I guess that's my cue. I'll try looking around for this formula. Okay, but like, or you could also get key codes or, or passcodes or whatever. Yeah. That would work too. I'll try. You all stay safe too. Oh my god, the man's here. Is Juna here too? Or Juna? A beautiful city, Rylehaven. But it is its identity I truly respect. Oceana's navy might well have won them the Annex War. If your Cronia hadn't chosen to forgo their honor and launch an opportunist attack in the wake of a storm. Even now, united in the kingdom, their pride in their power is what keeps this city alive. You wish to join my ranks? I need ask little else. Instead, I would hear what you wish to know most. Ask and I will answer. 
That is why I bid you come here. Here we go. <coughs> See, oops, was I not muted? Oops, guys. <laughs> Sorry. I was like so excited to have a bite of that fucking food. Oh, Lord. See, he's testing us. What should I ask? Did you kill the royal family? I mean... Did you kill the king and prince? My dagger laid buried in the king's chest until his mortal husk entered the casket. I'm sorry, what? Bruh. Then you don't deny it. That's I crazy. That is crazy. I would be more than happy to announce it. But I've heard nothing. The man prayed enough on the state government. Perhaps he feared I would be hailed as a hero instead of derided as a killer. Ever the paragon of cowardice. Yeah, he is kind of rude. I don't think anyone here is good. Hmm. It is clear no small conviction drives you. Perhaps keeping you close will prove useful. You, assembled company, I hereby permit you to enter my service. We are much obliged. Wait, what is that? Yeah, what the? Ew, this what is? is a heart of magic silver. Cut your finger and let the blood flow. Um, a proper right of loyalty. What? It shows how all our blood flows through the same heart. Watch yourselves, though. If your own heart's not true to our cause, well, it's not just a drop you lose. It might take off a whole limb. You hesitate. It's fucking... It's creepy. What the fuck? Ew. It's just that... Fear and anxiety. They always lead the people astray. But power and order trumps all. That is the crux of my rule. It seems that we have no choice. I don't want to fucking touch that. No. Good. It would appear we've passed. <laughs> Look at you, like knock knee lambs. Just having oh, a was it fake? You, oh my god, bro. I go to all that effort? On August 13th, I intend to hold a soiree in this city. It seems a fine opportunity for you to make your debut in my retinue. Very exclusive, see? Only for those good enough to be part of our campaign. You should feel honored. As my gauntlet runner requires some maintenance, the party should be held at the feast hall where I'm staying. In the meantime, do as you will. Only this area feels any different from the rest. I need a key to get in, though. It'd be nice if I could see what's going on in here, too. Is that boy candidate here already? Meeting with Count Luis as we speak, I think. Didn't think he'd end up on our side. I expect we'll run into each other on the job, eh? That said, let's get back to our rounds. Yikes! You're coming this way! Why are they gossiping about us, though, sussy? Okay, is she going to go in through the vent? Is this the other side of that door? Never thought it'd lead to a place like this. This area just screams suspicious with all the guards. The formula's got to be somewhere around here. Is someone coming? They'd show up now. Wait, what? The songstress? What is she doing here? Yeah, what is she Lady doing Juna, in here? Is something amiss? Why is she I hiding that? Saying I didn't need a personal guard today. Yes, but this is Luis's personal quarters. Um, we thought in case you needed. Well, I don't. You can do your guarding downstairs for today. Do you understand? And well, I mean. Do you really want to be guarding this door when Count Luis returns? Oh, the things you would hear. How awkward for us both. Oh my god. Um, so were they, mean, were they actually dating? It, it, oh don't make no. The self. Uh, apologies, my lady. We'll make ourselves scarce. No. Why 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 is she riding the evil guy? Why? Close why? One. Why you got to do this to me? 
few and far between. I've got to get this back in place. Oh, wonderful. How were these arranged again? A magic spell? Is that the formula? <sighs> Just my luck. I can't carry out something that big. And now I know where it is. Jolly good. <laughs> you've got the man's eyes on you. Now that you've sworn fealty, we can get right down in the guts of his Skyrunner. All right. I have a feeling I might be wrong, but I have a feeling that they're going to do the same thing that like P5 Royal does or like whatever. And we're going to have to jump in and we're going to have to sneak in before I'm assuming it before we do the inauguration thing where we're like we join his group. So we're going to have to go and sneak into his uh, his runner. We're going to have to find all of the sussy things that he's keeping. I worry for Gallica. Perhaps we ask too much of her. I hope she's all right. Ah, it seems you're worried for naught. I'm back. Phew, you're clearly bursting with good news too. <laughs> I know, right? I found where the formula is. I'm pretty sure I saw the real thing. Even if it wasn't, I'd bet the real one's somewhere in that room. Masterfully done. We could have asked no better an infiltrator. That songstress Juno was there too. I'm pretty sure it was Luis's private quarters. So I have to wonder what she was doing there. Whatever the case, I assume you could lead the way to the room? Well, yes, but it might be a bit tricky. To get to Luis's quarters, we'd need to go through the crew quarters, then through the starboard corridor or the port corridor. You need a key to get into each of the divisions. Whoever's in charge at each guard post has one. Luis's private quarters have a special key, too. That one's held by the representative on the bridge. In short, we'll need to pass through three blocks. The crew quarters, either the starboard or port corridor, and the bridge. It looked like he's usually got his quarters under guard. So we'll want to pick a time of day when there'll be less people around. If we need it less crowded, then how about the night of the soiree? Surely it would be a skeleton crew. Apparently, the soiree will be held at the Luxury Inn that caters exclusively to the upper class. Ooh, the soldiers manning. See, hold on. The soldiers manning his runner are bound to have duties in town that day. Hmm. So what? Like we're just waiting for you it though? I thought they wanted us to go in before too moment. though. How would we get away with not being present? Maybe if we just excuse ourselves for a short time we've got plenty of time to prepare securing an infiltration route finding out when it will be less crowded this is all work we can get done in advance oh no hold on off, i was right and one other will a, it is a fucking Swipe it's a heist formula, we're doing it we're doing a fucking possible. heist don't kill Have me in mind my hearing makes stealth jobs simple work no i think he'd be our best bet you would have the guest of honor himself absent this is Luis we're talking about. He's bound to notice any absence. If we've lost on that front already, we might as well send our strongest. What do you think? It would be risky as a near solo infiltration. Are you up to the task? You'll be the ones in the most danger. Yeah, you guys are in danger. I'm fine, <laughs> I bro. I can handle denied. anything. You're right. And I'm well aware of the fact. Seriously. We're jumping from tightrope to tightrope here. We'll have to prep our infiltration strategy tomorrow. For now, let's get back to the inn and get some rest. That reminds me. By the way, do you remember the man that we met in Luis's Gauntlet Runner? He seemed very proud of his strength. Yes. He was rather full of himself, yes. Sergeant Xanth, was it? He got told to go back to his post, which makes me wonder. He might be in charge of one of the runner's sectors. Well, that would be unfortunate. I could tell that his strength was formidable, even to be near him. I doubt that he would simply let us pass. Kill him. Just stab him in the stab him in the stab him in the back or something. I don't know. Put him to sleep. In any case, we should probably rest for today. We can talk in more detail in the morning. 
Wouldn't it be cool if they actually let us put everyone to sleep, though? Look at that. Good night. So I guess are they gonna give us like a time limit? We're gonna get to jump in and do some sussy things. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if we should technically jump into the dungeon now, depending on the time limit, or if we should no, like no, no. try to like do some bonds or something, because that probably would help us in the long run. We all, we know what we want to get the um, we want to get the general up to level fifteen. I think is what Moore said as well. Hmm. So apparently they have a formidable boss lineup for me. Even so. If we mean to attack, a short and decisive encounter is the order of the day. And if they call for reinforcements, we may not fare so well. So we have yes. to strike hard. Hell yeah. Mm. I'm a little worried. This is a challenge unlike any that we've faced so far. Yeah. That's right, a new situation calls for new tactics. We ought to build up our strength by hunting, bounties, and the like, or we may, we may end up over our heads. Mm. Unlike previous operations, time is of the essence when infiltrating. You will need to keep your battles short, defeating the officers within a certain number of turns. <gasps> what? What? Oh my god. All of the officers are quite strong, and each will require you to be tactical. Gather information about them in town and utilize requests to strengthen your abilities to give yourself a fighting chance. Oh shit, okay, cool. And maybe we can dig up some dirt through an informant? Who knows, they might even have a weakness that we can exploit. Well then, before we can secure our route to his quarters, um, it sounds like we have to do some digging before the day of the soir soir soiree. I love that word. I love words that are weird and I don't like pronouncing them. Let's focus. All right. The infiltration route must be secured so Larissa's room can be accessed on the day of a soiree. If I seal the curse formula, then the princess curse can be lifted. How many times? Did they say 20 days? What? A mission with a deadline has, has begun. Be cautious of storms and inclement weather condition that may occur around Brylehaven. Meet with your allies in Worship Harbor to infiltrate Luisa's Gauntlet Runner. The interior of Luisa's Gauntlet Runner is divided into four areas, the crew quarters, a starboard port, and the bridge. You'll need to obtain a special key from the person in charge of the bridge um, and the deepest part of the ship. So don't forget, you need to gain access to Luisa's quarter, sorry, quarters by the day of the soiree. Let's head there. Interesting. Oh my god, guys, we're sleuthing. We're sleuthing, doing quests, and then we're gonna jump in. We're gonna have to kick ass. I'm very excited. Like this, no what oh, damn, damn, damn. That bastard fud definitely cheated me. Hey there, Elder Kid. You look too naive to know the first thing about betting, but I can I can still tell that you think that gambling stalls cheating people too, right? Um, yeah. Totally. That's right, you were scammed too, weren't you? I'm gonna expose their crimes. Mark, mark my words. Wait, let me give you something interesting about the Merchant's Bazaar here. What? As long as the weather holds up, they host diving competitions. Oh shit! Oh, what? Ooh. Oh, what should I do? At this rate, they will surely die. Must my hands always be stained with the blood of children? Okay, first of all, that is dramatic. That's kind of suspicious. Huh? Sorry, blood and children. Oh, have I seen you somewhere here before or something? Now that I mention it, I do recall seeing an elder boy at the exhibition, one that looked to be the same age as. They say that you've been traveling across, oh, sorry, across the country, helping all of those in need. If that is the truth, then may I ask you for your aid as oh, well? Pity. During a training training exercise, the city's guard corps. Uh, were ambushed by a human, and there were many casualties, especially among the youngest recruits. I need a special tea, a special medicine to save them, but the shop's stocks are exhausted, and I cannot make it myself, as it requires ingredients found only within a monster-infested forest. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at that. Dragon Thistleberry. Give it a shot. Ah, okay. Where's the dungeon? This must be Gracia Forest. There should be places to park the runner between the trees there. And right cool. There is a well, 
all right Let's see if we can go pick up more quests and then we're gonna go jump in the tavern what's he saying what's he here what's he doing oh it's julian well well small wonder what fools like you are ignorant to the true nature of talent I received the magical future from Julian. Is that a book? This is a book that Julian wrote himself, isn't it? Well, at the end of the day, it's still a book, so why not read it in the runner when you're free? Uh, I don't know if I want to, but I mean, at the same time though, I, it's gonna boost my stat, so. Cool. This is not too bad. We have 20 days to infiltrate, right? Let's go talk to more people. You're the one from the exhibition, aren't you? Good work in covering that scandal. Boy candidate exposes a church's dark side. The high, sorry, the headlines write themselves, which is actually a huge problem. Do you have any idea how busy I've been trying to cover up this incident? What? Excuse me. Sir, I didn't go through all that trouble just to have it covered up. I had to pop by Worship Harbor for work earlier and the place was crawling with Luisa's soldiers. I was terrified at first. But then I overheard them talking, and they were just complaining about their job like any of us would. Say about that silent, see now, old bastard, the kind, that kind of thing. It makes you think that, oh, they're people too, aren't they? Apparently they're complaining about the, the the bosses or something that we have to fight too. Let me see if we can go over. Oh, let's talk to these people chatting real quick. So that's what it's the Julian to. fellow on the on this poster is popular with the Ishkia, but I cannot take him seriously. He's telling people not to kill monsters in the wasteland. Wait, what? Isn't he like really, really smart? He's planning for like a hundred years in the future. What are you talking about? What the hell? Where's the podium? Hold on. Let me double. Let me double check to see where the podium is. By the way, because if we see the other candidate, kids, right? Candidates, um, speaking at the podium later, um, we can use that to our advantage. I don't remember if it's this one. Was it tolerance right. or imagination or something? Sanctor. Mm. There's this guy over here. This person. Maybe it's not over here. Okay, hold on. Yeah, let's go over here. There's a quest of the night prowler. That the night prowler. What do you have for me, sir? Greetings. Well, if it isn't my friend, Will, what a pleasure. But why the face? You're looking at me like I'm a stranger, but I literally don't know who you are. You visited the Night Prowler. I am its founder. F okay. Bro, he looks like just some, he looks like a, what are they called? Um. God, I mean, not like a beggar, but he looks, he looks shady as fuck. He just looks like some riffraff you just dragged in. Even if this is our first time meeting in the flesh, I consider my customer a dear friend. He backed off a little. You're moving kind of fast. What do you even want with us? <laughs> well, I'm hoping that you can do some negotiation on my behalf so I can get my deed back. Typically, I had to, um, sorry, tragically, T, I had to offer it as collateral on a loan, but even after paying my creditor off, I haven't been able to get it back into my hands. The man in question is a respected Ishka noble, whereas I am but a humble Parapus entrepreneur. I doubt that I can count on the law to back me. But he won't treat a high-profile candidate with the same rudeness. That's the kind of man he is. Of course, you will be compensated. Oh, yeah, sure. Sure, babe. Money? If you give me money, I will do it. Let's give it a shot. Says the nobleman creditor might be at the Varmariano Coliseum. Interesting. All right. All right. Let's... Oh, can we not go in there? All right. Um, Let's go... Where do we go? Let's go this go way here. And there's another quest over here too. Uh, oh, that? sir. Did you hear that? It sounds like someone is moaning in pain. Where, sir? Oh, I really overdid it this time. Um, hey, you there. You don't happen to have a medicinal herb. Hey. Yeah. Oh, what a coincidence. I have... 84 billion oh, medicinal herb for you. Thank you. It still hurts a little bit, but it's all right now. Thank you for this small miracle. No one else was willing to help me, even though I was suffering. You're the only one, so please take this. Briny threads and tailbait. Oh, all right. 
such a bother. Hmm. I say, old chap, who takes your fancy today? I believe I shall play it safe and place my wager on the monsters. I'll take a punt on the pair. Wait, are they? Is this the Colosseum stuff? Hold on. Wait, hold on. Can I actually go to the Col? There's an actual Colosseum. Can we fight? Oh my god, no way. Hold on. After I collect my reward from the Colosseum, I will treat you all to a stonking great meal. That's our captain. A real man among men you are. Oh my god, they're trying to rizz each other up right now. Entering the Colosseum is what makes a real soldier. It is the Oceana way to impress someone. What is it? What's your problem, kid? Quit staring. Come back when you're old enough to buy... Wait, hold on. Are you the candidate, candidate that everyone has been talking about from the exhibition? Your face is stuck in my memory. Strange thing, a kid like you in the race. <sighs> well, how rude. And what do you mean, we have to be old enough? What are you even selling? Why, I'm the fam most famous brewer in the city. Oh, well, there you go. They call my house special, um, the Miraculous Mead. So good, it'll put years on your lifespan. I kind of want to try that. I am definitely a beer connoisseur. I would love that. Sounds like good stuff, but Will needs a few more years before he can drink, so we'll see you around. Oh, hold on there. I know how you captured everyone's eyes at the exhibition. I'm going to gamble on that being skill, not chance. So I've got a task that I need help with. I'm looking for something you see. And if you find it, I will give you some of my brew. Sell it or drink it. Either way, you'll get something out of it. I will even throw in a little extra, too. If you succeed, I will start supporting your campaign openly. Ooh. I can't really imagine a kid could do that. Sorry, do what I couldn't, but what are you saying? Again, we have nothing to lose. You seem confident enough. This cup that I'm looking for is called the Chalice of Legends. The way that I hear it, everyone who has ever owned that cup has died under mysterious circumstances. Why the fuck do you want me to get this for you? By now, nobody can say if the cup even exists. And that's the great question. A cup that kills the owner and a brew that extends life? Take a sip and which legend will win? Oh, okay, I see, I see. That's kind of... Mm, that's kind of cool. So... Yeah, where do we go? Do you have any clues on where this is? Well, if you believe the rumors, then the ghost of its last owner still refuses to let it out of his grasp. Some folks have reported being attacked by that same ghost. Not that I've been able to find them myself. Um, oh, they want me to go up the, the countryside? Oh, okay. If it's already been attacking people, then there might be a bill to take yeah. it out. Oh, okay, cool. Coliseum. It's time for the Coliseum. I want to see this. What are y'all up to? Oh, they're talking about fighting monsters. Not merely a low-life urchin, but a grubby little elder besides. I have no words to waste on your kind. Out of my sight. It seems like we found our pompous Ishkia. I bet that this guy got the deed that we're looking for. But he's not going to give us a second glance. We'll have to think of something to say to catch his attention. Have I seen you before? Oh, you're the candidate who offered up a noble's head at the exhibition. Elder or not, I can... I chose the right answer. Hell yeah. Um, I can respect such sophisticated tactics. Go on then. I will hear you out. But as you can imagine, I will be busy watching the fights. If you have nothing more worthy of my attention, then I can't what be bothered. What's our move? Bring up the deed or try a different top, uh, topic? Such a top... Mm. I'm going to try bringing up the deed. You're as boring as the merchants. Excuse me. Uh. Do I just try it again? What? Do you want to do? What? What's the point of even... Why would you make me even fail that, that conversation then? You would mock these sublime artful fights. I have seen greater wonders. I see. I suppose that you are a candidate, so no doubt that you've been to many dis distant lands, fought strange and skillful opponents. I confess I am intrigued. Might I hear of these adventures? Amazing. We have them on the hook. Have you ever tasted a giant sandworm? Um, ew. Why ever would I want to? It's not like, yeah, I was going to say, what? Stop it. Come back. Come back once you've actually accomplished something worthwhile. If you visit the legendary tower north of the city, 
Wait, what? Interesting. Hail warriors. Let's not. Oh, are Hail. we? Can we not go in? Let's... No. I want to fight. I want to kill something. <laughs> yeah, that's a T here. Yeah. All right, okay. let's go over to. Oh, that's unlocked now. We got all that. Da, da, da. Bah, bah, bah. There's this area here too. Let's go. Oh my god, there's more. They have even more stuff here. Are you joking? Go. Oh my god. How many quests are they giving us right now? This is crazy. Hold on. Yeah. literally there's so many quests here oh my god oh hey now it's the wee man ha 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 you did quite well for yourself at the exhibition didn't you excuse me hey what the hell the way he said that was weird you're not opposed to an elder like will dragging the church through the mud i mean it's not really my place to put walls around people uh pe sorry people because of the tribe status or religion you would never know to look at me, but I actually studied at the Mage Academy, and I'm not open about it, but I can say that I trust the church. Oh, sorry, I can't say that I trust the church. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Who actually trusts the church? Oh, Who would do such a thing? Mm. Right, then. Taking a look around. What's over here? Oh, this child has a quest for us. Oh, hello. Excuse me. Um, please, mister, can you make me your apprentice? Huh? Apprentice? Where's this coming from? Oh, hold on. Sorry, babes. I tried to fight it so hard. <laughs> it tried to hide. So I, I tried to fight it. Oh, God. All right. Apprentice, where is this coming from? You're that candidate from the exorbition, right? Sir, someone needs to teach you proper English. One of my friends saw and started talking about how cool you were. So I want to be like you, mister. Please, let me be your apprentice. No kidding. Oh, so that's why. But we can't exactly take a kid like you with us. If you want this friend of yours to notice, then I'm sure that there's another way, like getting them something that they like. Yay! Oh my god, yay! Oh my god, me too. Hey, that might be good. It's my friend's birthday soon, so a gift would be great. Maybe flowers like from the flower shop? Oh wait, my friend wouldn't want any old flower. I'll go exploring outside of the city and look huh? for a wild flower. Oh, okay, love that. Sure, if you want to get eaten by wild humans, it's way too dangerous for a kid to go wandering out there. We have a gauntlet runner, so how about leaving this one to us? <laughs> if I was gonna say, if it's just for a flower, I mean, like, it's like, whatever. My friend's birthday is August 10th, so please, before then. All right. Ugh. Why not stop by the St. Hermes Church? Oop. Let's you want me to go to the shot. church? What? Wait, oh, hold on. Oh, I don't even have to do anything. We just have to go to the church. And for some reason, they're giving us 18 days to do it. That's crazy. All right, then. Where to? I am kind of curious though. Are they putting more quests around the other cities too? I don't think maybe not. I'll have to check. We'll All check. Right. A, we'll check a bit later. Where to? Unless I can actually see it here. No, I can't see it. Yeah, they don't have anything else. Ah, okay, not bad, not bad. Pardon me. Say, lad. Yes, you young man there. Can you read and write? If you wouldn't mind, I would be grateful if you could help me write a letter. Oh, okay. Yeah. My dear son, it has been three years since you left for Grand Trad. Or wait, maybe two. 
Things have changed quite a bit while you've been away. The dog that you loved since you were a wee boy has finally become a, mo a mother. We've got four new members of our family. And then, wait, hold on. What was I talking about? What happened when my son was gone? Um, four puppies were born. Oh, that's right. The dog that he loved so much gave birth to puppies. Let's return to the letter. Lately, everyone is nattering on about a tournament to decide the next king. It's just, is this woman good? She's like rocking back and forth really hard right now. I never expected an era would come where us common folk could choose. What struck me was that there were beautiful, gr beautiful girls among the candidates. Wait, no, leave that bit out. <laughs> you wrote a lecher, pervert. What struck me was that I had heard that there was a boy younger than you among the candidates, and apparently he's an Elda. Now that I think about it, aren't you, um... No, I should be focusing on the letter. I was thinking I was talking about the tournament. One candidate was young. Oh, that's right. It stood out to me that one of the candidates was younger than my son. As I listened to the stories of these people, I felt like I could understand... I love how we're floating on the sword, by the way. I completely just forgot that. Um, I felt like I could understand how you might have felt when you ran away from home. While you're younger, sorry, while you're young, you should go wherever your heart leads you. But if you ever get tired, then you have a home to return to and your Ma and I will always be waiting. Okay. My savior. Aww. Oh, he paid me for that too. Oh, that's sweet. Thank oh. Okay, apparently we did we did so so well that we got paid twice. That's crazy. Not what I was I was expecting. What on earth are you doing? I can't believe that Joanna was keeping a human as a pet. She wasn't in her right mind. It is utterly nauseating. I would expect that sort of behavior from a pagan, not a sanctuaress. I can't say that I disagree. Who knows what those Mustari are up to? Ooh. Let's see what do we have any other right. stuff here too? Oh hold on, there's something over there. Okay, right. before before we go to the left of the left. Let me take a look over here. Closure. Oh, closure. Wait, can I talk to him? No. Well, let's go. I'm gonna take a nice little look down here. I'm assuming they still need us to talk to people and like get at some get some juicy gossip or something. Oh, dearest, please, our time here is limited, so let's make sure that we go to the Colosseum today. Uh-huh. Cool. Hey, you simply amazing. All right. <clears throat> Stupendous. I'm talking about how apparently hey, Louise is dating Juno right now. Hey. Let's go check out the other thing over here. Oh, what are these ladies doing? They're gabbing. Oh my god. E, oh my god, did you see? Did you see? Lord Milo just looked this way. Have you ever seen such a beautiful face? His presence has bewitched me. I will cherish this precious memory always. Oh god. Ew. Oh, it's him. He's here right now. Ew. Oh, for the love of... Not my, not my fruddy, sorry, not my front bloody step. You can't just go sleeping in front of someone's house. Piss off. Wait, hold on. Oh no, he's um, he's affected by the bad magla too, or whatever. Yeah, you can see it floating around him. Really? No. It's you. So you're the young man who dazzled at the exhibition, aren't you? I enjoyed your unique presentation tremendously your accomplishments were hardly impressive but if polished you may shine as a special favor i will allow you the honor of joining my entourage um i'm actually also yeah. a candidate oh no i'm aware and that is why sooner or later you will grovel before me my point is is that you ought to find a different path while you can his face is disgusting i hate him if you refuse my offer and continue to deny me perhaps you should cease to exist sir i'm gonna fucking spank you like, don't talk to me like that. I'm tired of looking up in the sky and seeing that frowny face. Why did he come all the way out here for? Keeping an eye on the candidates or some such? Well, he sure doesn't look happy with them. Are you talking about the thing? Is he here? I think he's just hovering over there. 
Damn, those bastards think that I'm making this up? I definitely saw it. I know I did. I'm in no mood to be got that kid. My teeth are killing me here. It hurts so damn much. I've I've started seeing tooth monsters. Oh, intriguing. At this rate, I'm going to need my teeth extracted. Almost all of them. If only some kind and generous soul could help me. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, I need a certain item to cure my toothache. And if only some kind fellow would bring it to me, I would give... 15,000 reeve? Oh, can I just give you the money? How about that? Oh, fantastic. I knew that you seemed reliable for the first time that I laid eyes on. Wait, I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. <laughs> oh, that's right. You were a candidate at the exhibition. Well, then that makes this easy. The thing that I need is just a quick jaunt away if you've got a gauntlet runner. What's this item that you're looking for? The toothbrush of hygiene. What? Hygienia? What? Why does he need a toothbrush like that? Just brush your teeth like a normal person. Of course, I will reward you, and you'll have my vote, whatever that's worth. I will wait for you until August 9th. Let's give it uh, a shot. 17 days? Oh my god. Is this like a whole new fucking dungeon? That's where you wanna go. Oh my god. Oh, it's that place too. Village. What? Just can't stand it. I tried to go there myself, but every step just made my teeth hurt. What is wrong? Yeah, are you okay there? Look, I'm I'm just... Looks like I'm not going anywhere. I guess I'll just be waiting here. Damn, that hurts. Bro, what shot. the fuck? Oh my god. Somebody needs to extract his wisdom teeth, bro. I'm gonna have to head to bed, bitch, BB. Um, I gotta be up early for workies. No worries, BB. Thank you for coming up. Thank you for trying to mod today. I appreciate it. I hope you feel better. I hope you feel less tired tomorrow. Um, enjoy your sleepies, and I hope you have good workies tomorrow. Night, BB. Love you. Um, let's see what time it is. It's about 8.54. I think I think we should be good to go for another, I want to say, 10 minutes-ish. And then I'm going to go ahead and take another break. Um, and then we're probably going to go for another two hours after the break at most. Um, and then wind down. I'm going to try to upload um, one of the VODs tonight if I can. Because apparently it's really, an, it's, it's like a bigger one, unfortunately. So um, I'm going to have to get it started a little bit early tonight. Um, where did we want to go? I think we've talked to pretty much everyone that I can think of for now. Uh... Oh, is that the podium down there? Hold on. Where's the podium? All right, then. Oh. Okay, I see, I see, I see. I just want to go double check over here, just in case. Just give me one second. Young man, young man. A young man, young man. No, what to do. Oh, is no, it the guy? No, oh, shit. No, okay, hold on. What now? So I think we've gone, we've gone everywhere, everywhere that we need to. We're going to start doing stuff now. Oh, let me see the King's Rock. That is really pretty, by the way. Holy. So there's a coronation rock in the city, too. Has the gap widened a little bit? Yeah, no worries. Um, I'll be on again same time tomorrow if I can. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I forgot that it's only Wednesday. Which is annoying, by the way. I don't want to work. I don't want to do work anymore. Can I have a teehee? Godot is back in third place. Maybe it's because of the increasing fervor over Sanctism. I was going to say, our, our face is going to show up here at some point. Ooh. Yep. Have a good night, Angel. Improving everybody's lives is my top priority. Corruption and injustice, I will never stand for those. Let's go. Did you just try to put me to bed? Oh, wait. Or oh, did you put yourself to bed? Ayo, don't kill me. You're... You're the one that offered up the Sanctoris. He may have briefly had the spotlight, but a child is nothing in the end. Oh, um, maybe don't mind. A debate, is it? Well, of course, of course. I welcome a fair discussion in the marketplace of ideas. I can do My top priority is to ensure the livelihood of all of this country's citizens. Whatever you desire, I shall do everything possible to make it so. 
Keeping the old port maintained, that is no problem at all. Protecting the minority tribes from prejudice? Well, of course I can do that. Discrimination will not be tolerated. Naturally, the Clamar had worked, sorry, have worked very hard to establish themselves, and I will ensure that they will continue to enjoy key positions within my kingdom. Oh wow, this Jin guy seems to have thought of everything. I can't really put my finger on why, but there is something dodgy about him. Yeah, he's kind of... Mm. Can you define everything possible? What did he say? Yeah, we should just help anyone. I will help anyone. Everyone is deserving of our help, regardless of tribe. Yeah. What? And how are we supposed to do that? You're nothing but a sham. I'm pretty sure they're saying the exact same thing in different ways. Will is rather wet behind the ears, but it makes me want to support him. If anyone is a swindler here, it's Jin. Oh my god, they love me. Damn brat, at this rate, my whole life is on the chopping block. Hell yeah. A win for the Elda, that's what I like. You went over a lot of people, and they got you a little something to show your support. Wait, what? Oh, they gave me money too. Oh my god! Hell yeah. Did we just level up? Oh, fuck yeah. We're so close to getting imagination up to. Let's go. Eloquence. Why, that's... After listening to the concerns of the people, I returned to where everyone else was waiting. How far do we go? 47. This is going to be a battle and a half to get up to the, to the top three or whatever. Oh, God. The dangers of nighttime infiltration. There are more people in Luis's gauntlet runner at night, so you'll have to sneak in during the day. Understandable. Also, we're, oh, we're at the tavern now, so we can, we're can we going to talk to some people in the tavern, and then we're going to go to um this guy over here for the information. Sing me a song. So we meet again. My search for fine music always seems to lead me to you. Might I transform your memories into a heartfelt song? Then... Sure. To hear that. Then I have but one question. Across, sorry, across the whole of your travels, which locale has etched itself into the forefront of your memory? Oh, oh Matira. Hmm. Let... <laughs> what a beautiful melody. As I listened to the performance, I thought about all that I had seen. Nice, nice. I'm just incredulous. Hey, mister. Oh, mom, when's supper? I'm hungry. Is it ready yet? Is it? Is it ready? Is it ready? Oh my god, I want to approach this child. Hush now, child. If you don't be quiet, a goblin will come along and gobble you up. Hold on, I gotta do sussy, sussy cold things. Hold on. All right, we should be good. Hey, y'all. At least it's not COVID. Hopefully. I don't know. It's all exhibition all the time with this slot. The tavern's been chock full of irritating blokes lately. They don't know the first thing about courtesy and that candidate Loveless is so imp impudent. Yeah, Loveless is kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. Young lad, is there something that you need besides food? Um, no, I think I think we're okay. Hey, listen. Oh my god, Hulkenberg, what are you doing here? I miss like having to abide by Luisa's schedule. The soiree cannot come soon enough. But I suppose that one cannot win on an empty stomach. As long as we have the time to eat and prepare, we should. I love it. Hey yo. Want in on this? All right, how much information you got? Whoa, excuse me. <laughs> oh, this is a lot. Wait, hold on. Oh, he has information on... Bridge Juna Devotee? Oh, what the heck? Oh, wait, so they have... Oh, apparently he loves Judah. 
That's a tea. Fancy a bit of info. There's a man named Sergeant Zamp among Luis's subordinates. He's the officer in charge of the charity jury, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to say that. The crew quarters. Naturally, he's a tough customer. I think we saw him earlier. Ah. Oh, Zamp. Oh, that important looking guy that we saw on the, um, the gauntlet runner earlier. What, an acquaintance of yours? Well, then you might know this already, but he is a large man wearing armor who holds strength as justice as his creed. I hear that he was once a competitor at the Colosseum too. He is strong, of course, but not invulnerable. Rumor is, is that he is weak against burn and poison. Do I, do I care enough to give him that? Wait, hold on. I'm sure that paralysis and stun will also work too. Ooh. Gotcha. I mean, we can, we can do it. I can do it, but that's interesting. Maybe we can like brute force him too with like, um, with money, Fancy money attack. Oh, that old fart, or uh, I mean the maintenance chief Saiba. Uh, he's in charge of the starboard corridor. Can't take a joke, so I've never really gotten along with him. He is as strong as you would expect, considering the authority that he's been given, and his magic sorry, his magic that repels attacks is especially impressive. As you can guess, if you try to physically attack him, it'll bounce right back at you. Uh conveniently for us, we don't care because we can use all money attacks, so oopsie. Um, it'll bounce right back at you. The more that you put into it, the more that you'll end up hurting. That said, his barrier doesn't repel magic, but magic is not especially effective either. To win, you will have to find a way to perform physical attacks without having them bounce back at you. I think I might be able to at least have one character learn the Tetra. Is it Tetra Karn or like one of the other moves? I'm sure we can do it. Fancy just between... Here, hold on. Was it this one, the port corridor? Fancy a bit of info. Master Sergeant Glacombe is in charge of the port corridor. Quite frankly, he is an absolute loon. Please don't tell him that I said that, though I value my life. He's a, an intense person in a lot of ways, but the way that he fights in particular is, as I said, quite mad. He will start yelling like a madman and swing his axe all around him. You will have to watch out for it. If I recall correctly, the magic shop sells equipment that protects against that. It might be worth Just checking out. Us. All of the blood rushes to his head, so he will f he will fall for being provoked. If you bring someone to act as a decoy along, I think that you can beat him with mu without much of a hassle. And ideally, you don't have to fight him. But if you do, keep that in mind. So. Interesting. I'm like taking I'm mental notes. Good. We're going to store this away. Um, Cabio is stationed on the bridge, and he is a fervent supporter of Lady Juna, aka a big fan. I have to say that I know how he feels, though. She acts so sweet and has such a lovely voice. Oh, I'm swooning here. I almost think that she was a goddess. We're not paying for that. What is his fighting style? Are you planning to spar with him? Well, he's the only one that Luis has granted the privilege of being the helmsman amongst all of his minions, so you can bet that he is a strong one. Just between us. Having said that, he is weak to electric. So I hear that he had a traumatic experience in a storm once. Rumor has it that when the weather gets rough, he even turns the steering over to his second in command. Pretty solid evidence. Wait. Oh, hold on. Maybe we can go in and fight him when the weather's bad. Maybe that'll help as well. Interesting. Salva. Fancy a bit of info. Salva, you say? He is the guard chief. He got some business with him. He is not someone that you'll have an opportunity to meet with often, and his job is to patrol uh, the Gauntlet Runner on the lookout for intruders. The Chief of Security is no pushover. He is a powerful opponent who blah blah blah. They say that he's got an almighty igniter that can damage any foe. Just between us. I do hear that he is weak to projectiles and lances though, and maybe his reaction time is slow. What with wearing the big helmet. I guess huh. so. Yeah, I was gonna say we can also throw that back at him too. Let's read through these real quickly here. I'm assuming this has like the weaknesses or whatever. Um Cocos Kokakasasata Babala, whatever you pronounce. Kokasados. Um, some might even kill you instantly. Okay, so he has instant death attacks. 
Weak to projectile. All right. Interesting. Cheers. Um, marble bluefin tuna, briny salt. Okay, and they have the mellow milk there too. Interesting. All right, last one. Cheers. Do you know a village called Inundo, a little ways up to the north? Um, they sell rusty weapons and armor, but if you polish them, you might find some rare treasure. Hell's Boiling Bath Bomb? Oh, okay, that's good, that's good. I don't know what they upgrade with that one, but we can sell those later. That's really good. Hey, listen. <laughs> I'm just... All right, I think we have done a good job. Let's go ahead and find where next we want to go first, and then we're going to go ahead and just take, take like oh, a five-minute hey. break. I'll probably just chill here for a minute and just like finish up the rest of my food or something. Um, Let's see. All right, then. Where go? Do they not have a thing right. for... Where to? No more side quests, I'm assuming. All right. Where to? Where to? Wonderful. Okay. Right, Let me go Let's over go. here. We're going to we're going to use the washroom. See if we get any stat boosties. Um and then we're going to jump over to Grand Trad and we're going to go talk to the the church sanctism shop. Cuz apparently they have stuff. If we're lucky and we can actually get like idols day to show up here, we can go ahead and buy some more stuff too. Let's see. Wait, I can't. Oh, hold on. Let me go this way. Got it. Ooh, I have. Uh, I'm curious. I wonder if they will let me go out back on the Gauntlet Runner and we can take a bath there. I wonder. All right then. Let me take a look here. Maybe not now. You're not going to let All me right. go at the back? No. No. I wanted to take a bath. Where to? Let's go. I can't be. A pardon? Close your eyes. What is it? Hey! Uh, come on. Do they not have no one? Oh, no, they do. They do. <gasps> okay, thank God. All right, then. Where to? Let's go! I'm gonna give this child a flower, and then we're gonna go over to, uh... Probably do something to turn in. Let's see. I'm in trouble now. Wait, this is somebody else. What? Damn it! All of my clients are expecting a delivery soon, and these fool horns are hardly an ideal canvas for my outstanding workmanship. Mm -hmm. Hey, what have you? What's got you hollering like that? Oh, I am simply a craftsman who takes pride in my exacting detail and fearless skill. I take monster horns and engrave them, transforming them into beautiful ornaments. But my technique has progressed to the level where these middling horns can't withstand the intricate level of detail that I try to grace them with. So he's basically so good at his job that he breaks his tools. Interesting. Oh, yeah? Well, that's too bad. If only there was a horn that was tough enough to withstand your technique. Oh, but that is the thing. There is a horn worthy of all of my skill. Apparently within the Forsaken Tower, there is a giant called Orgus whose horn surpasses all others. Oh my God, there's like so many, oh, so many new dungeons we can go do. I will do it. I will I will get you your sussy horn. <laughs> oh, can it be? Now that I get a better look at you, it is. You are the young candidate that everyone is talking about. <sighs> what is with these theatrics? It's obvious that he recognized you right away. Whatever, you're going to give us a reward for this, right? Yep, same. Well, of course, of course. My pockets are overflowing with advanced payments from countless patrons of the arts. Mm hmm Like I mentioned, you can find the Orgus within the nest of the monsters known as the Forsaken Please? Tower. Um, there should be one at the greatest catch, too. Oh, okay. You know what? Let's, Let's take him. 
another get... another thing that we have to go talk to. Hey, uh, the right, the informatory. Where was that? Was it the spider sin? No. Uh. Where did where did we go before? What? I'm not gonna lie. I don't, oh, hold on. I think I see it there. Oh, here we go. go. Okay. Sorry. Sometimes it takes me like a hot second to see that shit because it's like there's so many different areas there. <laughs> Sir. Fancy a bit. I need to buy one more thing from you. Want in on this? Hmm. Show me. Oh, it's right past there. Ooh, okay, that looks really cool. I want to do that one last, probably. We'll face danger here. Here's where we are, and right there's a labyrinth. Among them, there are there's a particularly powerful giant called the Orgus. Be careful when it stores up power; its next attack will hurt. Um, let's just say, keep your defenses up. I've heard that if you can remove its buff before its next attack, the rampage will not be so bad. I do technically, I might have a debuff I can use. Fortunately, it seems to be weak against dark magic too, so you would best make sure that you can use some of that. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. Um. So let's see here. Let me take a look at the royal virtues that we have. Um. I feel like maybe. Maybe we could try getting wisdom up or courage. Let me take a look right. here. Is there no one else that we can talk to tonight, too? Oh, wait, hold on. Heisman's up, too. Ooh. Okay, screw that. Now we're going to go talk to Heisman. Apologies. I have no one else to rely on. Heisman comes to mind. Maybe I should go and talk with him. Okay, we're going to go talk to him. And then after we finish his thing today, we're going to go ahead and take a break. Actually, sorry, hold on. Hold on, never mind. I thought it was gonna force me to talk to him. Well, let's take a break now, and then when we jump back in, we'll still have about two hours left before probably gonna probably wind down for the night. Um, we've been going for about six hours now, so we should be good to, good to go for at least another two. All right. Um, oh, let's jump back in. Yes. Time to go spend time time with Heisberg. And this place is just the Issa Martira. The village is hidden, so I would prefer a quiet and careful approach by carriage. I shall guide us. In days gone by. Hasn't changed a bit. Yep, this is my hometown. Oh my god, we're actually at his hometown. This is cute. Tadari! Tadari, it's me, Heisme. I have returned, and I have something to discuss. I have known Tadari for a long time, you see. He is the leader of the village. Just. Although, um, I should warn you that you will not be welcomed here. You might feel some hostility in the air. Hmm? How come? Why, Why is that? Uh... Well, you and I are, are, are outsiders, and we do not belong to the village and its people are very wary indeed of anyone from beyond it. Heisman, is that you? You're looking gray in the ears, my friend. <laughs> As if the ears were any kinder to you, Tadari. I, have, I had heard that you had left the Royal Knights, but it is good to see you again. Who is this? Is... This is Will, a traveling companion of mine. He is standing in the tournament for the throne. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Wait, is that why you've come back to the village? Hmm? I like how you just assume that no. immediately. Oh, uh, no, I came to see the cemetery. I'm trying to find a place where my son can rest. Oh, your boy's gone ahead then. Yes, he passed away before I could bring him here. At the very least, I thought I might let him rest somewhere with a view of the village. He loved running with the wind in his face, and surely I thought he would like the hill. I know it is not something that the villagers would easily accept, but... Yes. Oh my god, I... F oh, I feel so bad for him. No! It hurts. It hurts my soul. Stop. I see. Well, it sounds like a wonderful idea to me. Hmm. 
but you know that the cemetery is sacred to the village. I fear that you might be right. I am not certain how they will respond. Would you allow me to take the urn? I imagine that seeing it will prompt their cordiality, and not if not sympathy. Please. Okay, thank you. Here. I always used to train here when I was young. Look closely, and you will see the street is riddled with claw marks. I know because it was my claws that left them. It brings back memories. Of course, having shaken the trees, I'd get a swarm of bugs coming down on my head. Oh no. A cry to be at. No, he's adorable. <laughs> he's cute. So even you were a cute kid once. Are you having trouble, uh, trouble imagining it? Bro, they're so cute. The fat race is so cute. I love it. Hmm. The villagers are here. They watch us from the shadows. If you focus and listen, you will hear them too. <laughs> he didn't leave voluntarily. He was stripped of his knighthood, wasn't he? And now he wants his child buried here? The boy wasn't even born in the village. Oh. Do you hear? I can't believe what they're saying. How horrible. Well. Well, it's exactly within my expectations, then. If they decline, then let's withdraw without a fuss. Heisman. I have explained the situation to the younger villagers, and it seemed like nobody had any problems with giving your son a place here. Indeed, thank you. Master Tadari. The urn. The urn of bones. It's gone. <gasps> Excuse me? What is the meaning of this? A fallen knight brings shame to the village. I can hear a voice from somewhere. <laughs> Tadari was just too afraid to refuse him, that's all. Excuse me? I'm gonna fucking punch one of these bats, bro. Hey. What is the meaning of this? <sighs> this is the only welcome an outsider can expect. Yeah, but bitch, I don't give a fuck. They took your son's bones, bro. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Heisme. I cannot excuse the villagers' behavior. This village hasn't changed a bit. Still rejecting outsiders, still shutting themselves away. Maybe I should have expected this. I left this place behind, and I had become an outcast. Maybe losing my son again is what I deserve. Ex Sir, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose my mind right now. So you stood for me. You spoke in anger on my behalf, and, and that is my sole salvation. I can feel Heisme's profound sorrow and strong trust. This is how I get <laughs> this is how I get the bond up. Are My you thanks. kidding me? What are you doing? What? This is not okay. Still, shall I search the village entire? No no sorry, no stone unturned. Doubtless that intrusion would only provoke further offense, but I haven't time to waste. I apologize. You have my sincerest apologies. I shall take responsibility and find the urn. It is my duty as chief. Now as one who would see justice done. There is an unease in the village. For today, I think it is best that you leave. Bro, are you fucking crazy? Very well. Bro, they just, they just stole his son's ashes, bro. These people are crazy. Absolutely. Highs me to return to the city in silence. Yeah, no, no fucking way. Oh my god. Damn, I got Meg from that. Nice. On, and the age of a new <laughs> what the hell was era. that? Oh, oh my god. This game is literally stressing me the fuck out right now. Luis's. The day of the soiree is approaching. We need to secure our, inf our infiltration route to Luis's quarters before then. We must reclaim the formula without raising suspicion, and then at long last, we will finally have the means to break the prince's Let's curse. The prince's fate is in our hands. This plan is risky, but we have to see it through. There are 19 days until the soiree. Bah, 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 bah. That's plenty of time. Let me see what we can do. We are in quite the predicament. I'm not going to lie. We have to... <laughs> We have to go talk to him because if we don't, well, oh, I know I'm getting the hiccups. If we don't, <laughs> sir, bro, hold on. Wonderful. 
I literally, I hate hiccups, bro. They're so fucking awful. All right, then. Go. Let me go ahead and turn this one in, and then I'm going to go take a look at how many days left we have for the other stuff, yeah. too. Actually, I can take a look at that now. now. Hold on, hold on. What now? Um, let's take a look at questies. Okay, so we have seven days left. Oh, dead son? Okay, toss him into the hillside and tell them tell them that if they want to get rid of it, fight him or whatever. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, technically they he could have he could have snuck into the village and like, I don't know, just like dumped the ashes or something, or buried them, and then like ran away or something. I don't know. That's true. But it's it's one of those things where like I I'm of the opinion that I think that there's something really weird going on. Um, because they were hinting at um something earlier where apparently people are being affected by the maglet in the air and it's making them really um it's giving them anxiety so all this like do you see all this like weird crystal fragments that are floating in the air um apparently people are becoming more anxious and they're giving off um they're giving off magla as well so it's like this weird cycle of like people get anxiety it makes this magla appear and i'm assuming that it's causing people to get anxious as well because there's just so much of it. It's fucking weird. But I think that what happened in the village was probably everyone in the village is being affected by Magla or something. So I'm not entirely blaming them, but they are racist. Everyone in this game is racist, by the way. Just a heads up, guys. We love that. I don't know. Wait, hold on there, kid. You really think that he should confess your friend in your place? Ew. What if your friend falls in love with him instead? By what? Megler? No, it's called Magla, like M-A-G-L-A or something. Um, so essentially what it is is that like the game, uh, it's weird. The game takes place in like this weird fantasy version of the real world or something where the real world is quote unquote fantasy and this is reality or something. Um, so basically what they're, what they've said though is that in this world, apparently all of all living creatures, pretty much everything in this world, gives off this energy called Magla. And to my knowledge, from what they've said, um, Magla is actually a byproduct of the people's emotions and stuff, specifically anxiety or something. It, it's it's a little bit weird. Um, I could not exactly be correct there, but it's one of those things where like the more people get anxiety, the more uh, Magla that will like be produced out of their bodies. And conveniently for everybody, there are machines in the center of towns that are harvesting that that energy that is being exuded from people. So I wouldn't be surprised if somebody is out here purposely trying to make everybody anxious or something, or like do sh do like fucked up shit, trying to get them to like harvest more energy or something. But that just me. I hear embarrassing me. Oh my god. Yeah. This child is trying to tell me to go and confess to his friend from him. Anxiety Mancer. Exactly. Be destroy your enemies with anxiety. All right. Um, sounds just like the real world. Ooh. Wow. 46. 45. Ooh. Okay. Not bad. Um, What did we All have right. to do? I think we had to, to go to Martira. Let's go. Yeah. I'm gonna go talk to Barden. Um, if we can, get, if we can just get Barden to like rank three or something, so I think we should be good. A necromancer. Use your anxiety. Yeah, pretty much. I can't believe what? Tis you. How fare ye in your travels? For you to be in Martira of all places. Oh, but um, I shouldn't pry. I'm sure that you've got some urgent business or another, and I shan't make you tardy for it. Have you a moment? There is a matter I would like to discuss with you. Thank you. Many thanks to ye for being so kind. Meself, I just seem to get lost thinking about it. I'm gonna help this poor old man. Oh my god, he's taking me out for a drink right now. Oh my god, daddy. The truth is. I wanted to consult with ye on all of this blether about picking a new ruler for the town. Of course, ruler is not quite the word. Wouldn't really own land like a lord or anything, but still, it is a right important position. We are establishing a town governor, which is distinct from a lord, and I think that that, what, that is what is best for this town. 
For the most part, the townspeople agree on self-governance, as there's quite a lot of distrust of power after what happened with Lady Joanna. Oh my god. It may seem like the townspeople are turning to extreme courses of action. Oh! But the new oh my lord man, did allow chat, us Sponge our self-government. Also, welcome in, sexy. How are you? Spill your tea. It's been 84 years. I know you're busy working and playing your games, babe. Hmm. What have you been up to? Which is all well and good, but here's the rub. I think that the fellow best suited for the position is this one clergyman. He's a fine man, and he likes the idea. <sighs> But darn it all, now everyone is clamoring for me to be the governor. Go for it, bro. You're very popular. <laughs> You're just that popular, Barton. Nay. And I am pleased to hear it, but just because of that, I... Sorry, just because I am the captain of the guard. Still, no, it's because he's fucking massive. He probably has a huge fucking schlong. Can we just be honest? I've been put on a pedestal as some noble knight who put everything to right. It's Dretch. I am no hero. It was all thanks to the lot of ye. But I could say that all day and they would still want me as a governor. Everyone wants to feel safe, and they want to know that there is someone nearby that they can rely on. I sympathize with that, but I am no ruler. Oh, he's like a samurai sword or something. That's cool. Got to say I... Do I have what it takes to lead them? Hmm. I would say everything hey. is a challenge. Yeah, just, just, just YOLO. If you want to do it, do it. You'll just figure it out. Everything worth doing is always a challenge. Wait, what? Is it always? Hmm, I'm making a, a lot of mad magla money here, bro. This is nice. I do remember hearing that the closer you get to your breaking point, the greater you become. If that is the case, then we can't become better men without a challenge, can we? Thank you, friend. Talking with you has helped me come to a decision. For myself. I will represent the townspeople. Yes, I will become governor and restore the whole place. I'm not sure if I am the man for the job, but I will give it everything that I've got for the good of the town. Considering my lack of experience, I would be grateful if you kept advising me. Hell yeah. Maybe we could like discuss this more privately, you know, somewhere a little more with like some jazz music or something. Maybe some candlelight. Maybe not this candle, you know what I mean? But like, you know, like maybe there's like a nice little inn somewhere we can go stay at, you know? I can sense Barton's extraordinary determination and faith in me. Alright, we need one more. One more level, please. And then we can leave him alone. Barton, you finally decide what to do yet? I know that you care deeply, but we're all sick of waiting. Don't make me decide I need to lead you. We'll rest easy with you in charge. Those sandworms haven't been a right pain, but you seem like a take charge kind of man. Don't you worry. Tis true. A sandworm attack would devastate Martira. I will work up some countermeasures. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Don't work too hard now, big man. Ooh. Ooh. I like the sound of this. Well. Oh, but go ahead and remove childcare from your job skills, will you? They hated it when you chased them around during hide and seek. My wee ones were bawling and screaming something awful, and they still cry from the memory of it. Oh my god, what? Whoa. But th that's how you play Hunter and Prey. If they screamed, then it was just proof that we were playing it right. Well, anyway, I swear to you, I have determined to protect this town. My thanks. Thanks for your time today. I'll have to do a great deal of work to even begin paying you back, so do stop by again. I love this music, by the way. I parted ways with Barden and returned to the group. Oh, it's thundering apparently here. Hmm. All right. All right then. I'm just... Wait, there's a fairy over there. Oh, what? Well, well. Are you here to listen to the music too? It kind of puts the mind at ease, does it not? Yeah. That's true. Maybe it's because I've been so tense lately, but the music is really soothing right now. Oh, wow. I didn't expect another fairy to see where I was coming from. The other fairies around here have kind of lost the plot, so it's nice to meet someone I can actually hold a conversation Whoa. with. Oh, really? Well, back at the Hidden Village, everyone seemed to get along pretty well. <laughs> Is that so? Well, you said you were tired, so I won't keep blabbing at you. They play music a lot here, so come and rest your weary soul anytime. Just like that they were gone. What the hell was that? Just... There was just a random fairy there? Okay. 
Um, is there anyone we can talk to at night today? No. Okay. All right. Then. This is a good chance to go and let's see. Maybe do wisdom. I think. Right. Yeah. Let me do. Let me do like wisdom, which was the magnifying glass. All right then. Where are you? I don't see it. Hold on. Actually, let me actually um let me run over oh. here first because they have the um uh the board. What what do yeah. they call it? The hunt board. And then we can go. I didn't see a magnifying glass though. Was that just me? That was weird. All right then. Hey you. I love it. What is it you need? Oh wait, this is the magic shop. Is this not the board? What? Get out of here, bro. Do I already have all of these? Um, something and something, something. I don't like that. Hold on. What? How are they selling four of these? That makes no sense. Malice screen. Rent days. Let me get one of these. Yeah. No, I didn't mean to put that on. Nor. I think what I'll do, I'll come, I'll come back after when it's like nighttime on Idols Day or, or whatever, and I'll, I'll buy some more stuff here because they have a lot of good items there that we can buy for like elemental attack. Yeah. Um, let me just double check. I want to put that back on. Sir, I didn't want to put that on you, bro. Where is that? Where's your thing, sir? Okay, here we go. I love it. Our man, our boy's OP. If we give him two turns in a row, he's gonna do big damage. Um, so right. I didn't actually see. Was it over here? I don't think so. No. Guys, where's the hunt board? What is this? Oh, is it over there? Let me go to the mag. Let's go. Young man, young man. Ooh. What is that? Welcome. <laughs> we got a bonus some money now too. Is there only one more? Um, I need to slay the Thatalich in the Tomb of Lament, north of Bryle, uh, Brylehaven. The informant at the tavern in Anglers Inn Square in Brylehaven should have more details. I... Alright, I see, I see, I see, I see. Alright. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do, um, let's do it. We're gonna pick whatever we can that has a closer deadline. We're probably gonna end up going to Grand Trad. Only one more. The bars, the Bart says to the dragon, asking to go for another round. Are, are we talking like another round of the sussiness? Is that what we're talking about? What just happened? Oh, apparently there's the cup there too. All right then, let's go. Oh my god, ew! It's a D and D bard. Why are you trying to? Why are you trying to go round with a dragon bones? What are you furry? Ew! Disgusting, bro. The tomb of lament. The tomb of lament. A. Eh? Well, of course I can tell you about that. The bounty's called a fat lich. It's a fat lich. Um, there's a Kaimenza in there. It's not that we're just fighting two enemies at once that's a problem. When the commences around, the Fatalicus attacks get stronger. It will use powerful dark magic. Um. Oh. The Fatalic is weak against light. It couldn't hurt to keep no it handy. Kidding. Interesting. I'm sorry, what? Go two rows. What? 
They have a Coop Taurus over there too. Are you kidding me? All right, what? Disgusting. Where, girl, where is the magnifying glass? Am I blind? I don't see it. Why is there no magnifying glass here? Excuse me? Okay, that's rude. All right. All right. Well, we're apparently, two. apparently we're going. All right. Then. We're, we're going to go this way. Let's go. I'm going to go sit on the bench over here. If you can, ah. Oh, um, fun fact, by the way, Bones. Um, I actually played as my first major playthrough for um baldur's gate 3 i actually played as a bard and bard is kind of disgusting especially like late game too once they start getting like their um their like final like two or three levels i think yeah let's go i'm gonna sit on this bench and people watch even though i hate that shit. this is main street weird that it leads to the grand cathedral and not the palace this goes to show how much the city re revolves around Sanctism and Sanctifex Warden. I can't help but wonder how the king felt about all of that, as well as the prince. Yeah, I think it's wrong. I don't like it myself. Makes you uncomfortable, huh? Well, I mean, I get having a healthy respect for faith, but... I also don't think that faith should be used as a political weapon. But it was, and now the city is in chaos. Right. boop boop Ayo... <laughs> Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. That reminds me. No. Oh, okay. This is the one that we want to do. Assuming that we can, and that we can still go talk with Barden, though, we're gonna do that first. Did you know? Boy, that. Let me take a look here. I think they're good. Maria, my love. What do you have for your thing here? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I might. Mm, I think. I think we might actually go to her, um, because she's gonna get her thing soon. Two more. Two more chats with her, and we're gonna end up getting like really good XP experience boosts from her. So let me actually. Let me go talk to her. I think we still have time before we have to, uh, before we have to do the mausoleum. We should be okay. Mister, Mister. Oh, here's your drawing, ma'am. I told Maria about all the memories that I made there. Oh, I see. So there's really a place like that outside of Grand Trad? Thank you. Thank you, mister. I'll ask Miss Fabian if we can hang them up on the inn's walls. If I look at the picture, I will stop feeling lonely. Let's go. Aha. Oh, a present, you say? And no cheap trinket either, but one that requires my assistance to create? <laughs> we need the best, so I came to you. <laughs> Color me intrigued. Well, you've piqued my interest, so I must oblige. Hey. Do you really mean it? This design, I believe it is your work, is it not, young miss? I am thus inspired. Such lively line work and vibrant colors, a truly innovative schematic. Genius. My girl, you are quite the budding artisan, are you not? This sign is sure to brighten up even the gloomiest avenues and grayest boulevards. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, yes, I know. I've got a fine cut of wood around here that was destined for this purpose. It would I should be crafted in a way that repels both rain and ravenous bugs alike, yes? What is she making? Is she making like a, a Amazing. plane or something? Oh, wow, Mr. Nurse is really helping us. I can't believe it. I'm sure it's going to turn out great. Yeah. Definitely. Now that Mr. Nurse is helping, I hope that it makes Miss Fabian happy. Oh, what the f Wait, what? What is she making? Uh... I didn't ask her before we started making it. I hope it won't be a bother. Oh, oh young lady. <laughs> the sign is now ready to astound the people of the city. It should be installed at the optimal angle, so I will need to handle that myself certainly to the honeybee. Let's go. 
It's a tiki. He said to the honeybee. We're going there, apparently. I wed that Wong. Now then. Oh, I remember. She wanted to, like, make a big flowery sign or something. I'm not going to lie. If they put flowers everywhere wow. here all around um, the inn, it would look so pretty. <laughs> oh, wow. It's so sparkly. An astute observation, little miss, but there's more to this work than look good looks. It is built to last as well. I have outdone myself once again, and as as I am sure that you will agree. Maria, Maria have you returned home? Oh my gosh, she's gonna fucking see it. Let's go. Um, you know. Oh, um, look, Miss Fabienne, I asked Nur Mr. Nurse to make this for you. Uh... You said that the last sign was too old, so do you like the one that we made instead? Right. Maria de designed it herself. Mm -hmm. Oh, Maria, you... You did this for me? Thank you. Of course, I absolutely adore it. Oh, how good. Oh, I'm so wonderful. glad. It is a truly wonderful sign, and so well built, too. It's the perfect way for the inn to greet new guests. <laughs> just, just look at all of these smiling faces. If he could see you now, why, he might even shed a tear. Huh? Oh my god, stop. Oh no, Miss Fabian, are you crying? <laughs> Oh, pay it no mind, dear. The sign is so bright, my, my eyes are just adjusting. You all. Now then, how about a feast? On the house, of course, to you, uh, to thank you for all of this. You will come in and eat, won't you? Oh. Stop it, you're gonna make me hungry again. Well, of course, of course, it would be quite rude to turn down a free drink, would it not? Bro, this man is literally fucking an alcoholic, bro. I, I cannot. Oh, how good. Oh, I'm so glad. Mission complete. <laughs> Mission make sure that everyone is okay was a huge success. Yeah. Yeah, our sign made sure that Miss Fabienne is okay, right? Mm. She said that she liked it, but she was crying. Do people cry when they're also happy? You're right. Miss Fabienne really was happy, huh? <laughs> Am I just like Papa now? Um, sure. <sighs> well, of course, you did a great job. Oh, Damn, we're hitting. We're nailing all of these answers. Let's go. Do you think that makes Papa happy too? Um, you know. You know, when you give me pictures of your journey, I'm always really surprised. I've never seen anywhere else except for this place in the sky. But your pictures always teach me about so many places on the outside. It makes me really happy and excited to look at them. I want to take her on the gauntlet runner, bro. <laughs> I want to show her all these places. I want everybody else to have fun too. And I want to give that feeling to a lot of people. There are so many great people around here that are always crying or getting upset. Everyone is sad and in trouble lonely, or in trouble and lonely. Both grown-ups and kids, everyone is suffering just like I was. But I'm okay now, so I want to make things okay for everyone else too. I can sense Maria's kind determination and the strong trust that she has placed in me. Rank six? Mmm. Tasty. She's actually she's probably gonna she's probably gonna be the first one that we finish. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. I. I want to make sure that that boy is feeling okay too. Maria. Maria, could you come here and help me serve the food? <laughs> oh, let's go! I can't wait to eat. After sharing a delicious meal with Maria and the others, I went back with Nurse, who was in a chipper mood. Well done. Exemplary work, ex exemplary work, as always, you guys. And now we have to go... All right, then. I think we have to go do her again before we do the next dungeon, if it'll allow it. Um, but we'll see. All right, then. Let's take a look. Is there anywhere else that we can go? Perhaps. Oh, is it Idol's Day right now? Oh, oh my god. Right, yes. This is perfect. Okay, hold on. Go ahead. I'm going to go to the magic shop, and then we're going to head over to uh, buy items, and what is it you need? <coughs> there's probably, uh, probably, I think, rare weapons and, I believe, armor we can get as well. Let me get some more of these. Hold on. Mm, I think 20, 20 should be okay for now. Um, do I actually need any more of that stuff too? Let me get that one.
at least we have two of everything. I can rest easy knowing that. Um, let's go ahead and go right, to and go to the top here and make our way down. Let's Let me go. actually um let's go take a shit. Let's go take a, a big dumpy. See if we can get our luck up here. All right. Yeah. Oh, did we actually? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> yes. That is literally the best mechanic in the whole game is literally taking a dump. Got it. Nice, nice. Go in here and sneak some foodies here too. All right then. All right, let's see what other things were on discount here. So we looked at that one. I went to the other shop too. Not really anything super crazy that I cared about, but I'm going to take one more look. They might sell more ingredients as well. Yeah. Oh, all he has is medicinal herbs. Oh, I'm so sorry, babe. It seems as though is there, there's some secret to this store. Do I just need to keep, do I just need to keep buying the stuff? Hey. Let's let's do it again. Wait. Oh, do I can't find it. Oh man. Hey. Whatever. Whatever, bro. Actually, no, hold on. I think that they mentioned. Let me actually take a look at the thing. Do they have Oh god, where's it? Oh, where is that? Is it in the is it in the item note? Um Village Trading. See, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know. Let me try this one. Cheers. No, that's a Nundo. Let me try this one. Cheers. I literally can't tell. Congrats on seven hours. Thank you, Bones. We should be good to go for at least one more hour. Um, I want to at least go through like one or two dungeons. It depends on how how hard we end up going. Um, let me take a look. I guess we're gonna leave that guy alone. Is there anything else there, too? Let's go. Let me go ahead and take a look at all these uh, these item shops here. We have like so much money at this point, guys. Like it doesn't even matter. We can do whatever we want. Oh, there's another fairy here. What the hell? Wait, what's he saying? I already told you, no more handouts. I've got a business to run here. But why not? It's not like giving one away for free is going to kill you. Keeping all of those yummy looking things to yourself just isn't fair. You said the exact same thing last time and I've already given you plenty. Now shoot, I won't be bullied into giving you a single thing more. Cheapskate jerk stupid face. Oh my god. Oh, all right. I swear there's just no understanding fairies. I mean, if, if people think that all fairies are like that, then I might be in trouble. That's crazy. More racism. That's wild. What do you have, sir? You have a writer's anklet. Ooh, okay. What's that do? Wait, every every day no hold on well then every day of the week he has a new accessory to buy what Can we talk? that's kind of cool i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna buy two of them all right is it actually worth it though did i did i accidentally buy garbage <laughs> oopsie whoopsie let me take a look 
where did where did the thing go? A rider's anklet. Oh my god, agility plus nine. Okay, that's kind of hot. I like that. That's kind of good. Let's go ahead and uh go to the weapon shop. Hey. I mean the armor Thanks. shop. We got a max a million armor. Ooh, oh my, oh my god. A healing hover. Okay, also very good. Go check out the weapon shop too. Very good. Very, very nice indeed. Okay. This is a Oh, I can also appraise something too. Briny thread. It wasn't actually very good. Um guillotine blade. Increases damage against giant type monsters. Okay, I like that. I like that. Fishing Harpoon. Automatically increases attack at the start of combat. Also very good. Fortune, Fortune's Bludgeon. Restore MP upon defeating an enemy during a squad battle. Ooh. Also very strong. I think there's only one more one more shop and then we're good to go. Let me take a look here. What was right. that? Uh oh. Maybe it's the item shop. I think this is what it is. Life-saving medicine. How much is that? Ooh. Great berry dust. Ooh. Wow. Okay, we have done good. I'm very right. happy. Um, let me let me All take right. a look. There's apparently is that gambling, sir? I see gambling over there too. There's just so much shit you can do in this game. It's crazy. What is this? Okay, before we do that, we let me take a look at this guy. Show me the king's face. Show it to me. I beg your pardon. You're the Elda everyone has been whispering about, aren't you? I enjoyed the performance that you gave at the exhibition of the Brave. Stop, you've violated the law. Appar apparently, they can just gamble out in the open. It's crazy. Wish it were me. It was quite the gamble to offer a Sanctorus as your head. It took guts and probably no small amount of skill. It seems to me that you've got a gift for making your own luck and swinging the odds in your favor. Take it from a gambler. <laughs> Uh, sure. Did I upset your fairy friend? Can't have that. How about you decide after I've explained, though? Okay. Wait, what? Huh? Well then. Wait, what rank do you think that you can reach by August thirteenth? Um, I, I'm actually not sure, 20 to 11, maybe, I literally, I don't know, oh god, I don't know, Check the results in 18 days, and don't forget that you've got to come back here to collect your money. What? Interesting. So, all right. That's a weird way to gamble, though. How am I supposed to know? All right then. Um, what do we want to do? Uh, we have elegance of three. We have tolerance of three. I'm down for imagination or courage. Let me right. take a look here. Is that one imagination? Wait, is that fucking wisdom over there? Sir, Let's go. bro, this whole time... Listen. Listen. This whole time I was looking for imagine or for fucking wisdom and it was literally just right there. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. The door is unlocked. I bet that we could climb up from the inside. 
Don't you think that the view would be incredible from up there? If you gaze out at the people below and the ocean beyond, who knows what we'll discover? Maybe we'll see a kraken. That'd be hot. Oh, we made it. And what a view it is. Ryle Haven is so unusual, isn't it? And I don't mean just like the open-minded culture. Those floating water spheres really making impression. The seawater is not frozen up there, and it's not like it's in some kind of transparent uh, container either. Apparently, it has to do with the magla crystals on the sea floor. And if you get too close, they can pull or push you in random directions. That's kind of disturbing. I would like to go outside. What? Um, uh, sure. Yeah, you bet I want to go inside one of them. Hell yeah. Floating around in one of those things does seem like it would be pretty nice. Yeah, until it tears you to shreds. Maybe. Oh, but I suppose that you would still need to breathe, huh? And if you were stuck in there, hmm. All right. Why did we even humor that thought? That was kind of weird. Oh, we're so close. I can taste it, bro. I can taste the, uh, the level up. It's very pretty though. I Time love, I love like the way that they did the, the um, the new king draws nearer. like the city itself is like whatever, but like the way they did the environment around it is like super cool. Those floating water bubbles are sick. They're sick, bruh. That makes oh, all right. Let's see. Oh, there it is. There's the thing we've been waiting for. <sighs> all right, we're going to go, we're going to go mess this boyo up. And then the next day, if they will allow us to talk to Maria, we're going to go talk to her. But if not, we're going to do a dungeon, probably mausoleum, because we don't have much time left for that one. Um, and let me double check to make sure we're not getting fucked here. You know, we have five days left. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we have time. We have time. I'm ready, sir. Are we making the rounds? My apologies. Ah, yes, make yourself comfortable. Let's see, I have asked for some refreshments, but that will take some time. It is a bit heaving at the moment. This place is at the city government's administrator's office, but it is a bit too luxurious for the likes of me, isn't it? I'm not used to that. Oh, right. Well, sorry for all of the noise outside. We're trying out some things to build and strengthen town security, you see. Don't you worry. That whole mess with Lady Joanna was a, night a right nightmare. I won't chance the faintest whiff of that kind of thing happening again. Yeah. I wish you all of the success in that. Thank you. Thank you. I don't aim on letting tragedy repeat itself. I will never, I listen, I will never get over how this man, like at the end of that whole thing, walked out and was like, damn, that's crazy. Like he just had no idea that everyone was like working behind his back. <laughs> like it was crazy. Too many good folk here have lost loved ones. Just got home from work. You gonna lurk you? Yeah, no worry, no worry, Coco. Enjoy your lurkies. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for letting me know you're here. And also, it's like super late too. I completely understand. Enjoy your time, um, relaxing. And you're, I promise you won't be spoiled on any on anything. All of the story stuff has happened. We're doing like all the optional side stuff right now. Good to say I. Now that I'm a governor, it falls to me to take care of anyone who is disturbing that peace. But I'm sorry now. I didn't mean to start rambling about all of these serious matters. What kind of host lays his burdens on his guests? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, sounds like my father, so literally how that works. I'll have some real eats whipped up for you. We must fill your belly and celebrate the newly secure town. Oh my god, he's fucking massive. Why is he so big? Thanks to you, all of the wee ones are playing outside again, blessing us all with those bonny voices of theirs. I never took a liking to being called a governor, and I still don't. The only thing that I care about is protecting those wee ones and all of this town's people. You really care about kids, don't you? <laughs> uh, sure, I suppose. They're cute little things, after all. It was so long ago. And you know something? I actually once had a wife and child myself. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, my God, no. It was back when monsters were tearing up Matera from top to bottom. The town was in shambles, and a hunting team was formed to destroy the monster nests. <sighs> the mission was a long one, and what was I supposed to do? Just go home? I was captain, for goodness sake. So I stayed, and when I finally came home, no one was there. My family, I guess they they just got sick of waiting for me. They just left. I never knew just how cold that house could be until they were gone. Oh, I thought they fucking died. I thought they got murdered or something. And then came the incident with Lady Joanna, and so many wee ones started going missing, and I just didn't know what to do. I was useless. 
First I lost my own child, and then I couldn't protect any of the others. I wish that I could be the one to disappear instead of them. No, no. But you can protect them now, can't you? Bye. You're right. Moping won't change uh, the past, and I can do much more now than I could back then. Leave it in my hands. I won't let the wee ones ever live in fear again. Why does he call? He keeps calling them that. It's so weird. That's my oath as a governor. The wee ones. Gotta protect the wee ones, bruh. I consider us comrades, you know, seeing as you are aiming for the throne. We both strive for a better world. I can't keep the truth from Barden when he shows much, such sincere trust in me. I explained to him that I entered not to take the throne, but to raise someone else who could forge a better future for our country. What? Wait, what? First the scheme with Heisman, and now this? You play a long game, the lot of you. But thank you. You could have easily stayed silent about it, yet you have confided in me because you trust me, yes? Then I shall do the same. I will support you in any who envisions the same future as you do. God bless him. I remember when we first met him, I thought that he was gonna, he was gonna end up betraying us or something, but it turned out to be everyone else except for him. God bless. So happy for him. I can feel Barden's resolve as a governor and his deep faith in me. He. The Honorable Guardsman Barden, Keeper and Heritor of the Commander's Virtues. No. Through thy shared a bond, blah, 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 blah. I think we're getting another one. A Sniper? Or no, I sorry, not the Sniper. That's that's Nurus, what am I talking about? We're getting General, and I can get this shit pumped up hard as fuck right now. So not only are we getting the General, I think that we're also going to be able to take a step forward um, with Moray as well. But I'll tell ye, the children find me right frightening. They get scared if I say hello. Just the other day, I smiled at a proper newborn who started crying like he was on fire. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, uh oh. I think we need to give him like a, a, a what is it called? Um, A paper bag mask or something. And to think that one of my governor duties is to be well friendly with the townsfolk. But you needn't worry. I will protect the town that you worked so hard to save. That's that. It was a nice thing to talk about the town with you today. I hope that we can do it again, and I will pray for your safety. Damn that Barden. It's disgusting watching him play hero. What? He's a bloody roussant, fit for guarding the town and not else. Somebody, sorry, someone like him governing is beyond the pale? It should have been me continuing to guide us this, as the rightful leader. Yet somehow the masses are cheering for Barden. Aye. But I have a plan to deal with it. Let us discuss the details inside. Excuse me? What is this sussiness? No, why? I would have followed them, bro. You gotta nip that shit in the bud. I would not let that shit go down. <sighs> Alright, we're back at Brylehaven. Um, right. what do... Can I talk to anyone tonight, too? Apparently not. If I'm lucky, I can hopefully get um, the sniper with Nurse at, at some point, too. But um, let me go ahead All and right. we're going to go to more. Where is he? Where's my boy? Sir. Am I blind? Where is this man? Actually, let me let me take a let me take a ship before we go. Right. Got it. Got it. Meow, 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 meow. Oh. We got some red grass. Ooh, very good. All right, then. All right, where where can we find this man? I don't see him there. I think he's over there. I think I see him. He's hiding on the left side. I think because I didn't actually talk to him, maybe the game just assumed that I can't actually go through. Okay, hold on. Yeah, whip out that book, boy. Would you look at this? 
I can sense the power of a new archetype. Oh, okay. Um, let's go Please ahead and do some studying. Um, what do we want? We want there's a there's one called the faker. Possesses many skills that lower opponent stats. I called that earlier, by the way. I knew. I knew it was gonna be a debuff class for sure. See he also thank you, Bones, for giving um Coco a shout out. I really appreciate it. Um, everyone, please go and check out Coco Pup. He is honestly super, super awesome. Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I probably wouldn't have met a lot of you without Coco Pup uh, as well. So if you guys are not already following him, please go follow him. He's super awesome. Um, I think he loves to play horror games, too. He likes likes to play a lot of, a lot of other games, too. Um, and I don't remember. I think he's playing Silent Hill 2 right now. So just in case, if you guys are into horror stuff, go and check him out. I just made myself a TikTok to attach to my Twitch. Oh, wait. Um, are you like talking about like streaming it on your TikTok or something? How does that work? I know that some people like using Restream, Restream they'll, they'll like still stream to like every single platform, but I don't know what that is. I see. Fascinating. This, all right. Is it only 25 minutes? Oh my God, bruh. Easy clap. I'm counting, of course. If it's not that, then what? What is it, Bones? What could it be? If thou art prepared to embrace the unknown and sow chaos in thy opponent's hearts, then I shall bestow upon thee our soul, the soul of the Faker. Really? So this is the power of the Faker, a fascinating power that befuddles enemies. Well, there's a lot to test out. I may even have fun. Ooh. I don't yeah. know. Oh, and it does it use daggers too? That's cool. I was just gonna put some extra content on TikTok. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say for me, I I don't want to use restream right now just because it is a lot to keep track of. But I do understand what you're saying. Putting um content content on TikTok. Do they not just end up using that for like shorts though, or like clips as well? I'm just curious. Um, what is this? Tikaja, Rakunda Taruna. Ooh, oh my! It's a, this is literally. Oh my god. Don't kill me. Turn icons are added or removed at random. 65 MP. What the hell is this, bro? What the hell? Has a chance of triggering an auto dodge and overall ever an overall combat. What the hell? What the heck? All right, they still have that one too. Vid Yartha. Oh my god. What the fuck is that? What the hell is this? Decreases attack and defense for one enemy by two turns. Sorry, for, by two ranks for three turns? Who gave you this power, bro? Who decided that was okay? Transfer MP to an ally. Ooh, I like that. May inflict days on all enemies. Pain in the box. Oh, de decrease one, blah, 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 blah. That's also really good. We like debilitate too. Deals unpredictable physical slash damage to one enemy. Interesting. I like that. All right. I'm going to give, I'm going to give him I see. the general. The All right. That's a lot of money. I like that. I'm count of If thou art prepared to lead the soldiers proudly into battle, then I shall bestow upon thee our soul, the soul of the commander. Ooh. Good. I'm still getting stronger. What weapon do they use? I don't remember. Oh, that's hot. I like that. All right, let me let me go ahead. And I'm gonna I'm gonna level this guy up to level 15, and then we're gonna do Mori's next quest here for some free stuff because we like that. New skills, new possibilities. An icy strike deal medium physical ice damage to an enemy and may inflict frostbite. Ooh. Good. I'm still getting stronger. An ice dodge. New skills, new possibilities. Shelter formation. Move all allies to the back row and increases their defense by two ranks for three turns. I 
I found new power. And I just got Megiddo. That's crazy. You know what that means? I could use that. I could put that on Will. Oh my god, bro. I could literally I could give him extra extra MP. Have him do Megiddo twice in a turn with his accessory too. Oh my god, this is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, this is so disgusting. What have I done? I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm sorry that I'm just breaking this game at every fucking turn. You have done a wonderful job in cultivating the general. Yes, a splendid accomplishment indeed. Incredible. I have strengthened the blah 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 blah. Me too. Now then. Oh, did we level up? Did we level it up? Oh, oh my god, let's go. Imagination. Hell yeah. That's that's Guys, we just we just keep winning. Um, we just keep winning here. It's crazy how that works. Also, T heal me just to put it. Our research proceeds apace, thank you. You don't seem very well. You don't seem in good spirits today. I get the impression that something is weighing you down. I'm scared. The truth is, I'm actually beginning to remember where this place is. Are more memories unlocking? Does that mean that your memories are returning? Why, that's... Well, this is where I once strove in scholarly pursuit much like I am doing now, yet with a crucial difference. In the past, I am certain that I had a full team at my side. All of us shared the same dream, and we labored to make our ideals a reality. That's what I remember, at least. Just a sec. Hey, that sounds like a pretty important clue. Why? But if that is the case, then why has no one come to rescue me from here? I mean, isn't that strange? Under normal circumstances, surely someone would have noticed that something was amiss. What if my imprisonment here is for the better? Did I? If I was not locked in here by kingly decree, but by the decision of my peers, did I make a grave mistake? All right, so first of all, and I don't remember if you guys remember this one, there's two things. There's one thing that you probably don't remember, and another thing that you might. One of them is that apparently somebody that he knew actually betrayed him a long time ago. We don't know who it is. The second thing, which I don't know if I actually got it on stream before, is that one of his other ranks... He ended up talking to he, he ended up talking about um what the fuck was it oh he didn't know whether or not he was actually researching here all like because of like like what he wanted to do like it's one of those things like he mentioned that he was like why am i researching this stuff is somebody else did somebody else want me to do this like he doesn't even know why he was doing it i have a feeling that he was probably researching this stuff um, like archetypes and stuff or whatever at the behest of like his peers and then when he talks about people betraying him I wonder if it was everyone else on his team that betrayed him and locked him in here or something because maybe he like disagreed with them or, or whatever could be or could not be I'm not sure um I'm also having a weird theory in regards to what everything that we've talked about before with like how sanct sanctism has been going on too I wonder if low-key um maybe sanctism and all this other shit or whatever like went down um maybe they were all like a part of this or something i don't know and there, there's a lot going on i i'm just gonna leave it alone for now but this is a lot of information to handle right now uh, hey you have to try to calm down but um, wait no you're right I can hardly solve any of this with a mind clouded by panic. I must not run from the past, no matter what truths lie in store for me. My apologies, the prospect of the unknown simply shook me for a moment. All we can do is continue forward, I suppose. I can sense Moore's extraordinary determination and burning spirit of discovery. I like how he basically lost all of his memories and like he was just like, he's like, yeah, like archetypes. We love that. And now he's just like, oh my God, like, what did I do? Like, why am I actually in here? This is weird. All right, we have what well, I think it's rank seven, I think, is when we get the um the next seeker archetype and it is extremely broken. If we can get our hands on it, we're set to go. Now then, for your next task, I ask that you summon your, your summon your courage and open your mind. You must study even more varieties of archetypes. I believe that you are well on your way toward the ultimate archetype. Hone your virtues well. Our success will depend upon them. 
This one's Sounds important. good to me. Yeah? We have to study 25 different archetypes. Until next time. Grapple with the anxieties of those around you and overcome those obstacles. Someday we may make our ideal world a reality. Ooh, spicy. Very interesting. Please do make yourselves comfortable. All right, and before we head out, let me take a look at what can I throw on here? Let me take Hamion off for now. Maybe Thunder Magic. I know we learned we learned some new stuff. I just want to see if they have it on here. Oh, that's what it was. It was um Yes, I remember now. Megiddo. All right. Watch this. Nice. We can basically just destroy everything with him now. Um oh, we also have Medica too. All right. This could work. All right. Let me go ahead and put that on. Watch this. Kitty, we have to remember to pick, uh, pet the cat too. Apparently, it is called a celestial globe, and it models the movement of the stars. Wait, did I accident? No, I didn't pet the cat. No, I looked at the globe and said, "I'm so sorry, babe. I'm sorry, more. It's not my fault. The game fucked me." Um, let's go ahead and I guess we're gonna do wisdom again, or well, I don't know if they actually have right. courage or not. I'm looking for a sword, right? All right then. Hmm. Yeah, apparently they don't. That's interesting. They don't have the sword here, but you know what? Let me do wisdom. We have nothing else to do right now. Oh, we made it. And what a view. Brylehaven is pretty unique, huh? And I don't just mean the site. It's more open and inviting than other places that we've been. I'm pretty sure. Hold on. I was going to say. I've really come around on it. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad to live by the sea, listening to the waves and the hustle and bustle of a port. I feel like I'd, I could watch the ocean from here forever. Forever would be kind of boring, right. though. Well, I mean, I guess everyone has their own idea of what feels like home, I guess. I mean, we've been to a lot of places on our travels already, but it feels like there's just a whole world out there that we haven't seen yet. Now then. Do we level up? Ah. Uh... Mm. Why that's it feels good. <laughs> Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. What's with the moans? Somehow. Because I'm happy, bro. I'm literally I'm getting all of these things loaded up and I'm like I'm like, it makes me feel good. Makes me feel all, all warm and fussy inside, bro. That reminds me. Let me double check to see how many in-game days they have left until the thingamabob. Hey, listen. Oh, hey, it's finally forgiveness day. There are big sales throughout the city, so make sure that you don't miss any. Wait, hold on. What do you mean big sales? Well, what are you man. talking about? No, 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 hold on. It's hard inside, Ayo. All right, then. Bruh. Also, I think we're. Ooh. All right. Then. Let me actually take a look. Let's go. I need to actually see like what the discount is. Set. How much is the discount? Thirty percent. Yeah. I mean, it's like whatever. Though to be fair, that defense is not too bad. Let me let me go ahead and um make sure that we have all of our stuff on. <laughs> Define speed clothes. I'm gonna keep that on him for now.
Okay, yeah, I think I think we're okay. Um, what does he have? That one. Medium memory, MP recovery. Up in there. Where's my other thing? Uh, where'd my thing go? Twinkling crystal. Okay, here we go. All right. All right, then. All right, you know what it's time for? Let's go. We're going to go and do a dungeon. All right, then. Let's go. After I, after I take a shit, though. Let's take a shit. All right. Right. Hmm. Well, they said that I needed what, like, twenty-five of the Got things it. of the archetypes. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a look at that too. Huh? The seeker, the seeker archetype that we can get for for the elite version. Oh my god, it's broken. I'm gonna show you guys on a hot second. All right. Um, let's see. What now? I think it was this one. So automatically, um, this one here, I think it's called Soul Hacker is what they were calling it. Um, it comes with Void Wave. This is deals heavy magic wind damage to one enemy. Decrease their attack for three turns. That is broken. Um, this one here, Seeker's Gale, same thing just for all enemies, but you get MP recovery for every hit. Um, has a really good cure. Increase the critical rate for all allies for three turns for Adventurous Curiosity. Um, Seeker's Flame, same thing as like the Seeker's Gale, kind of broken. Has Heat Riser, which is okay. But then you have Emerald Vortex. Deals extreme magic wind damage to all enemies and ignores resistances, meaning that you can literally, you can just spam this shit and it'll destroy everything. I'm assuming it, it costs like a billion magic or something, but like still, that is crazy. Um, let's see. So I'm just going to count how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh shit, we need like, we need like, t like nine more. Fuck. Okay, we're not going to get that shit done for a while. The game's debating me. I was kind of hoping we could get more shit done, but apparently not. I see. Uh, I'll leave those three alone for now. I saw the All right. I'm going to go ahead I'm and get these unlocked for everybody real quick, though. I'm going to get those debuffs. Yeah. Buffs and debuffs literally make or break SMT for real. So I think this is probably the best option for now. Let me keep that on. Uh, how much does that cost? That's a lot of mag. I don't like that. I think I'll leave that off them for now, at least. I All right. I'm, uh. I'm going to keep everyone for this dungeon. I'm going to keep everyone on the merchant class just for now. At least that way we can make some extra money when we're running through. I've acquired a new power. I saw the all right. I'm get buff. My power swells forth. Ah, capital. Everyone's here. All right, where are we going? I think that they want us to go a few places. Um, first and foremost, we, huh. what um, we, we need to go. Okay, one, There's two, three. Do. There's three dungeons there. Um, and then we have to do this dungeon here immediately. We have to go to, I think it was the mausoleum they said. We have to go through there. Let's take a look. All right, then. What now? What's the same? Retrieve a black jewel necklace from the specter. 
recommended as major healer. I mean, I'm, we should be fine. I need to gather eight more to skulls. All right, then. Let's go. What now? Okay, I like that. All right. We're good to go. We're going to go ahead and jump in now. Speaking. Should we go in? Well. My God, it feels like it's been 84 years oh. since we actually got to do anything like actual fighting. Oh, apparently the magla has gotten thicker in here. Interesting. And I see... What the hell? We still haven't been able to get through those other doors too? Are they open? Oh, they just opened now. Let's fucking go. Can I open it? Oh, Mick, come on. Get out of here. Can I desecrate these, these coffins, please? Thank you very much. Oh my god, there's a lot going on over there. What the hell? Let's see if we can take a quick look see whoopsie up here. Are they not they're not gonna let us in? <coughs> Love that. Oh, it's you lot. I've heard the rumors. You're the talk of the town having taken down that human plaguing us. I hate to turn away the people that the city is indebted to, but the road is closed ahead. Oh, okay. They mentioned that they were actually going to close off the mausoleum, I think, at the end of this month or something. So I think that's kind of one of the reasons we have to do it now. Let's go through here. Oh, sir. Get away, you blasted corpses. Oh, no, wait, your people. Oh, don't scare me like that. You're that Elda who fought at the Grand Cathedral, correct? I was nearby while you were fighting the skeletons that man was controlling. Oh, and by the way, you lot sure were using all of some amazing skills. What kind of magic was that? Oh, um, don't worry about it. What are you doing here anyway? Well, I'm actually part of the Survey Corps, and when we got reports that there were monsters prowling here, we got dispatched, but the entire... What? The whole squad fell apart when dead bodies started showing up? Are they still moving around or something? Interesting. You found something. Let's take it with us. Ew, they sound so slimy. It's gross. How do I get in here? Ow. Nice. You got monk clogs? No, thank you. I think I'm good. I don't know if anyone here has ever actually tried to wear clogs, by the way. They're literally one of the most uncomfortable things you can wear. I don't know why people would ever wear them in their life. What is this? Oh my god, what's a big slime? Amazing! Alright, we did it! Wait, what is that? Oh Jesus. You scared me, bro. The thing jumped out of nowhere. Need seven more. What's the sound? This is Such skill. Let's push through. Exactly. Very impressive. That worked like a charm. Keep the pressure on. All right, we got another one. We got some graced water. Sure another enemy there. What? Get out of here. That should come in handy. Pocket it. Impressive. 
Your trading has paid off. Exemplary. Look. Oh, we have three different ways that we can go here. Um let's let's go this way. Let's go west. Assuming that this doesn't lead us into like some weird maze area here. Hard sir, where? Stop teleporting, sir. You stop that. Where? Why? Okay, I was gonna say, sir. You know that that is that is very, very rude. Did I just get a luck incense from killing it? No. 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 no, no. Hold on. I can't tell. Did I get that from killing that? That would be weird. It's kind of sussy. All right, let's see. Um, what's down here? Is this the other door? A Magla Hollow is here. Excuse me. What? How about a break? This place has a Magla Hollow. Do you want to take a break? That's true more sussiness here be that as it may it's an absolute mess in here there are monsters all over the place and the magla is thick enough to choke on even with zorba gone mm. it's as he said this phenomena is not his doing but a natural occurrence you mean melancholia Mel bro i can't even say that hold on melancholia melancholization that's a mouthful that is a really long word to say I'm not about that i suppose that this is what happened at the abandoned mines as well huh. i don't like all of this talk about melancholy melancholization atlas could you have picked a better word than that because like that is literally the worst fucking thing you can make someone say like a really bitch really <laughs> just call it melancholia i'm just that's what i'm gonna do talk about all this melancholia and humans i wonder what's really going on here what should I do? I think I don't need to save. I'm good. Just resume. That's a tea here. Ooh. Nope, I saw you. I saw you there, babe. That was brilliant. Oh my god, this is like a whole maze, bro. Oh my god. You found something. Let's take it with us. Oh my god. There's literally so much going on here. Is this like a whole new dungeon? Did they literally just like throw in a in like a whole second dungeon in the catacombs here? Like, what is this? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I still need to go back up here because there was another um way to walk through here. So what? <laughs> Screw you. On your toes, everyone. Give me that sweet money. Yeah, nice work. We found some risk pays off. A blaze igniter, a mage flame. Oh, that's like, um, like Maragi or something. Ooh. Okay, I like that. Still gotta go check out this area too. So the bottom floor is like a whole nother section of the map. Let's check this way. Nice. What do you have for me? A bomb of life. Oh, that's actually really good. We're gonna head down down to the bottom part to get there. I'm gonna roll down in the deep. <sighs> what is this? Oh, there's like a whole another thing here. Oh, 
disgusting. Well, well. Got a hero's leaf of light. Oh. I can like hear all the enemies moving above us and it's so creepy. Oh my god. All slimy. Why does this look like a mimic chest? Is that a mimic chest? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. Oh, chipped key lower half. This is. This sort of looks like a key, but just part of one. It is not usable right. as is. Considering that someone went through the effort to store it in a treasure chest, there is probably a counterpart somewhere. Why don't we go and look for it? Okay. Hmm. I just banned an Xbox streamer from walking forward, and they were struggling so hard to move. Bro, don't be rude. What? Why? Why would you do this to them? Bones, that's harassment. I'll, I'll have you know. Ooh, oh, nice. Yo, know, that's whole harassment, bruh. Literally, wait, where am I? And they only have like one thing left to do. Oh, it's a tea here. That's rude. Oh my god. I imagine that would be of use. Is there a boss battle, guys? Is there a boss battle coming? Yo. Know. Meow, meow. Wait, I can't get in here yet. No. However, let's go. Maybe this is um okay. So the the other half of the key, I have to get that too. That's probably why. That sucks. At least we know now. I'm a VIP in their chat, bruh. How could you do this? You're a monster. There's another Magla Hollow here. Hmm. It's a pain. I've heard. I've heard. Um, my other friend Wiseru, um, he was telling me that apparently on Xbox and like tech, technically other stuff too or whatever, he did like really like sussy shit or whatever all the time, and he would like get banned, um, and other people's chats a lot because he just he just he just felt like it. Apparently, apparently people like that. People like to do that stuff. Oh, your yeah? allies this cemetery is a lot bigger than i expected and if we're not careful we could get lost i mean i almost got lost so we mustn't forget that this is also the royal cemetery it should be one of the largest in the kingdom hmm. so the former king's remains were to be buried here if the royal funeral had ended without incident indeed though with all of these monsters roaming about there isn't really much that could have been done huh. what the state army doesn't really seem to have the bandwidth for exterminating monsters either. It's going to take a while before there's peace and quiet here again. Let me go ahead and... Yeah, just in case I'll save. You never know. Let's go. Meow, meow, meow. Do I... I feel like I'm getting shorter. What is this? What's this sauciness, bro? <laughs> Let's push through. Impressive. Your training has paid off. Ah, okay, cool. Okay, I see, I see. Wait, hold on. Where did that take me? Okay, it did take it take us back where we were before? Um, nothing over here. So you know what? I technically, I guess, I made a good call by going to the left because now. Now that we know that the door's over there, we can just go search over here and get our stuff real done real fast here. And this will stand. Hold on. Do I need three more? I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Hey, nice try. Oh yeah, no, no worries, big enjoy your lurkies, babe. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, uh. Well done, we got him. Uh, we got him. Let's go. Enjoy your lurkies, big. Can I actually get um bones? If you are able to, can you give um big a shout out for me? Um, everyone, if you're not already following Big, please go and check him out and give him a follow. He is super awesome. Plays a lot of Zelda games. Um, does a little bit of like a, a little uh, like a lot of other stuff too. Um, he's big on D and D, and genuinely just like a really nice guy. Um. 
and I think we know a lot of people in his community too. If you guys know like Pony and other people too, like, you know, he's a good friend. So please go and drop him a follow. Thank you. Um, let's do. Oh, hey yo. Spend a total of a hundred thousand reef using skills that consume money. Oh my god, don't fucking kill me. Do not kill me. Do not strike if you're obviously out. Don't let your guard down. There's more of them. That was brilliant. Okay, I think I think I just got all of the mortar skulls. I could be wrong. Perhaps. Alright. Our risk pays off. Also, I can literally hear the skeletons popping out right now. What happened? Bruh. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, you almost got me there. We got a scalpula blade. Ooh, that's cute. Love that. Not bad. I'm sure you'll find it useful. I think. Okay, you know what? It's this one here. I see it. Is it false time? Let me see the key. I want to see. I want to see it. We got the inner sanctum key. However, I don't like this. Yeah, no, yeah. we're good. We're Gucci. Wait, what the? Is that a ghost? Well, I guess we are in a crypt after all. And there's even Melancholia crystals here, too. Wait. Calm yourself, and remember that death is a passage through which none return. It is more likely a monster which has undergone... Sorry, undergone Melancholization. Wow. So this was the dark presence that Gallic had sensed before. Perhaps we have these crystals to thank for the strange... Changes afoot in the crypt as well. Let us avail ourselves of this opportunity to shatter them completely. I know that, um, what's his name? Zorba, or whatever the hell his name was, mentioned that apparently if you leave some kind of thing, there's like an item that if you leave around in like specific places like this, it'll like absorb the dense magla and turn oh, into wow. those, which is weird, by the way. It looks like it's not going to be that simple. No, it's going to be. I'm going to, I'm going to whip its ass. I'm going to destroy it. By this power. All right, tell me right now how broken this will be. Let's see. How much damage is this? There's no buff on that, too. 500 damage? Oh, my God. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I want to see what that collection does. How much? 1,200? Ooh. All right. This is what we're doing. I don't give a fuck. We're, we're just gonna deck collect. I'm gonna use up all of my MP. A curse chant. Wait. We're on we're on hard mode, right? I I'm 90 billion percent sure we're on hard mode because I remember we swapped it over near the beginning. That's weird. I'll double check again, but I'm pretty sure we are. Oh, thank you for giving them the shadow bones. Appreciate it. I'll be taking that. Face me. Ah! Nothing. Come. I claim that. By this power. I won't hold back. By this power. How about this? Now accept your fate. Mm. Delicious. I love that. The curse will kill me. Don't mind if I do. For all that we strive for. Let's go. Mm, how bad is this gonna be? That was perfect. The curse. Ayo. All right, how much do we get? 14, 14,000 mag, weeping blood staff.
A black jewel necklace. Okay, that's the one we needed. That's good. I like that. The amount of mag that we just got from doing that, by the way, is uh, disgusting. That's how you that's how you blow blow your fucking MP load at the end of a dungeon. Just go find an enemy and just use mag steel on it. I think that was everything, right? Is there something else in here that I can like actually find though? There's a, hold on, there's another door here. Can I go in? Ooh, okay. Alright, alright. There's a treasure chest in here. See if I if I turned around and I had left, we would have missed out on this. What's this? You're so lucky. You got a sapper pendant. Oh, yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> kind of sad. Kind of disappointing. I would I would have rather had like a twinkling crystal, like the the stat boosting one, or something. Can I go through, sir? Ah, okay. I think we're at the end there too. Um, let me actually go ahead. Yeah, let me go ahead and we're gonna teleport out. Ooh, there you go. All right, let's call it. All right, I'm nine, 90 billion percent sure that we got all the side quests done, um, and everything that we need to. Excuse me, sir. Wait, hold on a minute, mate. Are those mortar skulls? Don't tell me that. Did you bring those for me? They're just for you. I went, I went in and I killed all of the skulls for you. Just for you, babe. I'm not dreaming, am I? I really don't have to die? Oh, God, I'm so relieved. Wait, what? I see now. What? Are you going to tell us why you needed those mortar skulls now? Well, you see, there's like this weird fad among the nobles right now where they think that placing skulls in their homes will ward off disaster. But normal ones are no good, apparently. It has to be one of the specially marked ones from the mausoleum. What? So you have to grave rob for that? Ew. A noble with more money than common sense demanded that I bring him the skulls and said that I would be sent to the gallows if I didn't? No kidding. Seriously? That's just ridiculous. I can't believe that they made such an outrageous threat over such a silly superstition. Yeah, I mean, I thought that nobles were supposed to be a little more, you know, noble, or at the very least smarter than that. But lately, they've all been, like, really panicked. I think that, like, whole grand cathedral fiasco reminded them that it doesn't really matter how much coin or influence they have. They can just still die just like the rest of us. I mean, true, true. Eat the rich, that's what I like to say. With leaders like this, I doubt that anything around here is going to settle down and go back to normal anytime soon. Anyway, thank you. thanks to you, I managed to escape with my life. So here's the reward that I promise you. Let's go. Oh my god, you guys, we just hit we hit eight hours of stream today. Let's fucking go. Thank you. I kinda wanna do another dungeon TBH because like that one was kinda easy. <laughs> but like Where's it's fine. Alright, let's get out of here. Pull it a day. Are they gonna let me actually like do a night activity or am I screwed? Congrats on eight hours. Why are you saying dot, dot, dot? Oh, I said it before I could. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. Well, listen, I happened to look over because I was like, I wonder how long we have. And God has a plan. I don't know. It is, what, <laughs> it is what it is. It's okay. That entire mess has affected a great many people. It's all such a shame. All the more reason to fulfill our goals so that further tragedies may be averted. <laughs> You know, he's probably real eager to get it back. Let's deliver it to him before we forget. Luis. All right, let's go. Let's go. Sorry to disappoint you, Time Bones. Pets you softly. I'm sorry. The new king draws nearer. I'm thirsty. I want Starbucks. I want something tasty. We ought to proceed with caution. I can hear a voice. Oh my god, Barden! I love you, but I'm not talking to you right now. Um, although... Let me actually double check what his thing is. Oh, occasionally, as one day ends and another begins, Barden will send you a parcel. Okay, actually, that's not too bad. That's not the worst thing in the world. Um, let me go ahead and... What now? Check out that other one here. Hold on, I think it's this one. All right, then. All right, then. Where to? Where to? Let's go! Duh. 
Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, what? Stroll's just like standing over there. What the heck? What? And that black jewel necklace, don't tell me. Did you find a proper warrior to help retrieve it? Nah, girl, I did it myself. Of all of the people, it had to be a worthless elder. Oh, wait, no, I've seen your face before. You're the youth who helped to restore order during the attack on the Grand Cathedral. I apologize for my earlier behavior, the things that I said. I can't even imagine what my wife would think if she heard me utter such discriminatory nonsense. The why did you say it? Why did you say it? Why? This is what racists are like. This is like they say shit and they're like, they're like, oh, sorry. How could I have said that? That's crazy. She was kind and noble. Frankly, I never deserved her. And this necklace, it was the object which she treasured most. Really? Oh, wow. I never would have guessed. Well, I'm glad that we were able to bring it back Thank to you. you. Very much you have my deepest, most heartfelt thanks. And here's the reward I promised. Unfortunately, I'm kind of running low on funds. So this is the best I can do. Wait, what is it? Is it an item? Oh, we got some courage though. Are we gonna are we gonna level up courage right now? All right. Guys, is it coming? It's coming. Wait. Oh, man, we were so close. Probably probably like two more quests or something, and we'll probably get that. Alright. We have done our job. Right. Where now? Where go? Where to? Um right, Let me do. Yeah, let me let me go back All to the right, gauntlet runner. Go. Let's use the bathroom. And I think we're good to do at least one more dungeon, if not two. We'll see. Right. Well then. Meow 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 meow. Got it. I feel as though my fatigue from the journey has been washed away. You know, it's funny. I really wish that I could honestly, like, I have, like, so many bath bombs that I've been saving up, and, like, they smell amazing, but, like, I actually want to use them one day. So I'm thinking at some point I might actually use one maybe this weekend if I can actually remember to do it. Um, let's see. No cooking. No cooking. How about... Are we departing? God, how many other quests do they have? It's your call. Mm, we know that's Martira. Let's do. Okay, let's let's head back over here and then. Yeah. All right. Let me actually right let me away. save here. Guys, we're almost we're about to hit 50 hours in the game by the way that's crazy this is gonna be literally this is gonna be another trails through daybreak i can already tell it's gonna be like over 100 hours probably now then a village is it um okay they want me to either go i can go to looks a village in in nando what should we do Gracia forest and then they have the tomb of lament and this one too. There's like so many other places we can go. Mm. You know what? Let's let's do let's do this one. Great. Because at the very at the very least, um, we can do we can do this and then stop over to like another dungeon afterwards. I think. What to pick? I can hear a voice. There is something that I must tell the captain. Eismay comes to mind. Maybe I should go and talk with him. All right. That sounds good, babe. Where are you? All right, then. The truth is... Ah, it's you. If you are free, may I have a moment of your time? I would like to clear up a misunderstanding. I would like you to tell me about your... Uh, tell, tell, let, let me let me tell you about the village. Oh, okay. I thought he wanted to know about yes. the main character's village or something. Oh, he wants to have a drink with us. Ooh. Hmm. What happened back in my hometown, you should know that it was not Tadari's fault, even if he is the village leader. Uh. 
The villagers have always ostracized others like that, even when I was there. But that's not their leader's fault. Is that why you left? Because... Is this the reason that you left your village? Yes. yes, there was an incident, one final push that I could not take. No. Most other tribes hold little love for the Yugif, but in my youth, we lived near two settlements of mixed peoples. We traded, traveled, and relations were very good. Until one day, conflict arose between the two settlements themselves. They began to feud, and then both sides asked that our village side with them over the other. They wanted a decision from us, and we were asked to choose who was friend and who was foe. But the village put off the decision. They took no sides, and then they sought to appease both settlements. While we stayed the course of our hesitancy, their dispute was resolved. Oh, hold on. What ended up happening to your village? And then... The village ended up losing the trust of both sides, and then they cut off all of their trade. We were suddenly left impoverished. Mm. They called us Yugif inscrutable, unknowable, and their prejudice only escalated. Bro, that's rude. It even led to some violence, too, and yet... The village tried to justify their predicament by saying that there was nothing that could have been done. They took no ac uh, no action to escape poverty and isolation beyond their bitter... Well, listen, I mean, like, you're being forced to pick between two people. I can understand being like, hey, like, I don't know. I don't want to be involved with it. That makes sense. I know that sometimes you do have to pick a side, but it it's really dependent on what the situation is. And I think for this situation, uh, like, I don't know. It's like, it's not your fucking problem. That more than anything else disgusted me beyond words. So I abandoned the village and then I ventured out to become a knight of the cities but, but Tadari remained to take a stand while I simply ran away he took a role of leadership and determined to bring honorable change to our village listen you're t you're honorable too Heisme I was gonna say Tadari though I mean like I see where he's coming from but like did it actually work has the villain just changed it doesn't really seem I... like it I who did nothing but run away, there is a world of difference between me and Tadari. And yet, as we have seen, the village is still a long way from the change that we have strove for. The villages, sorry, the villagers are rigid in their mindset, and they hope to maintain the little control that they have by excluding and blaming strangers. Oh. All of the backbiting and even the theft of the urn, all born of this clinging to separation, this xenopho xenophobic nest. I can't really help but pity them. A fair enough assessment. In some ways, they have entrapped themselves, but, you know, when I would return there, a thought struck me. I suddenly just knew. I would like to let my son sleep on that hill where the sweet winds blow, that he may run free, where he can... Or sorry, sorry, that they may... may but they, that they may run free, where he cannot... Tee and yet, perhaps the reason I am so attached to my village is because I am the same as them at heart. It was my indecisiveness that cost me my son, and my knighthood besides. <sighs> this burial is no different. I think that I waxed on it about it uh, being time to face his death, uh, an excuse nothing more, an excuse to run from yet another decision. No. It is alright to hesitate, I... but now my son is the one paying for my wretched hesitance, and see what has become of him. How can I call myself a father? Bro, it just... I was gonna say, just relax. If you want to solve this, then we'll just need more than despair. No. No, I refuse to let this end here. Are we going back? Right. If hesitation is in my nature, then so too do I hesitate to let go. Perhaps this is simply who I am. Will I have a confession to make? When the urn was stolen, somewhere in the back of my mind, I felt relief. <sighs> because I would not have to see it anymore. I had no longer been reminded of his death and his heartbreaking absence. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to face it. How could I when every reminder shatters me? That's why I've put off the burial longer and even longer. But I have to change. I would show my boy I am a father worth his love, not his shame. Surely. And so too would I prove this to you, you who place your trust in me. I can feel Heisme's fatherly determination and his deep trust in me. Oh, yeah. My son. I have a feeling that they're going to end up having, um, they're going to make us go back to the village at some I'm point. Sorry. 
I will soon depart for the village to look for my son's remains. My apologies for all that you have been made to endure. No, no. You don't have to shoulder this all on your own. Thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Let us head back to the village together at a later date. Ah, uh, yeah, I knew it. We're heading back. Next time I get the chance where we can talk to him, we're going to head back to the village. It's coming our way! Oi, a monster with a most peculiar color-changing eyes is clinging to the deck. Wait, what? We better get rid of it fast before Nurse puts our entire journey on hold. Wait, is it an actual monster or... What's going on? Oh, it's this shit. Oh, come on. Oh, are you going to fucking one-shot them, Nurse? Sir? I swear, if he fucking killed them, I would have like, bruh. How much damage? Oh, disgusting, bro. Oh my god. I kind of want, want to steal Mag from them, but they're going to run, so we're just going to kill them. Reinforcements! More enemies! Brace yourselves! Four lines! Ooh. Four Royal soul! Mm. I'm gonna accidentally kill one of them. Yeah, just in case. Just in case. Alright. Guess what guess what guys? It's time to mag farm again. This is beautiful. It's like the game just wants me to fucking They just want me to fucking win. It's crazy. Oh, scale attack. Get out of here, boy. Get out of here. Oh no, we are on hard mode. It dodged that and it had two fucking things. I knew it. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, that other boss was so easy, but it was weird. Let's go. Sorry. Hey yo, I can I can steal steal magic with him or whatever and he horn. Well, finish them off and work clean. Merchant. How about this? Nice try. Poison spore. Poison. No, thank you. Captain Poison. You better cure that I'll take this. Captain. All yours. Only one to you. Left. By the power. I'll be taking that. I won't hold back. There you go. Okay, how much did we get? We got we had the two elementals too. Alright. 14. Oh my god. That's like 15,000 fucking mag for that. Don't fucking kill me. Bro, why are we so broken? Why are we so broken here? The village of Inundo, a small city. Only W's here. North of Brylehaven lies ahead. The industry that once thrived here fell into decline, and now the able-bodied youth dream instead of leaving home. A small population of mostly children and elders remain, and visitors are scarce. The gauntlet runner slows to a stop. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna stop through this village, which looks like shit, by the way. Just a moment. Hey, what is the meaning of this? It is practically a ghost town here. The villages around here are all like this. Those able to work have gone elsewhere to try and make a living, while the remaining residents live in constant fear of monsters. What a shame. Twas my intention to cook something interesting if I came across any unusual ingredients here. And that's all right. I think I would prefer food that is not overly interesting. Hulkenberg, why are you thinking about food at a time like this? Hey. You know, it's a bit small, but it looks like they've set up a stall here. Do you want to talk that to them? Reminds me. Hey, by the way, weren't you asked to buy a toothbrush of Hygienia here? Yes, I will buy one here. Um, oh, briny weapon. Okay. Cool. I mean, we have the money for it, so like, why not? Superior briny light armor. Ooh. And apparently, we can buy a lot of mellow milk. Mel mellow milk here as well. Let me do. Let me do thirty-seven. Now then. Do I have anything else there? I don't think so. Mm. 
Then... All right. Uh, hmm. Let's go ahead and continue our trip then. I need water. Hold on. Girl. Ah. All right. So if we continue our Here's trip, we are now. it's your call. Mm, what's gonna happen Here's if I go this way though? It's two days. It's your oh, you know what? No, 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 no. If we, right I see what happened. We'll if we go this way, it'll take two days. But if we go this way, it should take one. Wait, what? It's gonna, still gonna take me two days. Yeah, what? It's your. Excuse me. What is this one? The tomb of lament. Really. Uh, this place. Just a moment. Oh man, Here's I don't know what to do here. Um. Hmm. Okay, you know That's what? Let's what let's just go ahead and do this one. You seem Yeah, but it's your call. <sighs> Yeah, it's fine. As I think I think we can like loop around back after and go to the the, the Gracia forest or whatever it's called. In a quiet land, however, confidence would be ill advised. Listen carefully for footfalls in the mud, and move at the break of dawn. All right then. Oh, okay, you know what? Hold on. Got it. Sure. Um, All right, nothing, nothing else to do. Let me go ahead and do. Let me talk to Strahl. Well, hey. So. Maintaining two-handed swords can be a bit of a pain sometimes. They're heavier. They're they're heavier, and there's more po more to polish. Sometimes I forget how surprisingly easy it is to maintain one-handed swords. Mm. Its upkeep is one of two important qualities to consider when choosing your weapon. What do you suppose the other is? Um, it's feeling. Oh, that's right. I have no idea if that's correct. By the way, Ooh. was it actually? Oh my god, let's fucking go. Intuition, huh? Actually, that's a really good word for it. An unconscious harmony shared between the blade and its wielder. All right. Are we gonna get a level up? Oh my god, we're so close! Please, please, we're so close! Come on. Time marches on. And the age of a new king draws nearer. Meow, 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 What's meow, meow, meow. All right. Well, apparently, still not anything super crazy going on here. Can I not talk to Nurse though? Really? Apparently, he hates me. Um, let's go ahead and. I'm gonna check out the pantry, wash my booty, all that other stuff. And then we're gonna go talk to Stroll again. Got it. Got it. Right. You know, when we travel like this, sometimes it feels like I can see my hometown on the horizon. I'm admittedly intrigued by the idea of an inheritance, but going back there is a weight on my heart. Well, hey. So Hell yeah. Hmm. However. Got it. Yeah. Let's see here. Now then. Wow. There it is. Level three. 
courage. We're nice and evenly rounded out, and I like that. What? I think the next one that we'll probably end up getting is probably tolerance again, which I do not mind, but I don't know. They haven't really given us a reason to, to get up to level three at the very least. I'm assuming they're going to need something <laughs> later, maybe? All right, nice. Okay, we should be at the dungeon any second now. I say, uh, we could stop for a break. Oh, there's something up ahead. What do you mean there's something the up ahead? The runner arrives at a spectacular waterfall. <gasps> Ooh. Northwest of Haven. The Peregrine Falls, the water cascading down from the river between the canyons, is among the kingdom's finest vistas. Thanks in part to the monuments carved into rocky cliffs. Is the rumbling echo simply the water plummeting into the basin below? Or the roar of the Mage King? What, what could this be? I mean, it looks like... Wait, there's faces on the rocks? Oh my god. Yet again, it seems that we have found ourselves within the most peculiar of places. Something is just barely visible beyond the waterfall's veil. A statue, perhaps? Well, it must be. They look like faces, but why would anyone go through all of the trouble of carving something like that, like that behind a waterfall? Besides... And aren't their expressions kind of scary? Hey, that's, it's like they're dying. Their pained expressions make it look as though they're just moments away from death. It must be difficult to carve the rock in a place like this. Just whose face could that be anyway? It is perhaps the likeness of one of the old hero kings. I believe that a legend involving the Mage King is set within this region. I would not question it if you had told me that this was all created with the Mage King's magic. They say that he mastered immensely powerful forces, which he used to protect his people. Just... I cannot help but think that that would, sorry, what would drive someone to go to such great lengths to carve such a terrifying monument upon these stones? Perhaps as a warning? What's that about it? Maybe they wanted to warn us of something. Hmm. You might be right. For all of his power, the Mage King suffered great misfortunes throughout his final years. Perhaps this serves as a warning to those who would follow him? Mmm, no, that's kind of sus. Power closes as many doors as it opens, regardless of the intent of which you would wield it. Um, you may yet become feared and ostracized. It's kind of sad when you think about it. When you put it that way, it almost feels like the roar of the waterfall is meant to represent the Mage King's cries of anguish. Yes. Bro, I have... I don't have any actual clue of like what they're talking about. I'm hoping that the plot will actually explain what's going on here later. If this is indeed true, then we may, we may best honor those sentiments by etching this place within our memory. We may think on it more, but it is time to return to the runner. Watch, they're gonna later on. They're gonna like actually like have like a huge lore dump, and they're just gonna go over like so much crap. All right. And suddenly, this will all make sense. Ooh. Wow. Oh, he took a little drawing for me. Their destination is the Tomb of Lament, found north of Oceania. All right, it's time for the next dungeon. Interred beneath the earth here lie the victims of a terrible epidemic. It is said the lamentations of the lost echo throughout, disfiguring a somber burial ground into a mass grave for criminals and the kinless. So what, they just the buried anyone here? Ew. Restless month. Let's go. Let's jump in. I want to see. I want to see it. Show me. Show me dungeon. Is this the no, same dungeon that we saw at the beginning of the game? Kind of sus. Well, this is the tomb that we've been looking for, is it not? What is our next course of action? Yeah. We defeat the monster in the back and retrieve the chalice of legends. They say that there is a ghost in there, but do you think that's really it? Mm. Think back to the Grand Cathedral with Zorba and his profane arts. We witness specters that could easily bear such a label it is likely if not certain that people have simply mistaken the true nature of this monstrosity well. i can understand why people might wish the dead could return but let's find this thing and put an end to the rumors first also. i've heard of uh, sorry i've heard of weapons and ancient treasures being buried in these places but they're probably off the main path oh, will we will follow your lead all right sounds good to me is there also a relic here or whatever? Just a second, I think I sense something. 
this feeling is that a so, hey. is that a relic heck yeah ah. all right ah. hmm. a monster desecrating a place of rest we cannot abide this threat to the dead's peace i have already finishing preparing just give the word ah. hey a graveyard skeletons reminds me of the Grand Cathedral. I know that there may be treasures here, but let's just be uh, judi judicious. Shall we go in? I have finished with preparations. Normally, I would object to disturbing the bed, but these graves uh, will know no peace if that monster is not slain. All right, sounds good, babe. All right, let's, let's jump in. How much mag do I have? What now? I thought I had more. That's interesting. I thought I had more mag. We've been stealing so much of it. Okay then. Let's go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right. It looks a little bit similar to the other dungeons too. Oh God. Excuse me. It'll be all right. <laughs> Oh my god. There's just like a whole ass mimic here. Ew. Also, give me one second, guys. Sorry, hold on. Ugh. What now? Good. That's a tiki. Oh, okay. I'm assuming that these are locked. Wait, is there a thing here? Hold on. I bet we could move something near here. Okay, we're gonna need to get a key. And then we can get in here too. I'm gonna take a look here. What is that? Oh, it's a it's a Gutaros. And it's glowing. Very suspicious. Did it just open? Oh my god. Sir? Are you trying to get a sneak attack on me? How dare you? Wait, I'm so confused. How do I... So how do we get in? That's weird. Let me take a look. I'm going to try scanning. What do you mean everything looks standard? There's no door. There's no latch for the door. Yep, we're safe here. Man, that's rude. Everything's pretty standard. Nice! I bet we'll find a use for that. This is bad. They're on to us. Take that! Great find. Keep it. Oh my god, there's a tooth boy. Hey kiddo, have you been keeping your guard up? Oh, it's the talking tooth again. Do you have any more good advice, Toothy? If you guard, then enemies will not get an extra turn, even if they chomp you with a weakness. On top of that, status ailments will not bite you either. Oh, that makes sense. I was going to say. I noticed that a lot earlier, too. If you guard, you will not get like hit with like other statuses. If you can't dodge attacks when you're guarding, um, take it from me. I'm a wisdom tooth. You love it. So good luck and keep your guard up. Not guarding. Why, that's indefensible. <laughs> oh, that was a terrible joke. Terrible pun. <laughs> We cannot avoid Ooh, Stand ready. What's in here? Nothing. Why? It's just a bunch of empty rooms. What is going on? Let's push through. Keep it up. This is so weird. Oh, where the hell did you come from, sir? What is it? Have you come to exercise the ghosts here? 
I wouldn't chance it unless you're very confident. Those bloody ghosts like to summon monsters halfway through the fight, and after that they will cast powerful dark magic as an extra treat. That's... Be careful. Sounds like a pain. If one shows up, then we should prioritize defeating it right away. Taking them on is your prerogative, but watch watch yourself. Nothing funny about a ghost hunter becoming a ghost. Listen, I think I think I'll be just fine. Thank you very much. Hey yo. I saw that Goop Taros over there, bro. I saw him walking here. We cannot avoid this fight. You see me. I'm weak against this. Do it again. I think we'll be okay if we made it this far. You're in the way, cat. They look pretty weak. Let's mop this up quick. Can we get in here? No, there's a treasure chest in there though. Um, what is that? Let's go around this way. Oh, I see another one. No, 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 no. Oh, excuse me, sir. That's not half bad. Your mom's not half bad, Ayo. I bet there's treasure around. Oh, come on. <laughs> I can see there's like the, the hallway there we can go through, but come on. Oh my god, I want to get in these rooms. Excuse me. <laughs> They're so eager to come fight me. Look at that. All right. Come on. That worked out. Keep it up. Right here. We hit him where it hurts. Let's push through. Hit him right in the weak spot. Good job. Okay, there's a thing there. Okay, see that? Yep, we're safe here. Nah. Everything's Another one there. Standard. It's all clear. Something like this must have its use. Blink Basslards. Ooh, okay, that's cute. It's all clear. Okay, let's go over here because there was a a way to get through the hole there. Everything's pretty standard. Whoa. We're so lucky. What is that? A spider lily katana increases dark attack strength. Ooh, okay, that's really good. Let me see if I can put it on somebody later. I think when we actually fight the boss here, I might switch the classes around. We will have to see. Um, but I think we're doing very well so far. Let's take a look. Um, we go up and up to the left part here first. Everything's pretty standard. If you see use for it, I say take it with you. through the it's wrong thing clear. oopsie this should take us i think let me see here wait a minute wait, there's a whole other thing there oh you know oh hold on hold on now that i can actually see the map there i think i see what's going on all right let's try this so wow these doors are locked very tight i don't know how we're supposed to get through here um there was a thing on the map that said that you could get to that icon. Maybe over here. Let's try this. Everything's pretty scary. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see this before. This is why you got to scan. This is why looking at the map is so helpful. I bet there's treasure around here. <laughs> hey, I'm sensing something from the treasure. Like a, like nice. a boss? Oh. It's a, a gypsum cube. Oh, it's the relic. Oh, okay. Wait, but how... That... Wait, I don't know what to do then. How do we get through the rest of the dungeon? Wait. Yeah, it's one of the relics there. I'm so confused. I literally didn't see anything else on how to get through the dungeon, though. What? What in the <gasps> heck? What in the world? <sighs> like, we've literally... Oh, no, wait. I'm, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. There's stairs there. Oops. 
<laughs> I don't know what it is. I think it's because it's getting later. That's why I'm like, my brain is not remembering anything. Let's take a look. Let's see what's he up here. Yep, we're safe here. If we if we can get through this dungeon, I think we're good to we'll get we'll head over to the other one. Um and then we'll we'll save because I think we're almost gonna hit nine hours. And I think that's that's good enough for today. We should be good. Nice. I bet we could move something near Oh, uh, we're on the other side. I see, I see, I see. What is this? Matter break hammer. I don't know what that is. Keep the pressure on. Get ready, everyone. Yep, we're safe here. Wait, I think maybe we should try moving things. Did I get a shortcut? Ooh. Wait, is that the... Hold on. What is that? What is that? Is that the dungeon entrance? Oh, it is. Okay, hold on. Um, taking a look at the map. Let's go through here for a second. Oh, I knew it. I knew there was a hole. See a hole? Go through hole. That's what I like to say. What's over here? What is in here? I don't see anything we can uh, okay. handle easily. At least we know there are stairs there. Let me just check this place out real quick and then we're gonna head back over. It's all clear. Oh, is that a oh there's a mimic over there and a bug. Everything Understood. I understand the assignment. And then we can't go can't go through here, so we do have to go down. It's all clear. Yep, we're safe here. Nice. I bet we'll find a use for that. Great find. Keep it. It's all I'm just clear. spam scanning. Oh my god. The Saurus. Yep, we're safe here. Nice. I bet we'll find a use for that. Meow, 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 meow. Alright, I see you. I see y'all hiding over here. What's that? Is there a treasure? No. Oh my god, where in the world? Does it loop around or something? What is this? What are y'all doing over here? No, bro, get out of here. What now? Man, God, I hate these things. Get out of here. If we're lucky, maybe we can come through again and we'll see it, but I mm, I feel like it's not going to respawn. Like we got debated. Wait, hold on. Is there stairs over there too? Ah, oh, sheesh. Oh my god. What's in the box? What's in this little area here? Nice find. It's a boog. Yeah, looks like it could be useful. It's a boog out and about. A little boog out there. Still don't know where we are. This is big. Why is this dungeon so big? What is going on? 
This also looks a bit sussy too. Treasure nearby. Just in case, let me Why let not? me heal here because I, I don't trust. I mean, no trust any of this. You found something. Let's take it. With All right, that's lovely. It's a coral guard lance. Reduces damage from being hit by your weakness. Ooh, that's actually really good. That's cute. Nice. What else do we got here? Bone crusher. All right. I think that one had to be purified too, though. So that's the only thing. It's one of those things, honestly. I mean, like, depending on the effect, sometimes it's worth it. But half the time, you just want something stronger. It is what it is. Um, Let's see. I'm going to go back up the stairs and then please pray for me because if this does not refresh the um the elemental that despawned I'm going to cry my, I'm going to cry myself to sleep because I want to fight one I want to see it I want to see what it do meow 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 please be here it's not here wow well, all right I got you baited, guys. God has a plan, apparently. There's something we can use nearby. Hmm? What's going on? Wait, there it is. We've got our bounty. What are you talking about? Like it's through the door. I'm going to go through in just a second. Just let me, let me just go just through here. I think that's all of them. Get that bug and gold beetle. I'm gonna read the um whatchamacallit, they have the thing. Hold on. Yep. What is that thing called? Um Ghost of the Tomb of Lament, and then I think we got through that too. Okay. It says when we paid the informant for Intel, they slipped us this note. From what I can recall, this is what they said. Want in on this? The Tomb of Lament, huh? Of course I can tell you all about it. Um, the Fatal Lich is there. There's also apparently a Chimenza as well. Fatal Lich's attacks are strong when the Chimera is there. Okay. That's weak to wind. No. Alright, we might I think we might be able to beat this one. Let me go ahead and um let me save. And then we're gonna go through. I think I think we should be okay. Big brain. Yep. Ah. So So apparently. It would seem that this is our ghost, certainly uglier than I would have expected of an ordinary lost soul. I feel that. Kind of a tea here. No wonder people got spooked by it. Well, I suppose if it really is just another monster, then we ought to be able to take it down. We cannot we cannot allow its trans transgressions to go unpunished. Incoming. All right, let me see. Let me see what you got. Where's this chimera? Where is it? There's no chimera here, sir. You're trying to debate me, sir. It's okay. No, 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 no. I'll be taking that. Let us clean up Wait, this did mess. that not work? What just happened? What? what? But that Let's stay calm. Yeah, wait, what happened? What's Come going forth, on? Royal soul. Sir. Maybe not. The next one's yours. Being Oh my god, Nor is it gonna summon to Soul Cry? Wait, what? 
Oh wait, are you fucking bro? Okay, that's rude. That's rude. No, 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 no. By this power. I see. I see what's going on here. I see what's happening. Sorry. Come forth, royal soul. That it wasn't enough. Like a good hit. Chase Martin. Mustn't set a wise choice. No holding back. Not stepping back. I shall vanquish evil. Oh, holy! Me? What's still what's standing? I said? stand ready for all that we strive for. No, I don't like that. I do not like that. This is it. Merchant. Merchant. I need. I'll use what I must. Maelstrom. But all things seem right. Are you prepared? Let me rethink this. Mm. You first. Oh, power of heroes! I strike with conviction! Okay, it is what it is. I don't know what to do. This is a bit weird. It's concentrating. What? Come forth, royal soul. No, get out of here, bro. The magic seed! I'll get some dish by this power. <laughs> this is such a meme. Ew. Even that was not enough. What? Yeah, why is it doing that, bro? Hold on. Go for it. I'm stepping back. Match it. It's mine now. Oh my god. That's a, that's a lot of, uh, mm. a lot of damage. All right. Still up? Come forth, royal soul. The magic field. Still here? All right. I I don't know if we have to. Mm. Is it gonna summon a chimera? I can't, I can't tell. Oh god. No. Is best used. What? Uh, hold on. Stroll, I love you so much, but I need your help. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Good. Uh. All right, big crane, big crane. I won't hold back. Merchant. To, to the vanguard, face me. But all things seemed right. But that was a cool Well, time thing. to go offense. I call upon royal power within. The Wait, tenacious. Wasn't that supposed mm. to be a weakness? Moody dying. Oh, she would have died from that. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Oh, power of heroes. I claim that. Yeah, give me that. Alright, if, if we're lucky, uh, it's gonna die. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that was a little mm, that was like the the anti the anti fucking SMT player fucking boss. Like, oh god, any crit you do or weakness, it doesn't matter. The hanged man white mask. Ooh. You got a hero's leaf of light. Oh wow. Um. I mean, I want to say mm, I kind of want to put. We'll put like one more into magic, and then I'm gonna start putting more into um into luck again. 
because I feel like luck has been really good for us so far. The Chalice of Legends. Ah, oh, that ghost won't be haunting anything else. Yes. Yep, and we found the Chalice of Legends too. None shall ever fall prey to that beast ever again. Now then. Well, our business here is concluded. Shall we head back? Um, I want to just look around just a little right. bit more, please. Just a tiny bit more. I want to go take a look to see if we can fight one more enemy. Um, and then we're going to use all of our MP to harvest mag. And then we'll leave for realsies. Um, although... We may as well... We'll just go, but we're going to go back to the entrance what? real quick and then we'll do it. All right. Let's head back. It would be a waste not to do so. Um, let's just go through here. Here we go. To arms. I won't hold back. Sorry. The next one's yours. Let us clean up this merchant. I'll take this. I call upon royal power within. I shall be as a shield. Oh my god, he is. Three moves? Are you joking? Powerful pulverizer. Get out of here. Let's get him some healing. Excuse me, sir. What? Yeah, that is so weird. What the hell? Where's my other stuff? Hold on. This should work. My thanks. Sussy. I don't like that. I'll use what I must. I shall vanquish evil. That's a lot of damage. Oh my gourd. Come. All right. Not now. What is it's weak to piercing? Okay, well, hold on, hold on. As one. Oh, I don't know. Join with me. Okay, I won't hold back. It wasn't enough. Let's move forth. You think yourself equal to a huge if such a this should work? I knew you'd help. I'm obliged. My thanks. Thank God we have is that double consumable? Excuse me. We'd be dead right now if we didn't have that, by the way. Oh my god. Okay, first of all, no. Are you prepared? <laughs> I don't like that. Hack and slash with blade in hand. I strike with conviction. That instant kill would be beautiful right now if you could do that for me, please. I should have done it. Good hit. No. Excuse me? Are you good? Do you need fucking help? Oh my god. What is your problem, bro? Oh my god. What the fuck? That's so fucking rude. Excuse me, bitch. This calls for one of these. Much thanks. Thank you. Bro, what is your problem? Okay, enemy. hold on. I defer to you. I won't hold back. Oh my, get out of here, bro. What is your problem? If you fucking, if you frenzy right now, I'm be so fucking mad. You know we're okay, we're okay. What does he have? Cyclone, lurking knife blade. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Not bad. Trust me. I'll stay my blade. By this power. Merge it. Still up. We're almost there. If we can just survive just a little bit longer, I think we'll be okay. Come on. Bro, I need you to relax. I need you to relax. <laughs> like, oh my god, like what the hell is your problem? 
Now accept your fate, commendable bearing. I shall fight as all yours. Wealth may be a fearsome weapon. Here! Thanks. Much thanks. I don't want to fight these things ever again. Okay. How much do you have? We can do this. 244. Crit. Crit. Oh no, someone's gonna die. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, get the nest. Disgusting. So rude. Oh my god. Ew. <laughs> Absolutely not. Ew. Disgusting. That makes me so sad. I didn't go into that thinking that I... Oh my god. I'd have such issues with it. Get me out of here. How much bank do we have? Ooh. Okay, at least we're doing good. At least we're doing really well. Um, we're going to go ahead and set ourselves up over at the next dungeon. Um, bones, if you want to take it away. Um, a certain something has just happened. Even if you don't take it away in a hot minute, I will do it myself. I will come for you. Um, let's see. Go ahead and leave. Hey. Okay, then. Wait, hold on, hey. hold on. No, 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 no. It says, let's set up camp. Wait, but I want to... No. I want to go... I want to go to, That's um... Right. The other places, though. Yeah. What is this? The heck is this? Oh, yeah, we hit level 40. Ayo. Hey. That's a tee here. All right. I'm going to say it. Congratulations on nine hours. We hit and we hit nine hours. God forbid. Okay, then. Right? We're going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to send the characters over to the other dungeon, though, too. And then we're going to get that done. Well, I'm not gonna do it now, but I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a set up or set up over at the other area. And then we'll wind down. Those ghosts in the graveyard were more than a chilling tale. I didn't think that they would be able to summon monsters. Indeed, their ilk is not to be taken lightly. We should take this as a reminder to never underestimate our foes. Well, we sure didn't go through all of that trouble for nothing. So be sure to report in at the recruitment center soon. Luis's. All right, Let's we'll do. Ooh. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Oh, it's Idol's Day. Not that we need to buy anything. That means... Let's see. All right, then. Um, is there anyone else that needs stuff to? Barden is still begging us for help right now. I love that. Um, let's right, go then. to the Goldman Runner. Let's head there right away. All right. Mm, actually, no, hold on, hold on. I'm not going to lie. Uh, maybe it would actually be okay to end it today if we stay here, because technically... Maybe we should be trying to talk to Stroll and Hulkenberg, because then if we get their stuff done, they might have more stuff to do on the Gauntlet Runner as we're going. Because every time we talk to Stroll on the Gauntlet Runner, Got they're it. like, they're like, oh, he's really depressed. You should go talk to him. So you know what? It would make sense if we actually maybe leave it here, because the next time we play tomorrow, um, we can probably pick up and start talking to people and then go to the dungeon, which would probably work. So just in case, let All me right. go ahead and um, let's see. Let me move over to him real quick here. Where is he? Is he in Grand Trad right now? No, he's actually right here. Oh, okay. Not bad. 